Hey, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Decided to go ahead and hop in here and go ahead and start uh, tracking some severe weather here for this afternoon. So if you happen to be hopping on YouTube and you want to get watch some of the severe weather coverage here for today, appreciate you here joining the channel here on the Weather Nerds channel uh, as uh, we're dealing with this active weather here across Iowa, as we were expecting here for this afternoon, as I mentioned on my earlier report. Uh, pretty active out weather right there. A lot of severe thunderstorm warnings out there. Nine total and one uh, tornado warning out there right now. Uh, we've had some reports here and there. We're going to kind of go through this. And uh, uh, the chat is up. It's up and functioning. So if you happen to come on board here as we're doing this coverage and uh, you, you got any questions, uh, as always, please uh, don't hesitate to drop a line. But uh, anyway, we're kind of seeing what's going on here across Iowa. As we've had uh, some numerous, uh, we've had some reports of some uh, some uh, tornadoes on the ground. You see one report there uh, that came up uh, earlier in Iowa. And uh, we got numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that are going through the state right now uh, with a big old, big old activity here. It's kind of stretching here from the northern portion of the state going all the way down into northern portion of Missouri. So we've got that nice big area there of some active severe weather going on as we speak right now. So going, uh, going to be pretty active here for this afternoon. Uh, as we continue to watch this stuff kind of move on off here toward the uh, toward the east, kind of, um, kind of rotating around a big old area of low pressure. And you kind of see it very nicely here on the satellite picture. Look at that uh, big cartwheel there spinning around, isn't it? It's showing up pretty nice. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, very, very well uh, with that low pressure system sitting right in here. That's what's responsible uh, for our activity right now, but uh, you see it very clearly right there on the satellite picture as uh, this low is kind of cranking off and moving off toward the east. So uh, the storm chasers are out. They're out in force. They're going to be out there uh, kind of checking everything out right now, although one of them is down right now, one of my guys there. i got Chicago in there on the live as well because this line will be move, moving into Chicago here uh, as we go into the afternoon. Got a couple of viewers. How y'all doing out there? Welcome here to, to the channel. We're watching this active weather here uh, across Iowa and northern Missouri. I mean, a big old uh, box that just came out. We got the tornado watch box that's out there currently. That's that yellow area right in there. And you see these these very large, I would say pretty large, severe thunderstorm uh, warning boxes in here. And I got two of them up here, just some very big ones uh, right now as these storms continue to move off toward the east. Uh, what's really interesting here for this afternoon with the severe weather is uh, you've got that big low. It's kind of acting like a big cartwheel. So you've got some pretty decent wind shear uh, coming through here. So you got changing wind with heights. Uh, you got that instability there with the daytime heating. And uh, so as we progress here for this afternoon, we're going to have to watch that tornado throw. We've had, we've had some sporadic uh, reports uh, that have kind of come on in, in with that right now, uh, but nothing too widespread. Here's the latest, the latest track. We've had four so far for today, 24 wind reports and a couple of hail reports. And the hail threat actually goes up here significantly here for this afternoon. So I'm going to be watching that very closely uh, here as we progress through the afternoon. So. Uh, keep an eye on this as we go through. Again, if you got any questions, if you want to, uh, uh, want me to highlight anything for you, if you're in a specific area that may get hit, uh, please, by all means, you can post a question down below, and I will, uh, I'll respond to it for you. Uh, so anyway, let's go in here to, closer to Des Moines. You got a pretty impressive line here as this stuff's moving up here toward the north, uh, north of Des Moines, uh, uh, kind of going up through the Fort Dodge area. You kind of see that uh, very intense line kind of faxing up right through here uh, as it's moving up. You're getting some pretty gusty winds, you know, up, upwards of 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, definitely not out of the question with these storms as they continue to move up toward the north and east. Uh, at a pretty good, pretty good clip there. Almost kind of, well, I'm actually almost due north because it's kind of rotating around that area of low pressure here. Uh, let me get myself back on here. I don't like to be off the screen for too much there. There we go. Uh, so you can kind of see what's going on here uh, with this activity as it moves through Iowa right now. So the, the watch box, and I can show you that real quick. So you can kind of see the areas there in yellow. That is our, our, our tornado watch box up right there. Those areas in brown, that is the that is actually the, uh, the wind advisory. It's a lot of wind energy uh, rotating around with this area of low pressure. Uh, that's responsible for all this. So I want to make sure I stay up on my, keep my uh, storm prediction center. I'll make sure I keep up on the latest stuff in, on here. So I kind of use that on my phone. Oh, we got a new warning that just came out. Let's go ahead and take a look at see where we got here with uh, new warning activity. Just kind of pulling out here. I don't see anything flashing just yet. I heard the alert tone go off. Uh, not seeing anything in there. And maybe just an update. Sometimes when it updates with a, a specific warning in a specific area that's already out. Oh, no, there it is. It's actually way over here. I see it. There it is over here. That's actually a tornado warning. All right. Yeah, there it goes. 
Let's go over here and check this out. We've had some tornadoes on the ground with this particular cell here. Uh, Mercy Manager reporting that tornado is roping out and touching back down. So uh, that's with this particular cell in here. Uh, you can see that very well in there. In fact, uh, let me switch over to my cross section. I can actually do a cross section analysis on this. So let me get over to uh, that, uh, that display real quick and I can check a look at this. So let's take a look, shall we? Let me get down here and uh, go to my, uh, all right, let me pull this back up here. All right, and I'm gonna get over to that site. Let me get over to that site. Oh, oh that site's down. Oh, that's not lighting up. I wonder why that's, that's, that radar is actually down. Well, that's not good, but I can still go in here close to it. All right, so uh, one inch size hail. Let me switch back over here so you can see this. Here we go. Uh, this is kind of a cross section analysis of uh, this storm that's producing this tornado. It's moving up toward the north there. Uh, one inch size hail been reported with this thing. Uh, and you can see that it's some serious flooding up here toward the north. That's that flood box up there in the green. Uh, as that's moving on through. So I just loaded this up. You kind of see moving up toward the north there as these storms are kind of racing off there. So uh, let me stop this frame by frame here. So that's the last image there. I'll back that up a little bit. All right, yeah, it's just loading up. So, all right, so we're gonna watch that very closely. Moving up toward the north, that's up toward Madison and Norfolk. Uh, again, that's for Madison and Platte County. This goes until uh, heading into about 1230. Uh, central daylight time for those two counties right there um, and again that's the area being impacted with that particular cell right now that's the closest to that right now let's go back over to radar Omega and uh, we'll take a look at it over here on this perspective uh, again coming into Humphrey there I want to look at the velocity mode here let's see what that looks like there we'll dissect that a little bit see what that looks like uh, not looking good on that particular site let's see if I can find another radar site that's a little bit better sometimes you get sometimes you get a no man's land a little bit um, with some of the radar, so that one's, yeah, that's the closest one I got. Uh, don't look all that impressive. Um, let's loop that a little bit. Let's take another look here. Yeah, a little bit. It looks like it briefly kind of got there for a second, and then it kind of faded down just a little bit. So uh, it, you see it right through here, just south of the Humphrey area. That's where that's looking right now. Let me go in a little bit closer. Let me shut that down a little bit. Go a little bit closer here so you can see this. See this well. Oh, I just dropped my phone. So I see the red and the greens. That's the winds going away and toward the radar right through there. So, but it's pretty broad. It looks like it's kind of weakening as it's moving up toward the north. So that it could be one of these ones that it's kind of doing a hopscotch and, 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 and around. Not not unusual to see that. But that doesn't look overly strong, at least looking at that current signature. So let's go back over to velocity mode here. Again, you can see all this activity across portions of Nebraska uh, getting hit right now. And I mean, just a lot of look at the look at the size area here of the coverage of the, the severe thunderstorm warnings that are going through here. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning right there. A possible tornado. And whenever you see it lighting up a possible tornado, what that means is that there's rotation in there. It doesn't mean there's a tornado there, but it could spawn one. That's what that means when you see that uh, uh, pop up on there. So uh, that's the areas north of Des Moines. You get this the other one down here as well. Uh, one and three quarter inch hail. Wow, that definitely do some damage to you. Uh, down there across the northern portions of Missouri uh, getting in with that, with that activity as well and kind of getting into southern Iowa. So uh, this is the main thing. You can definitely see the, the circulation kind of spinning around there around that area of low pressure uh, with this very, very clearly. You see the activity here kind of going up this direction and then kind of uh, rotating back around this way. So that's our, that's that low pressure up in the upper levels here uh, that's spawning this severe weather uh, as we kind of go here for this afternoon. So you can see it here on the, I got the map up here as well. You can kind of see the, the low pressure there across uh, Nebraska kind of rotating along. Pretty complex surface map there. You got a warm front moving to the north, another warm front and an included front back off toward the west. Uh, looks like we got a new warning here. Let me go back over to this one. We'll highlight this new warning that's just come out here. There's our new warning right there. Uh, one inch hail on this one, uh, going for the next 27 minutes right there. That is for central Mercer County and west central Putnam County until 12.30 central daylight time. Uh, again, these storms are moving very quickly, moving to the uh, northeast at some 60 miles per hour. Uh, so that, uh, and also some large hail, not out of the question with these storms right there. So there's that one right there. Again, it's embedded right in the middle of that watch box right there. Let me pick my, oh, my phone's ringing down here. Oops, let me pick that up. Oh. Um, so anyway, 
All right, so hold on one second. Let me get this phone real quick. I hate when I miss my phone was ringing. I didn't see it there. Um, well, let's see here. Let me check this out real quick. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. I had to take care of that real quick. That was somebody, my father's place down the street, uh, checking on my dad. So he made sure he was okay. So anyway, all right. So uh, again, a very complex si uh, situation with this setup right here. You've got the warm, moist air kind of clashing with a kind of cooler, dry air back off toward the east. Uh, you can see this pretty well uh, here on the current situation here with the moisture. I mean, look at that. Look at this right here. It just shows up so nicely. All that blue area in there, that is some uh, very moist air. Uh, out ahead of this system, you see the drier kind of uh, kind of punching in from the west. So uh, you get this dry punch in here. You see the dry air in here, very very moist out ahead of this. Uh, very clearly, you can see that uh, uh, very well, uh, rotating around that area of low pressure, uh, sitting right through uh, portions of Nebraska right there. So uh, that'll be moving on through here uh, for this afternoon. And there's there's indications you're probably going to see the squall and it'll extend further south. Uh, as we go here through the afternoon, but right now the bulk of the activity again We got eight severe thunderstorm warnings and one tornado warning out there right now The, the one warning is currently back over there toward Nebraska that extreme uh, Eastern portions uh, north and west of Omaha uh, Right now, uh, but this is not the dead center zone for where the tornado activity is expected here for this afternoon I mean right now uh, and I think that we're going to see this continue to destabilize here for this afternoon. You see the big bullseye there across Iowa and northern Missouri and kind of getting a little bit of sliver uh, there of Illinois. And that's where conditions will are expected to deteriorate here uh, for this afternoon as, uh, again, this low slowly pulls off in with that daytime heating to help, uh, help continue to destabilize the atmosphere and, uh, again, kind of see with uh, more of uh, those thunderstorms that could per potentially uh, spin up tornadic here uh, for this afternoon. So let me go. I'm making sure I stay up on the SPC side here so I keep track of all these lettuce warnings and stuff. So we got two different uh, watch boxes that are currently up. Uh, the one there across the western portions of the state. Let me switch back over here to this side here. Uh, those go until 8 o'clock Central Daily Time. So this thing's not in a big hurry, as you can tell. Uh, definitely not in a, in a big hurry, to say the least. And the other one, it uh, it goes till 6. So uh, the one to the west is till, till 6. The one to the east is, it goes till 8. Uh, but it's going to be a while. And things will really get hopping here for this afternoon. And that's where I think this, the, the chasers are going to be out here. Uh, in four. So these are the guys I'm watching today. Uh, although Ryan's video went down, I might need to replace him with somebody else. But uh, Chicago, I'm watching closely because they get some th thunderstorms. But uh, uh, Jake and Brandon uh, will be posting here for this afternoon. Brandon is one of my go to storm chaser guys that I kind of watch uh, when when he's uh, out there in full force. So he's out there in the middle of it right now. You can see his stuff up here to the north, right above me, here, right there. And uh, watching the activity there across areas of Missouri. So, I mean, Iowa right now. So uh, let me switch over to the Des Moines uh, radar here. There we go. Switch here a little bit closer. And I mean, these are these are definitely dumping some pretty good, uh, pretty good rainfall. I mean, let's see what the storm totals are doing with the storm rains. I mean, some very impressive rate, uh, rain totals in here, uh, to say the least, uh, with some of this activity here. Uh, look at this: over two inches of rain, uh, one and a half inches of rain. This is a pretty heavy band right through here. One and a half. Let's see what this stuff down here is. Over, over two inches, two inches, one and a quarter. So it's a pretty heavy rain rainfall moving through there right now uh, with that activity. Let's go back to the high res here and turn that off. There we go. So these areas here north and east of Des Moines getting hit with some very, very heavy rains uh, here for the afternoon. But I'm really going to be watching here is kind of areas from Des Moines over to Cedar Rapids, 
uh, getting over toward Davenport, Iowa. Uh, this is the area that I'm really going to be watching here for this afternoon, uh, kind of getting in there into northern Missouri a little bit uh, for the tornadic stuff that kind of spit up. Again, that's about a 10% chance sitting uh, in that area. Uh, watching here for late this afternoon and th this is several hours of stuff we're talking about you know it, it's only 12 o'clock right now uh, central time and this is going to go till six eight o'clock tonight so we've got a long window here uh, of stuff that's going on uh, with the severe weather so uh, th this is uh, going to be uh, something we're going to watch pretty closely here uh, here on the Weather Nerds channel, and I do appreciate folks uh, testing it. I do have the chat up for you, by the way, Derek. I just want to make sure you had that up. Uh, if you got any questions or anything you want to post, you can go ahead and put that in there. Uh, one good thing, at least being a smaller YouTuber, I, I at least have the ability to interact directly with my with my folks out there and kind of answer your questions on the fly. So that's kind of good uh, as we kind of go here through the through this afternoon um, with the coverage. Some of the other guys, they've got so many people, you can't really hear. You might answer your question, might not. Just, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. So if you got any questions, you got anything, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, drop a line in there. I'll keep an eye on there. I actually, I didn't get my Twitch up, which is, uh, I like my Twitch app. It's it's kind of a cool thing because it allows me to kind of pull up the individual questions and stuff. So uh, I didn't get that up and going. So I need to get that going. I need to need to get that going so I can at least uh, highlight um when folks are are asking certain questions and stuff, so I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back on because it's it's a nice little tool to have uh, as we're kind of watching this active weather here. So I got to go to my my channel and put the link in, and you know, kind of uh, make sure. Uh, make sure we're, we're able to do my interactive stuff that I want to do for, for folks. So let me go ahead and get that going for, uh, let's see, I'm going to start my Twidget. I'm going to put my URL in here. Oh yeah, Control V. There we go. Connect. And we're now connected. Yay! <laughs> small, small chat. So my, my chat is up. So this allows me to kind of do this where I can actually uh, bring people up and bring people down as, as we get stuff to go on. So I'll, I'll keep that up and going here for this afternoon. So uh, again, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a long afternoon, folks. Uh, very much so. I can show you here. Let me uh, let me see if the simulate the latest radar here from the high resolution. I can kind of step you here on what we're kind of expecting here for this afternoon. So let me uh, let me get the latest run here. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. I'm gonna go to the latest run. It's an 18 hour high resolution model. So uh, okay, that one is still being done. So we'll go to this one right here. So here is the latest. This is the latest. High resolution run here. I'm gonna pet. I'm gonna go ahead and step you through this here, and show you how this thing's gonna develop here for this afternoon. So again, you got a big spin in the atmosphere. There, activity is really gonna really pick up there. We're gonna watch for the development of any kind of supercells out ahead of any of that potential squall line. You see that squall line kind of moving through central Iowa and it kind of progressing off toward the east. And you got a spin there, a little bit of a squall line there forming back through Missouri as that uh, low is just kind of getting cranking. Uh, big pinwheel effect here as this moves off toward the east and kind of moves up into uh, Wisconsin and then goes into Illinois. But the, 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 the main threat here is gonna be really for the next few hours as this moves on through here across Iowa. So this is the latest high resolution model. Again, you can see the data kind of swinging up through here uh, for late this afternoon. Now, another tool that I like to look at here when it comes to this reason why the the uh, the risk is so high here for uh, a little higher for tornadoes, you kind of look at the uh, significant tornado parameter. This is what this is right here. So you see it there uh, here for this afternoon, kind of picking up there across Iowa and Missouri. You can see, see it there, especially across northern Missouri here uh, late this afternoon. So this, what this takes in its facts, it looks at uh, available energy, it looks at uh, helicity and spin, it kind of puts all these together into this particular model here. And you can kind of see it really kind of spikes up here late this afternoon across Iowa, Missouri, and they're kind of moving into Illinois. So that's where that target bullseye was showing there for that potential tornadoes here as we go into the, uh, going into tonight. So uh, that's what I'll be watching here for this afternoon uh, as some of these storms are, uh, should, as we as you just saw there through the model data indicating that the uh, the threat for tornadoes should be increasing here with the daytime heating here through this afternoon uh, and into the early evening hours. And it should begin to settle down a little bit at that time. So uh, this is going to be a long afternoon to say the least. So I got to pace myself for sure. So I uh, appreciate you folks uh, coming in. And, uh, and watching the coverage. I do appreciate your support, absolutely. So, all right, let's go take a look here. I wanna look, I wanna look at the, 
my cross section here, I want to look and see. Uh, I'm going to pull back and look at these storms over here toward Iowa a little bit. And we'll check these out real quick. So let's check this out. Oh, that is that one. Okay. Let's go to this one. All right. That's too far south. And Oh, this has got the bullet on it. No wonder I couldn't get into it. There we go. So... Now, one of the things that I watch here when I'm doing this kind of coverage is I'm looking for the, the spins in here. And you kind of see these, the little red little devices, the yellow. Uh, that's, indi that's indications of you got some spin in the atmosphere. Those little green triangles, that kind of est establishes like where um, potential hail will be in there. And these are, are, also, are wind shear in here as well. Uh, this one is showing one and a half inch hail. Uh, for this particular cell there. I'll kind of highlight that for you as you can kind of see this This has got some pretty pretty good hail with this one down here uh, And I'm talking about this cell right in here uh, Showing some pretty good hail in with that one. So that's into northern Missouri kind of going up into Iowa So the the one on your left is your reflectivity. The one on the right is your velocity. Okay, that's what uh, uh, Shows the the movement of the air on the right side and the and the re your general reflectivity your standard radar is there on your left so uh, again, this is uh, showing those heavier storms uh, kind of moving in. It's th this cluster of storms that I'm really going to be watching uh, very, very closely here over the next several hours is this stuff, uh, this stuff down, down in here uh, as this moves up in this direction. Again, you saw where those tornado parameters were going up as that goes into uh, the eastern uh, sections of Iowa here uh, for this afternoon. So. Um, I'm going to continue to watch very closely. We'll see how these things begin to evolve uh, as they continue to move up toward the north. So let's go back over to Radar Omega here. Go back to the main site there. And as you can see, we've got about a half dozen severe thunderstorm warnings. Only one tornado warning right now, currently over in Nebraska. But I got a funny feeling. I think that tornado warning stuff will probably start going up significantly here uh, as we go into late this afternoon. So. Um, let me check. I want to see if I can find me uh, that oh, looks, looks like that other chaser's down right now. So I want to see if I can get another storm chaser. I like to kind of keep those uh, like using their, their covers. And, and Weather Omega has got some really great tools. You can go out there and kind of see their stuff as well uh, with their stuff. So let's see here. Brandon, I got you up. Let's see who else is, might be out there. Jake, I'm using you. Ryan, you're down right now. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Looks like his coverage is down right now. So, uh, here's one that's up in Iowa. Let's, we can try. We can put him on here. Uh, that's white, wa white weather. All right. Well, let's see if he comes up here. And I think I'll update my, my thing, assuming if he comes up or not. He's got a spinning wheel, which, oh, which happens a lot for these storm chasers especially. The chasers go out there. And um, I'm going to go to my quad box. Ryan's down. I'm not sure. He must have gotten into a bad place. So I'm going to go ahead and update him. That's number three. Let's go ahead and update him. I can, I can make adjustments on the fly. That's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to pull. And we'll go to chaser number three, which is this one. And we'll just put, uh, put the guy's character on white weather. Although he's, he's kind of spinning out too. A little bit it, you know you get out in the countryside it kind of goes around so here's here's the chasers i just wanted to update this a little bit so he's over in iowa as well so and i do put their links down below uh on the chat if you want to go ahead and, and check i always always support the storm chasers out there because they're kind of our eyes and ears your storm chasers and your storm reporters uh they're the ones that are kind of our eyes and eels out there on the scene uh letting us know what's going on uh, right now so uh, those are the guys out there currently, and I, I go, I, kept, I keep going back and I check on them just to see uh, what they're what they're seeing. Now, now I do like using the radar mega tool because they put the storm chasers out here, and you can kind of see. Although he's not moving right now, I'm trying to see if there's anybody out here broadcasting that I can that I can look at, and nothing right now that stands out. So I'm gonna look. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing I can see out there. So let me get back over to this one here so you can see what I'm looking at. All right. And you can see the yellow counties. Those are all your tornado watches that are currently up. Uh, uh, coming a big chunk of Iowa, getting into like just one county of Wisconsin, the eastern, the western portions of Illinois, and then that stretches back into Missouri. That's going to be the ground central here. Oh, we got a new warning just came out. Let's see where that's splashing. There it is right there in the middle, dead center. All right, let's go take a look at this one. Here's the new warning that just came out near the Cordon area. 
Uh, looking at one inch hail, 60 mile per hour winds with this one right now. And that's for southwestern Lucas County and Wayne County until 1.15 Central Daylight Time. Again, the storm moving north at 50 miles per hour. And these storms are going to be moving uh, quite rapidly really throughout uh, most of the afternoon as they're rotating around that area of low pressure right there. Uh, we're going to loot this real quick and let me get off that road for a second. Yeah, that's a pretty healthy storm. Now let's take a look at the velocity on there, see what the high resolution velocity is showing in there as well. well some pretty decent winds in there. And yeah, not, nothing, nothing too bad in there. Just wanted to check to see what that was showing. All right. So you got these two clusters of storms. Let me turn that off real quick. There you go. So got the one little cluster here, got the other little cluster out here, and then one down here to the south. So it's got three different zones here uh, getting hit. Oh, my dog is being bad again. Oh, I love that dog. I've got two dogs in my house. I've got a Boston, I got a French Bulldog, and I've got a Jack Russell Terrier. And the 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 French Bulldog likes to be a bully sometimes, and likes to sit in front of the doggy door and not let the Jack Russell come in. So she'll he'll sit up the back door and start crying because he wants to come inside. And the Jack, the French Bulldog, oh, he let her back in. He moved. Okay, that's good. I think they must. I think the dog heard me talking. <laughs> So hey, let's go take a look at the um, storm report so here so far. Um, and let me take that twidget down here. Uh, select. There, oh, it was working. Okay, there it goes. There, there's my twidget. Twidget's working now. So that way I can. Oh, this is just. Uh, I'll show you the twidget here because I can actually pull up the your questions. That's why I wanted to put that up there. That's why I got that loaded. So folks, if you got any questions, I can pull them up. So anyway, let's go over here. I want to show you. We'll go look at the, let's do a little bit of exploring here and see what the chasers have been reporting. Uh, the storm reports have been seeing here uh, for this afternoon. So I'm going to my interactive mode here and we'll spin it a little bit. Again, you can see we had some pretty active weather here across uh, the Kansas City area this morning with those earlier storms with tree damage. Um, had some tornado reports in here. Chris Rice reporting a storm. And now all, everything's out here toward the west. All these little icons you see, these are part of the spotter network. So as you would expect on a day like today, uh, a lot of uh, spotters that are out there right now. Uh, these storms that are moving up to the north currently uh, have been dumping some pretty decent hail. Three-quarter inch hail, one and a half inch hail, one and three-quarter inch hail right there. Golf ball size here, reported near Kirksville by the emergency manager. That's in Adair, Missouri. So uh, definitely seeing some of that uh, funnel wall cloud here. Uh, with that storm that's moving up toward the north, but no, no tornadoes in that area just yet. We've had a couple more tornado reports uh, up here north uh, and west of Iowa. Uh, that was at 12.05 or 11.05 Central Daylight Time, so that was about an hour or so ago there. And then, of course, we had these tornado reports with this storm that produced the tornado earlier, and this one was the one that was roping out earlier, So and some hail being reported up there with the storms across Nebraska. So that's just... We'll go back and forth. We'll check that. We'll, we'll continue to watch that here for this afternoon uh, as we continue to watch these storms kind of uh, get themselves uh, moving. But I'm really going to be interested to see how things evolve here for this afternoon across the western portions of Iowa. Uh, that is going to be concerning. Uh, you know, another thing for me doing this kind of coverage, and I do this because I, I enjoy it, and I want to make sure I keep uh, anybody who wants to watch involved. I don't play the hyperactive game with every storm. I, it's probably one of the things I'm having to learn in the YouTube universe. It's called a balance. I got to figure out, you know, you can't, every storm can't be the biggest because they all can't be exactly the same. Okay. And, but at the same time, you want to attract viewers and stuff like that. But I'm not willing to sacrifice credibility by sitting there saying this is the storm of the century for every one of them. And it seems like out in the YouTube universe, I see like everyone, oh, this is the biggest storm, biggest storm, biggest storm. I'm like, Look, I've done this for 25 years, and I just can't call every storm the biggest storm. I'm just not going to do it. But if it's active enough and it's fair enough, I'll be straightforward with anybody watching and make sure that you're aware of what's going on. So, um, you know, so that's that's the game I'm playing. I'm going to play a balance act with this, and I don't care if I don't get a million subscribers or I only stay with 5,000. That's fine by me, but I'd, I'd rather keep my credibility and, and not be hyperactive on every doggone storm. So... Anyway, let's go take a look. I, I, that's my preaching. I'm off the off the wagon. Let's go see if we can see some of the uh, uh, see if any of these storm spotters are, are are got any video for me. Looks like Brad's not streaming right now, so let's check a couple of these other guys out here. See where they're getting low. There's Corey. I'm familiar with him. He's too, I'm not sure where he's trying. I think he's trying to head out of those storms 
right there. There's a full shot there for you. Kind of see what those clouds are looking like. And, and I do like pulling up the live cameras. That's why uh, uh, Radar Omega is such a great tool to have. You can kind of see what's going on uh, with some of the stuff going on out there. And uh, so that's, that's another, let's see what this one's doing. Let's see, take a look at this one here. And that's Vince. Vince is another, Vince is another old reliable that I like to watch. You can kind of see the cloud cover there. I chased off my watchers because I was preaching. I need to stop doing that. Oh well, I apologize. Let's see what see what's uh brand oh brand oh brand's got some good shots there. Look at that. That looks nice. Seems some pretty heavy rains there to the right. Little wall cloud there. I have some thunderstorms right there. That's some pretty good uh pretty good weather there. See the see the rain shaft there. He's kind of shaking down a bumpy road. Not a very not a very nice road, but uh, he's getting some stuff there. Let's go ahead and loop this again. We'll get this back looping. Alrighty, welcome to the Weather Nerds channel. All 26 views I've had so far, with probably three or four people. <laughs> but that's okay. This is this is fun to do. Alright. I gotta keep I gotta keep sharp on this. Let's check the Davenport radar here. These storms down here are the ones I really want to watch. Now, this is the cluster storms. I don't really want to watch here. Right through here. As these kind of swing up this way. Let's see what the see what that does here for this afternoon. Hey, thank you. Whoever just subscribed to the channel, appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Mr. Thing, I do appreciate you coming on board here. To the Weather Nerds channel as I continue to watch this severe weather here for this afternoon. It's going to be a long afternoon. My wife's going to get mad at me because I'm not going to have dinner made, but uh, oh well. <laughs> I'll ask her to bring home some food, bring home some Chinese food or something. I'll, I'll cook some stuff tomorrow, but today I want to stay on this. Um, Yesterday I was under the weather. I didn't get a chance to do uh, the stuff. Kind of uh, popped late yesterday. It was like after it was like seven eight o'clock at night Eastern time, and I was so drained. I didn't want to get on here and just be look like I was the Walking Dead because that's what I was. I just wasn't able to get really into this uh, yesterday. So, but today I'm in a much better position uh, to do this. So let's continue to watch this, shall we? All right, all right. So. Right now, you've got seven thunderstorm warnings and one tornado warning, and I'm really watching this activity here to see if we get any spin-ups with these individual supercells. These are the ones that are be more indicative of potentially dropping uh, a tornado. Uh, so this is, uh, and that's where that's where a lot of the storm chasers are, are kind of targeting. They're kind of down in this area uh, with these two different tornado watch boxes. One goes till six to the west. And it goes till eight to the east. So there's two different watch boxes that are sitting on top of each other right there. Um, so I mean, look at that, look at that spin. It's kind of the wider view again. I'll, I'm bringing this up because you can see the 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 low pressure spinning, and it's the low pressure with that spin in the atmosphere that's going to be responsible for us potentially getting some tornadoes here for this afternoon. So. Um, you know, what? And as that warm front boundary moves north, that's another thing to kind of watch here. And and uh, I've seen uh, previous ones in the past where we have had when you get this warm front moving to the north, you can get these spin ups along that boundary. That boundary is right in there, is right there. So that's why this area across Iowa is so so concerned that that warm front's moving to the north. So, whoops, sorry about that. And I, I really got to get a better mouse. I was just at Best Buy. I could have got a new mouse. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm such a moron. Uh, anyway, so you can see the low there spinning, spinning about right up in there. That's what's setting off this active weather here for this afternoon. We, uh, Kansas City got hit pretty good earlier this morning uh, with that. And that's going to continue here for this afternoon. Really, I mean, we're talking, uh, it's only 1230 uh, here, Central Daylight Time. So we're talking about another six, seven hours of, of coverage going through here. So... I definitely want to pace myself here, uh, kind of going here for this afternoon. Uh, if, if anybody's got a question, if you want to uh, post something down below, I do have the chat up up as well uh, for that. There's my um, 
show you that right there. There's my box right there. Boop, there it is. And you can see the, the storm reports down there. Most of right now, I think we've had four tornado war uh, reports so far officially, but I'm sure we'll add to that here as we go forward this afternoon. Uh, as uh, we've got several of the, the storm chasers out there, uh, kind of watching Iowa again in Missouri. Brandon's been had some pretty good videos here so far. I was watching it. Oh, we got a new warning that just came out. Let's go back over to Radar Omega and check it out, shall we? Let's check out Radar Omega here and see what we got the new warning here that just came out. Just heard it. We're looking, 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 looking. Let me go back over to my other... Thing. Uh, looks like a uh, new uh, tornado warning just came out for northeastern uh, plate uh, plate plant. Uh, it's that same cell they're kind of watching there. So uh, this this cell over here. Let's go zoom in. I got to change the radar. Let's go back over to this one. So this is this one's had a history of producing tornadoes with this. Let me go in real tight on this one. Um, not showed very well on this particular radar here, but you can kind of see it kind of blowing up there. Uh, with that right dead center there with that warning and that warning goes uh, radar indicated so one inch hail and it goes uh, for another 30 minutes so the county on this is north central plate uh, county until one o'clock uh, central daylight time uh, it was located three miles southeast of humphrey or 15 miles north of columbus moving north at 15 so uh, this one's had a history of producing tornadoes with this one uh, so what's interesting about that here's something uh, a good point here to illustrate. This warning box is actually south of the watch box. So it's just outside of there. These two warnings are out. There's no, there's no official tornado uh, watch box for this particular county uh, where we've had tornadic cells right here. It's close, but it's just south of there. So uh, that's why when the weather service says this trail watch in and around or in and around box, this is a good illustration of that right there. Uh, with that, that warning there just south of the actual official tornado watch box. So uh, Madison needs to be watched very closely with that. Let me check a look at my cross-section here. I like, I like to do a little bit of uh, cross-section analysis on this. So let me switch over to my GR level 3. Kind of watch this very close. Yeah, it, it's just not impressive from that radar. It's, it's, unfortunately, it's not one of the, high, the newer radars here. Um, they kind of give you this super really nice, but there's broad circulation through here. Uh, three quarter inch hail also being reported in there as well with that. So reflectivity is on the left. That's the standard radar. The green and the red, that is on the right. Um, so uh, again, you kind of see the greens and the reds kind of spinning up through the middle of that box right there. Uh, that's the winds going away and toward the radar uh, with that particular cross section. So. Uh, again, it looks like that's a fairly weak one. Doesn't look all that impressive uh, right now. Uh, the real main thing for me, I, again, I got to go back to this as far as for this afternoon is across areas of western Iowa. Whoops, let me switch this back over. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that back down. Ah, that was my bad. Um, so it's that area across western Iowa into Illinois and in northern Missouri. Those are the areas that. Uh, the, looking at what the latest models were showing there, uh, that's where the area should destabilize the worst for potential tornadoes here for this afternoon. So you're talking Davenport and Quincy and Galesburg and all the kind of getting up towards Cedar Rapids. Those are the areas that, that need to be watched very, very closely here for this afternoon. I'm going to put this back in loop mode here for you as it continues to move up here toward the north. So uh, if you're new to the channel, and I've got a couple folks out here watching, uh, my name's Greg. This is uh, my Weather Nerds channel here. I've been trying to work on this for the last six months or so, uh, kind of doing uh, severe weather coverage here. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it. You can just hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate you kind of joining the uh, small family here that we have here. Uh, but uh, again, I do appreciate everybody uh, supporting this channel. All right. Um, Let's go back over to, let's like see, no, I'm just checking the airports real quick. And, and yeah, oh, we did, did update. We got another tor uh, tornado report that just came in. So we're up to five now. It was four last time I checked it. A lot of wind damage. I think that hail report's also gonna really spike here for this afternoon uh, as well, because look at this big bullseye here for hail. I mean, right there across Iowa, Northern Missouri, uh, in that area, that's the, also the main concern for tornadoes. They're almost in the, in the in the in the same general area. The wind damage one's kind of a little bit broader, but uh, that bullseye there for the hail will be something uh, quite significant to watch here for this afternoon. So, 
I'll go back to my red or, or standard red or mega view here. So we're down to one tornado warning and three severe thunderstorm warnings currently active. But we're just getting started, folks. I think as the atmosphere destabilizes, as the warm front continues to move north, uh, we'll continue to see things kind of uh, go downhill. So I know folks will kind of be popping in, popping out uh, with this as we go here for this afternoon. So anyway, I'm just kind of checking some of these storm reports here. That was the earlier one. All right. All right, let's go in here a little bit closer. See some of the uh, hail reports that are got one and a quarter inch hail, yeah, one three quarter inch hail with some of these some of these storms here. Let me switch radars and go with Davenport wind again. And while that's looping, I want, I want to take a look at the latest model here. I was waiting for that to upload here. Let me see if it's got a, the new new data in here yet I think it should should be done by now yep that's the last one okay good let me switch this back over to simulated radar hold on one second the reflectivity yeah, there we go all right so this is the simulated radar here for this afternoon we'll kind of show how things this is the latest just uh, hot off the presses this just came in the high resolution uh data here uh is that big low fires up here so really getting up toward about one two o'clock uh things should really be destabilizing pretty quickly there across iowa especially especially right there along the, the missouri border borders that pushes off toward the east and then as we head toward about uh Say about five, six o'clock. Looks like that thing should begin to settle down a, a little bit as that low kind of opens up. So really, it's the next uh, next two or three hours. It's going to be quite active here, uh, right through Iowa and through Missouri as that pushes off toward the east. So going to watch that very, very closely here for this afternoon. Let's see if any spot. I see one storm chaser out there right now. Let me switch over to this one here. Let's see what he's showing here. That's Brandon. Oops. Can't really see. He's kind of stuck in the soup there. Let's transition over here. There's Brandon's view. Little pixelated. Little pixelated. Let's switch off there. He looks like he's in a bad cell area zone there. I think I might make me a sandwich. <laughs> so let me go to my full, full bush here. I'm gonna give me a sandwich real quick. All right. Oh, keep that looping. Keep that looping. Okay, I'm back.
mute this for just one second. All right, back on. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna do more stuff here. It's too far away. No. Nope. No. Nope. Guy emailed me back. Let me see y'all. Let's see if he's emailing me back here. So just to just to see. Oh, yeah, you sent it to me this afternoon. Ah, I feel better. Oops. Ah, oh, did clear out. Okay. I'm not sure about that one or not. Look at that big old storm. Mm. Nice. Yeah, the Phoenix hit me with some stuff this afternoon. I was like, I'm busy. I'll get it tomorrow. Oh, new warning just came out. Let's go take a look. I want to get a better radar. Let's try this one here. Ooh, it's nice little flying there. Got a new warning. It just came out here. Uh, this one goes... Uh, for Grundy County, Northwestern Sullivan County, Southeastern Mercer County, again, Southwestern Putnam till 1.15 Central Daylight Time. Moving northeast at 65. That is hauling butt, folks. That is some serious, serious uh, fast-moving storms there. Kind of training over the same area, too. So they get some flooding in there. That would be a concern there. radar here. This looks like the Des Moines radar is probably the best one to stay on here for this afternoon. All I can tell you Let's see what uh, see if he's picking up anything good here. That's Brandon. Yeah, I think he's getting into, he's getting into good position here. I can see the cloud conditions there. Kind of lower deck. Uh, the depth, the clouds are moving. They're really hauling. You, re, you can really tell even with him moving. And he's getting ahead of another cell. Let's take a look at that cell. That's that one here to the south. He's trying to intercept this storm down here. So. This cell that's down here is kind of moving up in this direction, and here's that video that was just showing you there on right there. So he's trying to get in a better position there. 
Just had a new warning that just came out. Oh, just here to the south. Let's go ahead and highlight this one. Uh, this is just to the east of Kansas City. Boy, they've been pounded out there all day. Uh, looks like this one is for Southern Ray County, Western Lafayette County, uh, Lafayette County. Or La Lafayette, I'm sure it's Lafayette. <laughs> Only in Alabama do they call it Lafayette. Uh, Eastern Jackson until 115. So that's a pretty good sell. Jack, uh, Kansas City's finally getting a little bit of break, although again, there's a little bit of activity there. It was really bad there earlier this morning. That watch box is being uh, kept away there. So right now up to five severe so thunderstorm warnings and one tornado warning here for this afternoon. Kind of see it's kind of long, elongated line in there. Uh, say at least you see all these storms kind of laying up right through here uh, with those with those storms. Oh, I keep doing that. That's habit. I'm so used to doing it that way. I he sent an email to the developer of my cross of the cross system. What's interesting about the cross system, it'll it'll show the warnings that have come out in the weather service offices there, and that's at least kind of keeps me alert. But it does not identify the counties, which really aggravates me a little bit. But uh, I've got a guy uh, uh, who's developer of this program to kind of help me out there and see if I can figure out how best to use that that system. We do have one warning that's still out here. Uh, over here toward the the west, just now coming into where the tornado watch box is. This warning goes for another 15 minutes, although it doesn't does not look all that impressive. Uh, yeah, I'm not even seeing on the high res there. I was look, kind of looking for that rotation in there, and I'm just not seeing it very pronounced on the velocity mode. I get a little bit closer so you can kind of see that right through there. Uh, maybe something, to, but uh, not really showing that in there. Um, there's a pretty pretty good thunderstorm, but there's been some indications of the rotation with that particular cell. Uh, some very good rains up here in Wayne. Look at that. Very, very nice heavy rains and some stuff up there. But uh, really, I'm watching everything between Des Moines and over to Peoria. That is my... Looking at the models, looking at this general area right in here. That is the area I think it's going to get nailed pretty good here for this afternoon uh, with that, with uh, with this afternoon's destabilization. The wife just texted me. Oh, no warning just got issued. Where's that one at? Where's that one? Looking for it. Don't see it. Let me see over here in my other program. Mm, looks like. Really? Oh, that's over here in North Carolina. <laughs> that's not even in the area I was looking. Apparently, guys, we're throwing this morning over here in near North Carolina. I wasn't even watching that. <laughs> I was like, where's that at? I was like, oh, there it is. That's, that's a close-in radar there. That's good. This is a Greenville radar. Yeah. I don't care about that one. <laughs> North Carolina's got a severe thunderstorm warning. All right, I see it. But we're watching this area up in here. Oh, it's a big old tornado watch box. That's what I'm watching. Come back to the Des Moines radar here. Yeah. Can I see the big picture? As we watch the severe weather here for this afternoon, might need to adjust my parameters on this a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit better for the stuff. I don't really know. Oh, this new warning just came out here, Quincy. That's got some purple in there. That's probably a good, good hailer with that one. Let's see that. It goes one inch hail. This is for southeastern Knox, northern Shelby, western Lewis until 1.30 central daylight time on that. So new new warning there on that one. That's a pretty long line. They're moving so fast you gotta make the boxes a little bit wider than what you would normally see. I 
if I should change my clock during these time periods too. What am I gotta think about? That's got a pretty good hailer. I bet that's got a very high veil. Let's take a look at that. Uh, too far away. Let's use it. Let's get another radar here. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good hailer in there. See that? See that little bullseye right through there? Yeah, it's got some pretty good hail coming into Shablini. Probably going to move into Shelbyville here very, very shortly. Yeah, see that? That's a, that is a hailer, folks, right there. That big old purple, air, purple zone in there. That is some pretty good hail running right through there. Very impressive. Very nice. Probably need a better thumbnail than what I'm what I'm using right now. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can change that or not. I never even tried. Um, yeah, I bet I could. I could probably put a better thumbnail out there. Um, let me see. My, let me go to my Photoshop. Do I even have it up? No, I don't even have it up. Well, let's go take a look at that, shall we? And Photoshop. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna change my thumbnail. I think it's too generic. Let's do this. Let's do a different, uh, let's do a new, and uh, let me get me a good, I'm gonna get me a good, I got a new one here. Let me get that. my thumbnail so I can see if I can get some better attention so let's do this Google let's do images let's see if I can see images yes Let's do this. I want to update my image, so we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to see if I can go to my downloads. Dump this in here. Ah, that works pretty good. I like that. All right, and let's do a. Let's bring in something else. I want to look at desktop. Look at my display elements. Where's my live? I thought it was live right there. Let's do this. Oops, sorry. I gotta set that first. No, no, no. Oops, don't go there. there. Oop. Ah! I did not do that. I did. Man, I'm so stupid. There we go. All right. I have, what I'm doing is I'm gonna update my. Um, my thumbnail because I think my thumbnail is too generic and it's not getting enough attention so I'm going to change my thumbnail that's probably the biggest thing that I've got to learn with this stuff is how to do proper thumbnails and um, try to make the most out of this here uh, all right.
So I am going to try to do this. Uh, ooh, well, hold on a second. Shrink that down a little bit. I can't move it when you do that, you dummy. All right. Man, my, my dog wants to start barking again. Nobody asked you to bark there, Angie. I'll drop that. Do a couple drop shadows on that. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's move that on. Move this to over here and this right there. There we go. That looks a little bit better. All right. So I'm going to try to do this as a new update. So let me go to export, export PNG, new thumbnail. So drop that in there, bump. So I'm updating, I'm going to my, my thing right now and I'm updating my, my thumbnail for this coverage because I, I don't think it's attracting anything. So I'm gonna try to update my thumbnail and uh, do it a little bit better. So let me go to here. So I'm gonna edit. And I'm gonna change my thumbnail here. Uh, change this. Change. And then we're going to new thumbnail. Here it is, new thumbnail. And open. That covers now. All right, there we go. Then we're gonna save that. All righty, there we go. Save that and it helps attract a little more attention. I do like doing the coverage. I know I don't get a whole lot of people watching my, my, my channel because it's a small page, but I do need to try to bring in some folks, you know? I at least want to have some people watching this. Got to do what you got to do here. All right. All right, there we go. I'll set up. Now I'll see if that helps bring anybody in. I don't know. <laughs> Give it a shot. All right, there we go. Now let's get back to weather coverage here. All right. What I'm watching for here, the next couple of hours, and there's a new warning just came out, right when I got finished here, and that's down here. Uh, it's down here near Kansas still. Uh, why does Radio Omega do this? The, 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 the sights came down again. All right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do this. I'll go to here. And let's do a cross section on that. That's the new one that just came up. That is for this one here. Yep, just came up. So here's what I'm looking at right there. This is the new warning that just came out for Bates and Cass and Johnson. It goes until 1.30. That's that southern cell right through the air. So we're looking at this particular cell uh, down here to the south. This was the one that just came out. All right. Now, Radar Omega is doing something really kind of funky, so i got to shut it down. I don't know why it does that. Occasionally what Radar Omega will do is I will lose my ability to jump between radars. And sometimes I gotta reset it. So I just reset it and there it goes. Now I can see it. See, that's just all I needed to see. So we'll go switch over to this radar here. So here's what I'm looking at. So so this is the new warning that just came out. That's got some, I'm gonna watch that one. Let's go a little bit of, Rotation with that on the southern portion of that. I'm looking at it very closely. This is the new warning that just came out for this county here. That again is Case County, northwestern Bates County, and southwestern Johnson County till 1 30. So this one, I may have, I don't know, maybe have a little bit of rotation in with this thing on the tail end of this as this continues to move up toward the north and east. Uh, going up to Adrian, Archie, Garden City, kind of all, everything down the middle of that. Severe thunderstorm warning right through there right now. So. You kind of, this is the wider perspective here. So you kind of see the different one. You got the warning here. You got one, two, three, four. You got five just in that one area right there. Plus you got one in North Carolina, which I'm ignoring. Uh, I got, they got a warning here at Asheville, North Carolina. I don't care about them right now. Nothing personal, but that's not where my eye is right now. Uh, what I'll be watching for really is these individual cells out of here uh, like this one. This is this is what I'll be watching for, okay? Is these individual cells here like this one 
this one down here toward the south. These are the ones that, uh, as we go through the next couple hours, because the tornado parameters are coming up, uh, moving into that new watch box, that's where the tornado threat will increase here uh, for this afternoon, over the next couple hours. So, uh, right now, only one active warning, and that's over near Nebraska, and that one's probably just expired, actually. It just, it just expired, so that'll drop here in just a second. So, but the best chance for tornadoes, it's now 1 o'clock, so between now and I'd say, I'd really say about 4 or 5 this afternoon, central daylight time, uh, across this area of Illinois and into Iowa here. Let me switch back over to the Des Moines radar here. Uh, this is the zone that we got to watch very carefully here over the next several hours. This is where things, when the destabilization with the daytime heating, uh, you've got a tremendous amount of spin and helicity in the atmosphere uh, with that low pressure system that's going through there. Uh, you can see it very nicely here on the regional look. It's kind of the, 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 the um, setup here. you got a warm front that's moving to the north. And along that boundary, sometimes you can get your spin-ups in there as well. So uh, coming into southern Illinois, I mean, southern Iowa, northern Missouri, kind of going to that western counties of, of Illinois, those are the main concern here for this afternoon uh, with the destabilization uh, taking place as we speak. In fact, I want to look at the, uh, so there's there's your current, uh, there's the current uh, uh, watch warnings again. The yellow areas, that's your tornado watches that are up right now. Actually, let me, I'm sorry, that's, that's uh, let, me, let me update that. I'm sorry. Forgot to update that real quick, so let me update that. So there was some more counties I got to add. I was like, oh, that's not right. Here's the right one. Here we go. So, again, kind of covering all of Iowa, the western portions of Illinois, and, and northern Missouri. That is your ground uh, kind of central right here uh, for the tornadoes to kind of pick up here for this afternoon. I'm not sure if it's going to be a, kind of a major outbreak, but there's definitely good helicity there. Uh, you can see the high moisture right through here as well uh, with this th that's currently setting up. And in fact, I want to kind of highlight a couple things here, uh, looking at the current temperatures. Uh, through there, you see temperatures are well into the 70s right through there, through Missouri, kind of getting into southern Illinois, uh, southern portions of Iowa. Uh, so uh, pretty warm, moist air uh, coming out ahead of that system. In fact, let me get my, get my thing up here. So uh, you just see how, how warm it is right through here. Temperatures well into the 70s. So you got high, high dew points coming up and through there. Uh, let's look at the... The winds are kind of blowing through the air. Some pretty gusty winds there already. Even around that area, low pressure is pretty gusty winds, uh, to say the least, right now. And you got the the, the high dew points, uh, temperature uh, dew points sitting in the low 60s. Uh, so seem better, but uh, but for this time you're not 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 too bad. Here's where you're kind of in the middle of April. As you can see, that dry line or the dry push kind of pushing in uh, from the west there. Uh, you know, cl clearly see that sharp dividing line right through here as this is pushing off this way. So around that area of low pressure. So I'll continue, let's go back to Radar Omega here. Let's continue to watch the coverage. You know, just kind of watching to see how things kind of deteriorate or how they, how they do or will or will not deteriorate here for this afternoon. Let me just see, make sure my, I'm checking on my phone to double check, make sure my, my thumbnail did update. So let me double check that. I think it did. I'm sure it did. Oh, new warning came out. Let me check that out. Yep, yeah, it's updated. Good. All right. Um, the new t new t uh, sphere thunder warning just came out for this cell in here. Let's go zoom in on this one. Uh, kind of going into the Knoxville, Pella, Oskaloosa. I guess how you pronounce that. Uh, possible tornado also means we got some rotation with that. Okay, so a lot of counties here. Eastern Lucas, Western Monroe, Monroe, Marion County, Northeastern Wayne County, Southwestern Mahaska. Hope that's, I hope I'm saying that right. And South Central Jasper County. Again, moving Northeast at 55. All these storms are moving with a purpose, to say the least. Let's take a look at the uh, high-res velocity in here. Oh yeah, I got some pretty gusty winds through there. Very, very nice. Uh, showing up through here. Some very gusty winds here. Uh, being showing up in, into this right on that boundary. Russell, zero. Kind of getting some very uh, very strong winds in there. Uh, Cheriton, uh, quite significant. Let's 
go to Pyrez here again. I'm gonna look at see how fast that's moving. Yeah, that's gonna be round top of Knoxville here very, very shortly, uh, and and toward Pella. Uh, you see all these green dots? These are all the these are the spotters out here. So you got a lot of spotters out here. None with a camera that I can see. At least not that's tied in with Radar Omega, but you can see those those going through there right now. Um, and again, I'm really watching the stuff here to the south. This is the this stuff down here as it moves to the north. This is the stuff as it kind of makes that turn. That's that's where the tornadoes will be a concern for me later this afternoon. Uh, currently looking at no to no official tornado warnings, but we got seven severe thunderstorm warnings currently out there right now. As you see, I got the. The, that bottom there, you see where it says severe thunderstorm, that's the counter right there. I don't know if I should blow that up bigger later. I'm just kind of fooling around with that. I'll see if, if I want to move, mess with that or not. But uh, no tornado warnings as for now. I don't think it's going to stay that way because everything that the high resolution models are showing is between 1 o'clock and uh, central time going to about 5. That window there, it, it really starts to look uh, like things will kind of be setting up. I've oh, got a new warning just came out, but... Doesn't appear to be in the area that I'm looking at. Let me double check here on my GFL here. That's for, I just came out for, all right, that's that area here in the north. That's a pretty big box that just came out here. All right, we'll show you that. Oh, that was at, that's back in North Carolina. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried about them. <laughs> There's a, there's a severe thunderstorm warning over in North Carolina near Asheville, but that's the only storm that's around there, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that that area. This is my this is my area of responsibility right now is Iowa, into portions of Nebraska, northern portions of Missouri, and going into Illinois. That's that's the main thing here. And those in Chicago, Rockland, you're outside the watchdog. I think it'll be a pretty good squall line that, that might uh, blow into Chicago uh, going into late tonight uh, as that low pressure lifts off toward the north. I definitely definitely couldn't rule out some. Uh, some robust conditions there a little bit later. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the chasers, shall we? Let's look at the latest sound here on the chasers. Uh, Brandon, Jake, and White Weather. Nothing there. Uh, none of those guys are kind of in a in a really um, bad cell just yet. But I keep checking back with them. Uh, go back over at Red Omega here. Pretty good sell there north of Quincy, just there in Canton area. That's uh, another 24 minutes on that. Probably see another uh, warning. That that sell looks pretty intense. Probably see a new warning here go up here, out ahead of here, right by up in here pretty soon. I'll probably see a new warning coming out here shortly. But uh, what I'm what I'm scanning for right now is I'm looking for on the reflectivity. To see if I see any cells that, that are looking and they got any kind of spin to them. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm kind of looking for right now. Let's look. Let's check these these southern cells here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> get out of get out of my shot, man. Fact, I probably got that a little too close. Let's see here. Where's my? Am I too close? Yeah, I need to back that off a little bit. I think I'm a little bit. Right. That's a little bit better. I was just a little, little, little too close. All right. Oh, and I got a new warning that just came out. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's. I wish I would stop setting those warnings. <laughs> it's all inclusive. Looks like uh, nope. That's an update to another one. Never mind. I go to my little counter. I can see what's going on with that. All right. So let's go back over here. So oh, here it is. It's this one over here. New new tornado warning on that one. New tornado warning just got issued. That's the one that just came out. Out of my area. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this one, shall we? Let's take a look at this one. Uh, this one goes radar indicated one inch hail. Uh, this is for northwestern Colfax and southeastern Stanton County until 145. 
Uh, thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located four miles southeast of Lee and 17 miles northeast of Columbus, moving northeast at 15. I find, well, that is on the back part of the, it's amazing you're on the back part of the storm and then these storms back here are not moving nearly as fast as out ahead of it. So, again, that warning is sitting right on the, the tornado watch box uh, line right through there. Let's look at the, let's look at the high res velocity, see if we see it. Ah, maybe, I mean, very weak, doesn't look all that impressive. A little bit of spin in there. Let me go in a little bit closer. Oops, sorry, got there. Let me get a little closer. Dead center of your screen here. Looks like a little bit of rotation. We're right through here. That's where we're looking at uh, that red on green. So we got a little bit of uh, spin out there. Uh, luckily, this looks like it's out in no man's land, but hopefully, but uh, area, the Clarkson, Clarkson area, that is that's moving in that general direction. So I'm going to be kind of moving east. So. Uh, that's an area to watch there. We've got a new warning just came out. Let's switch back over. That's a pretty impressive cell. Very nice. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, there's a new watch box coming here. Let's switch over to this radar here. There's a new warning here for Central Sullivan County and Central Putnam County until 2 Central Daylight Time on this uh, warning right now. Let me switch the radars here. Oops, come on, switch radars, come on. There it goes. All right, so yeah, get along that line. It's at the tail end on that line. Uh, very impressive on that cell. It's kind of overlapping, coming into Milan. This is that Humphrey. You see, whenever you see purple like that in there, and you see that high purple there, probably a pretty good hailer in here as well uh, with that cell right through there. I probably need to change that to black. I can't really see that very well. Let's go and change this to black here. So we're talking about right in here. There you go. You can see it a little bit better. Sorry about that. And watch when I watch when I do the. I'm going to go over to what's called the vertically integrated liquid there. Yeah, big bullseye as expected. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good hailer in there, just south of Humphrey. Kind of see it on the tail end of that watch box they're coming in here so pretty good pretty good sell there and my dog's gonna start barking again my dog likes to bark oops let's go back over to the Des Moines radar here All right, let's see here. I want, let's see what the storm chase was here looking at. There's, there's Corey. Yeah, got some low hanging clouds there. Yep, oops, kind of pixelating out a little bit. But you can see how dark it is out with that cell uh, approaching his area. He is looking off toward. Let's see what he, let's see what Vince is showing. This is Vince. He's out there on those farm farm roads. He's got some activity off toward his left right now. I'll tell you, there's one cell that's kind of catching my eye. Not that one. Uh, yeah, that's I know that that radar ain't working. Is this cell down here? I'm kind of watching this one because it looks like looking at the eye. This looks like we got a, maybe a little bit of spin on that one right through here. That one I gotta watch very closely. So I I know they're probably gonna issue a new warning for that here very shortly out ahead of it. Uh, let's take a look at the velocity mode. Let's see if we got anything going in there. See if there's anything spinning around in there. Uh, nothing. Some winds, but nothing. Let's go base velocity. Mm, nope. Nothing that catches my eye just yet. But we'll watch it. I'll keep going back to it. Let's drop down port area here. Oh, new warning right when I got on it. Oh, well, it popped up there and then went away. That's kind of weird. Huh, that's interesting. 
Not sure what caused that. Only got one tornado warning right now. That's uh, that's actually back over to Nebraska. So that's this particular one here. Here's my side by side. Oop, well, oh, don't put it off the screen, dummy. Uh, ooh, what happened there? Ah, why are you doing that? That's kind of weird. Not sure why it's doing that. That was not doing that before. I gotta reset that up. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, did I move it by accident? I must have. Oh, you know what? I, I think I know what I did. I think. Oh, new warning just came out. I think I know what I did. Just take it full. Oh, no, that's not it either. Huh. I have no idea why I did that. It is doing something cray. Oh, I know why. Because it's supposed to be like this. All right, let me fix that. Oh, there we go. That's fixed. All right, let me go back over to that warning there that we're just looking at. I'm sorry I had to fix something there. Here's our new warning. That that's the one. That's the county I was calling on or wait was waiting on here. Uh, looking at northwestern Hancock, Lee County, and Clark County until two o'clock Central Daylight Time. Another warning just came out. You're getting those alert tones there. I need to put my my, my tones not on. I'm so sorry. Oh, this one's down here to the south. So this is for this line down here. Let's switch over to the radar here. All right, here we go. Pretty good warning here. Uh, this one is for one inch hill on this one as well. A lot of counties in this one. Look at this one. Western Carroll, Eastern Caldwell, Western Lafayette, Southeastern Jackson, Lafayette, I should say. I'm so used to saying it the other way. Northwestern Johnson, Southwestern Livingston until 2 o'clock. Well, we got a lot of warnings out. Covering a very big area. Look at all these warnings that are currently out here in this area. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven warnings just in that one area zone alone. So uh, quite a bit there. Uh, right, nine total, but that also includes uh, over toward North Carolina. So uh, one tornado warning is still out there uh, currently. Let me see. I just got a text message here. Let me double check here. Uh. Yeah, uh, so anyway, let's see here. I'm still waiting for things to, again, the, the, the window here, God, it, we're kind of in it right now. For the next three, next three hours, it's this... This area here uh, across western Missouri uh, in northern Mi Mi I mean, uh, western Illinois, eastern Iowa, northern Missouri. This is the area that's got me most concerned uh, watching for this afternoon. See if these individual cells uh, interact and kind of play bumper cars with each other. Because when they, when they do, that's when you can get your spin-ups for tornadoes and stuff uh, in that particular area. So... You're seeing a lot of this right in here. You're seeing these little cells. See all these little cells in here? Quite a few of them just kind of sitting in there. That's that's the that's the main concern right there. Oops, let me do that. So let me take that out, zoom that out. I didn't realize I had left that up. That's a good looking cell there too. I'll focus on this cell here. Some frame. <laughs> there we go. That's a that's a nasty looking cell right there. That's got some hail in that one. Look at that purple in there. Woof. That's got some pretty good hail. That's a good hailer in there. That is a hailer. The hell you say? Let's take a look at that. Yep. Look at that. Up the chart right there. Just coming into Kentrail, uh, Birmingham. They're gonna get some hail out of that thing. Pretty good hailer on that one. And you see all this up in here. Look at all this purple in here. These, these are going to get some pretty good hail reports out of this. There's going to be hail all up in this, 
all up in here. All these, these warnings. It's easy going outside where the warnings are. Uh, definitely got some hail all up in there. Uh, the, the one thing that makes uh, when you're when you're looking for hail and you see the reflectivity kind of going off its chart, ice of course is a very good conductor of reflectivity of of uh, ice. Uh, when the radar beam goes out, and bounces back, that that shows up very well in there. So you can see this. There's a new see the warning there in the mono cell. Watch when I look at the veil on this one as well. I can promise you guys, yeah, I got really good hail core. These these are these are hail cores right through here. This purple, this gray going off the chart. These are two little hail hailers that are going up right through here, right there. Probably some very large hail been uh, falling in that area. No storm spotters in that region for me to kind of highlight. I wish it was. I would have. Uh, I'd love to see what. I'd love to see some of that. Right, let me go back over to the uh, the Moyne radar because I kind of going through all of them, kind of bouncing between. Some of this activity is kind of falling between some of their different radar sites, so some of the radars are down. I've noticed that too. Some of the small ones, at least. That's the Quincy one. And there's a couple of these spotters up here. Let's see what they're. Let's see what they're zooming in. There, there's a couple. Of, there's a couple of storm chasers here. You see what's up there in Knoxville, so. See what Eddie's seeing here. Corey is what he's looking at. Nothing that catches his mind. Because he, he's, he's, he's seeing this activity here uh, back to the west of him. So you got this line back here. And let's see what, let's see what Vince is looking at. Vince is looking dark clouds, but nothing to. Nothing right home just yet. Let's see if they get in a good position for later. Oh, new warning just came out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, tornado warning. New tornado warning just got issued. This is this one over here, which has not been the area that was of concern for tornadoes today. Really weird seeing this. And it's been right, right along the watch warning box line, too. So there's a new warning just came out. I'm going to go in real close on this one. I have not been getting close enough on these, on these boxes. So this was radar indicated again. This one is for northwestern Colfax and southeast of Stratton until 2 central daylight time on this one. Um, again, kind of getting very close to Clarkson Out, which was the area I was kind of uh, pointing out earlier uh, when I was looking at it. No, don't like that one. I don't really show where the flip. Yeah, it's out in the middle of it. Doesn't show up very well. Oh, but there's some good, good rainfall amounts in that, that stuff. Let me, because it's not moving all that much, unlike that other stuff. Let's go ahead and loop that real quick. Let's take a look. Again, th this is the same cell. You see this down here. You see the two tornado reports here. This is the same cell that's moved up in this direction. So it's got a history of producing some funnels. Uh, and typically when they know that, uh, you'll get that you'll get that on there. So uh, ooh, Brandon's got some pretty good stuff. Let's look at the quad here. I just noticed that. Um, yeah, Brandon got some Brandon got some dark clouds out ahead of him. But an intercept right now. Yeah, it looks like white water's gone down. Let's go find him another find another one. Just checking the I'm checking the SBC here just to see if they've got anything updated for me here. That's the Storms Prediction Center. Yeah, so yeah, the western part of it, and this is that watch box that's there. That one goes until it's interesting that they. I'm surprised they haven't added some counties to this. At least these other ones, because when you see this, let me switch back over here. When you see these cells again up here in the yellow, this is the severe. Th these are the tornado watch box. But look at these activity here down to the south. I mean, these are pretty pretty darn strong. You've had some warnings on there. I mean, if I was in, I would probably add some additional counties in here. These counties, at least these northern counties in here, maybe add these or maybe even go down this far and add those additional counties in there. Um, 
just because these are pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good strong se uh, severe thunderstorms or borderline severe thunderstorms that are in that area. And this storm's already been producing a tornado, so we got the one warning there. Only one warning out right now. Um, those were just updated, so with that cell there. So all right, let's go back over the Des Moines radar here. Kind of, we're just waiting. I see a chat came up there. Hold on a second. I said someone just posted something on the chat. Let's see what we got here. Uh, do you think Minnesota will get any severe weather today, or are we safe? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I will, uh, let's bring up your question there. I'll just bring up my little twidget there and select there. So JT wants to know about Minnesota. Well, let's go take a look at Minnesota, shall we? Let's look at what the, what we're, what the SBC was pointing out. And if you notice here, uh, Southern Minnesota is in that marginal risk. So I don't think you're not high. I don't think any of these heavy duty storms will be moving up your way there, JT. Um, but uh, if you're right there along the Iowa border, just take it, take it easy. I, I don't think you're going to see anything real bad in your neck of the woods right now. Uh, you, you see where the tornado threat is. It's also uh, right along that border. Just very, very, very slim chance. So I think you'll be okay. Um, you might get some pretty good, um, pretty good storms though. I mean, that maybe just below severe criteria, uh, as that kind of spins up. That low is going to be spinning up that way, so you're going to get some pretty decent rains out of this uh, as that moves up to the north. Th again, thanks for your question. Appreciate uh, appreciate you posting something there. I like when I get to do that. That's the fun part of this when I can answer people's questions. So let me go ahead and loop this again as we're kind of watching these cells. I just keep I keep waiting for this area because I, as I just showed you where that 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 core area there for potential tornadoes was, uh, this is the window. This is the time between now and going into the uh, next uh, two or three hours when the high resolution model, at least the last one that came in, was showing when things could deteriorate uh, here uh, for this afternoon. So keep my whistle. All right. Yeah, that other warning hasn't. That one just dropped. Hasn't updated just yet. So my counter will update here in a minute. It usually takes it a second to cycle through. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six warnings in this general area right now. We got one tornado warning showing up there. I'm just kind of zooming out here. The other two warnings, if you wanted to know, just for kicks and giggles, just to, you see, we got two other warnings here down toward. The Carolinas. That's that's just they've been out there in the mountains today, but I'm not really concerned about that. We're focusing on this area here uh, for the tornado risk, which we're still waiting to see if this is going to come to fruition. You know, weather is not an exact science. You know, we can look at what makes weather kind of fun for me is the fact that it's always something different. Uh, you're always going to get something that you've never seen before. And you could still have certain ingredients there and maybe be missing a little bit of something uh, and not get not get much of anything. So, but based off what I've seen as far as the, what the models are showing and what I've seen in the past, I do expect to see some things go downhill here for this afternoon uh, with, the, with the tornado throw. Let's go ahead and put this back into motion here. We'll loop this through as we're going around the big, the big swirl. I like showing that, that wider perspective here. I mean, you see the big, just the big pinwheel. It's just the one big spitting mass there with a low, with low pressure system. Uh, let's check out a couple of these chasers. I just noticed, uh, I just noticed one of these guys was in a pretty good position here. He might be, uh, he's in, the, in that box to the south here. Let's see what, see what Brad's showing there. And he's still heading to the south here. This is Brad. And he's intercepting the storm. That's a pretty good hailer down to his south. So. And to see what he shows here very shortly. I'll check back on him in a minute. But he's got a pretty good, pretty good hailer right down to his south, right through there. And he started at short views right up here. So uh, this is this is definitely tracking up in his direction. So you might see some pretty bad action here uh, a little bit shortly. Where was that other warning that just came out? Go back to my Looks like it was an update to that, uh, that tornado warning that just came out. I 
So we've had a couple of reports here. Let me go ahead and switch you over to this. Here is the GRF level three here. Uh, again, you see it, you see these icons. You got the funnel clouds. It's been reported with this. It's been funnel clouds. Nearest reports of funnel clouds extending nearly to the ground, but not quite touching down. So that's what's generated the warnings here with that particular cell. So this has been a history of generating some uh, funnel clouds with this thing. Uh, you see it right through here. Got a couple of reports right through there. And this this is the watch. This is the the, the current warning box right there. It goes until, until two o'clock uh, Central Daylight Time. And been some one inch hail with that as well, uh, being seen in the middle of that particular cell. <coughs> so I'll continue to watch that as that <coughs> pushes off toward the east. Mm. All right, go back over here to Radar Omega here. And we have 10 severe thunderstorm warnings. A couple of those are in North Carolina. I keep that in mind. Two tornado warnings out, which is really covering the same area. They're kind of overlapping warnings in there. Whoops. Why did I do that? Why do I keep doing that? Because I'm dumb. Keep that up, dummy. Take it down to do that. All right. All right. But wow, you can really see the perspective here of that low as you got that activity here being drawn up and around. And this stuff coming on the back end of here on that low pressure system. And I, that's what I'm going to be, I'm, wa I'm watching these, these lines, these, you got this, this one line in here, this one line that back in here, those are the lines that I'm looking for as far as the, the spin out for it, uh, tornadic activity here uh, as we progress to the next couple hours. Really watch it. There's a couple, actually two spotters intercepting this cell. So let's, let's, go ahead and let's uh, stay on this cell here for a little while as this is getting really close to him. He's going to be running in some serious weather here shortly. Doesn't look that bad. Well, he's looking southward there. Doesn't doesn't appear all that bad on that view. Hard to tell with a with a winding road there or not. And let's let's check the other check the other view. There's Brandon Cop. He decided to stop intercepting that cell that's coming in from the south. See a pretty good rain shaft there to the, on the right side of the screen. Yeah, pretty good there. But uh, well. I was expecting it. You get this. That's a pretty good hailer that's uh, moving up to these two guys up here. So these two guys here uh, should be seeing some pretty good activity here very shortly. This new one just got issued. I was just going to look at something, but uh, new warning just got issued here. Where is that? I'm looking, looking, looking. Looks like that might be back in North Carolina again, I bet. Johnson, Tennessee. Yep. Tennessee just got one till 3.15. And there's the other one that just came on. I saw the got the new warning here. Let's go zoom into this one. Give me you ever see lightning kind of increasing up with a purple? Pretty good indication you got you, you know you got some hail in there. Uh, that's a big box, as you can see. Let me loop this storm. Uh, this one is for read the counties again. Southwestern Lincoln, Central Montgomery, Northeastern Osage. Northwestern Warren and Northern Gasconade County until 2:15. Look at the spin. Northeast at 70 miles per hour. That is interstate speed. That is hauling. That is hauling right there, buddy. And again, riding right along that watch boundary. <laughs> I've seen more severe thunderstorms. We're kind of watching the boundary of these uh, watch boxes that uh, I can I can remember as far as recent memory is concerned. But that is moving, that's hauling butt. So Herman, Jonesburg, Hawk Point, all that area is in there as that continues to move up uh, toward the north and east there on that particular morning, just to the uh, west of St. Louis. Did you see all the watches all the way around here, all the way through here? 
Ooh. All right, let's switch back over to the one right here. I'm trying to keep an eye on this other cell here that was producing the toy. It looks like they. Uh, it looks like they dropped that tornado lot, that tornado warning out. I just noticed that that's gone bye bye. That's good. So right now, that tornado warning that was up, they've lifted it. That's good. But we got a nice little cluster of severe thunderstorm warning right through the middle of that. Get that dead center there for you. They updated there. Oh, they just clipped the clipped the county away a little bit. Trim it, trimming the trimming the polygon. It's got a lot of chasers over here. They're really they're really interested in that cell. Oh, he's getting. I don't know that many people watching him. He's just it must be the. Um, no, Stewart's just saying at sixty point four. That's not really that warm. I uh, really need to see warmer temperatures than that. He's not coming up. Uh, let's go check on the other guy. See what he's showing. Brandon is Brandon. Brandon's over reliable. That's a pretty pretty nice wall cloud there to the right of him. Ooh, there's some lightning. A little lightning with that one. Should be right on top of him pretty soon. You kind of see it kind of moving. On. What the storm chasers are looking for, they're on that bottom part of the of the. Of the the view there. What they're looking for is something that's on the kind of left part of the screen to see if you get any kind of a spin up. I'm looking at that. I'm not seeing anything as far as a rotation, but it's going to be dumping heavy rain on him any second. As his lens is going to get covered with lane, uh, with lane rain. Get my mouth to work. Yeah, he's getting some pretty good stuff there. What I'm waiting to see is if he actually gets in, into the hailer or not. And if he keeps his lens clean. But look, he's going to clean your lens there, Brandon. Come on. Help me out, brother. Clean out the lens. All right. Man, he is getting very close to that cell. Let me look at that again. Man, he's about right on it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any rotation in the, in the in there. I'm just kind of looking at the wall-based cloud here. See the birds flying? That's sunshine breaking out to the left there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 53 people watching this right now. I know there was a severe weather event a while back. Oh, no warning just came out. Let's go see what that just came out for. Oh, that's up near Sioux City. New uh, tornado warning. Let's go up here and take a look at this one, shall we? That's that cell there. Got a new tornado warning just came out. That's a pretty healthy cell in there, Jackson. Getting near Sioux City. Well, that's getting awfully close to a uh, city there. Radar indicated. Uh, this is for northwestern Woodbury, southwestern uh, Plymouth, northwestern Dakota, southeastern Union County until 2 o'clock. And we got another warning that just came out. So I'm trying to keep up with these. Anything else came out? New warning, new warning, looking, looking, looking. No, nope, nothing I can see. That must that may be down to the south. I know there's some storms to the south, so I'm not uh, again not uh, not really focusing on those guys. So let's take a look at this. Let's look at the uh, just a little analysis on this one, shall we? As you can see, that, that purple area, very indication, probably got some uh, hail in that thing. Let's go look at the high-res velocity. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I can see a little bit. And they got the green and the red there. It got a little, little bit of rotation taking place right in the middle there. Uh, let's go ahead and loop this real quick. Very broad, I would say that. It does not look... Uh, clearly got some hail on this. I'm sure the vill is pretty high. There's the vill. So that's your hail. So you got some hail on that. Probably about one inch there near the Jackson area. So that tornado warning there goes uh, for another 22 minutes. So about 2 o'clock. 
I heard their tone, heard the alert tone go off. Let's see if we got anything else that came up here. Yep, new, new to your thoughts morning. Where the storm chasers are, <laughs> they're in the middle of it. So let's, uh, let's switch over to this radar here. Brad's camera's down. And here's this guy here. Let's see, this is Vance. Oh, that's a nice looking cell. Let's look at that one. See that low hanging thing on the, on the horizon there? That's what the storm chaser's doing. He's getting himself into position and he's showing his little view there. I will come off that. So he's looking to see if anything drops down on that wall cloud. You see the line there at the bottom, right at the bottom of the screen. So there, he's looking to see if there's any kind of rotation in there that potentially could drop a, um, a tornado in there in the future. Um, not showing any, it, not looking at the, it's a pretty decent wall cloud. Some pretty good heavy rains in there. But that's just off toward, toward his east. So look, he's looking at he's looking at this cell right here. Which I tell you, that's actually probably the best place to be when you're looking at a potential tornado. That's uh, be on the backside like that because it's going to be passing in front of you. And you're not in danger. So he's in a really good position there, actually. And let's see if he ever got the hail or not. Let's see what uh, Brandon's showing here. Oh, it got real dark there for Brandon. Very dark in there. Might be some hail in with that. It might be, yeah. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to tell when you're looking at uh, streaming video. Like there some, might be some hail mixed in with that. There was some hail showing up on the radar. Doesn't look overly large, but maybe a little hail being shown in with that. Yeah, looks like looks like he's got some, maybe some uh, nickel size hail, pea size hail. He's starting to move now. Probably wants to get out of the hail. The hail, you say? So there's the big picture right there uh, of the. You got the one severe. Th you got the one tornado warning up up here across Sioux Falls up in here, and then you got all these severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, quite a few of them. We got 13 officially right now. A few of those are in the south. Uh, and three tornado warnings right now. I'm not sure where the other three are showing up. Let me look at my... There's only one officially. It's Plymouth, saying three, because it's Plymouth, Woodbury, and Dakota. It's those three counties there uh, getting the impact till 2 o'clock on that. I'm switching over to Sioux City Radar here to see what the cross-section is throwing here. Again, you can kind of see this again here on the cross-level here. And this is your reflectivity and your um, velocity kind of side by side here. So, a little bit or something. It doesn't look all that impressive. Ooh, did I close that down? Didn't mean to. Let's go turn it back. Let's get it back on. So, it got a little bit of something right up in here. That's in the middle of that, of that cell. It's not a classic setup. I will say this much. If there is anything tornadic in there, it's probably rain wrapped. At least looking at looking at that right there. Yes. Come back over here. I see somebody had a question. Okay, let me see what you got there, brother. Uh, I remember one year ago we had just rain. I think it was 2023. It was a margin risk for severe. Then we ended up getting a tornado warning. Crazy times. And, and JT, this is a good point here. And this is a question. Um, Let's bring it up real quick before I go to the next warning. Uh, we've had, like, with the warning that I just showed you over there in Iowa, it was outside the watch box area, and you still had a tornado warning. So that's why when you when you see the issues of the tornado watch box, they, they typically will say in and around a general area. Uh, de definitely a good point, though. Thank you for bringing that up. So let's go back over to Radar Mega here. We got 14 severe thunderstorm range right now, but there's like a dozen of them here in the south. I mean, I, I hate to, to pick on this area here, but we got look at look at this. This has got four severe thunderstorm warnings here uh, up here in the mountains areas. Quite a few of them here across Tennessee. I gotta get my dog back in. Uh, oh. So let me. 
I gotta get my butt. Hold on one second. I have two old dogs. I have a, uh, a, a French Bulldog and I've got a uh, kind of a, what is he? Anyway, Terrier. Uh, and, 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 and the uh, French Bulldog likes to block the door and not let her in and he starts crying. I'm like, look, look, stop being a wuss. You're 12 years old. Stand up to yourself. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. All right, let's get back over here to this coverage here. I'm really kind of, I'm just really waiting to see if any of this stuff's going to spin up or not. I mean, we're still, we still got a couple, we still got two or three more hours in this window, uh, kind of watching to see if we're going to get anything that's going to spin up uh, on the tornado side in the prime zone that we've had around the periphery, but not on the main one. Oh, there's a new tornado warning, and this is outside of the area. This is so weird seeing this. I mean, and this is a tornado warning. Again, uh, you were just, we just talked about this like two seconds ago. And, and this, again, this warning is outside of the watch box. The watch box is up here. This is down to the south. I really, I, I mentioned this earlier. I thought I should have added some more counties to this. But uh, again, let's go ahead and highlight this warning again. This is for South Central coming, uh, northern Colfax and northwestern Dodge County until 2.30 Central Daylight Time. Uh, a confirmed tornado, so this is observed, it was on near the ground near County Road L and County Road 3. A second possible tornado, was, we've seen possible phones with this, so this is, this is confirmed in here. Let's take a look, let's see if we're seeing, uh, let's see what the, let's look at the velocity mode here and see if it's got anything in there that, yeah, a couple, of, I see a potential couple of areas in here. Uh, yeah, definitely see one here. Here's this little spin here, and maybe a little spin back here, but this one up to the north looks a little bit better. Let me go in a little bit closer. So it looks like some north of Maple Creek. Uh, a little, definitely seeing some spin there. So that's a confirmed tornado on the ground with that one. Uh, hopefully just out in no man's land, not impacting anybody. But uh, yeah, we got a tornado warning with that. But we're not getting the tornado warnings where we thought we were going to see this today. A lot of hail in this. Look at all the purple in here. Uh, quite a few hailers in that. I see we've got a few more alert tones going off. Oh, boy, that is a huge box. Oh, my Lord Almighty. Holy cow, look at the size of that box. That's huge. Severe so throw some warning. Look at all those counties. Whoa. Cheriton, Lynn, Grundy, Sullivan, Ray, Carroll, Celine, Lafayette again in Livingston. All till 215. That's a big box. Right along that boundary. You can see all the all the some pretty good storms going through that area right now. So see, I was I'm zooming in close to see if there's any uh, storm chasers with the cameras on in there, and not seeing any. So just kind of watching that. But it's interesting. We've had multiple tornado warnings in the outside area. The only thing that we got, and this is away from the the grounds area, is all the tornado warnings have been up in here. We got three of them right there. This was these up here are radar indicated. This one down here to the south has been so this this one has been observed. All right. So let's go in a little closer here. I'm watching the Sioux City one. We're going a little bit closer and watch Sioux City here. Let's see what the high rate of velocity is showing in there. Nope. I May mean, have to try different radar. Yeah, I'm not seeing any on that one. Let's try a different. Let's try a different radar. Oh, that's the best one. Right? Let's try Sioux City Falls radar. Let's get this one a little bit closer. Right, let's see what this one looks like. It's high, right? Oops, sorry. Let's go to the. Broad rotation, but I'm not seeing anything that's uh, to write home about in that area for those two warnings that are in there. Let's read the there's a radar indicator on this one. Northwestern Woodbury, South Central Plymouth, and Northeastern Dakota until 2.15 on that warning. 
Uh, moving through a city populated area, which I always hate to see. I'm just kind of looking in here. I don't see anything that catches my eye. It's not the high res. Nope. It's just a blaze velocity. Nope. Not seeing it. Not saying it's not there, but I'm just not saying anything that really catches my eye. Oops, sorry. Let me uh, switch this back over to the high resolution. I'm going to go to my cross analysis here, see if uh, see if it shows up better over there. Oops, not WebEx. I don't want WebEx, nobody. Uh, right, so let's go to... Nah, and even even on this one, is that doesn't show up very well. This is the cross section one here, covering the same tornado. Uh, very broad rotation in there, so definitely definitely radar indicated on that one. Um, this one down to the south. This one's had some one and a half inch hail with this part, this sucker. Very broad rotation on that one as well. All right, let me go back over Radar Mega. I'll keep you in the alert tone. See, we'll just kind of pull back out here. So we got three different tornado warnings, which are not in the target zone, which is very interesting. Uh, so here's the big wider perspective here. Checking to see if these spotters have got anything worth a flip. Let's go back over the Des Moines radar here. That doesn't look all that impressive. Looks like they're moving. Yeah, they're moving. Getting to a different position. Uh 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 uh. These guys, are, I know storm chasers are probably getting a little disappointed right now. I haven't seen anything to really catch my drift just yet. You see the chasers are out moving around, moving about a little bit. Although Brandon's showing his, his uh, display right now. I'm going to look at the uh... alright, there's the, the there's the big perspective again. The yellow area. Look at all the look at all the warnings out there, right? All those orange areas across Iowa and Missouri. That's all your severe thunderstorm warnings. There's a lot of them out there right now. I think 15 was the last count total. And we've had we've had severe thunderstorms in areas that don't even have any watch boxes up today. That's been a little bit of a surprise across North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. Had some warnings today uh, as well. And what's very interesting for me again is. The area that's getting the tornadoes right now are, we're sitting on the, basically the marginal, that green, like less than 2% chance of getting stuff. And that's where, the, where the, the tornadoes have been the most prominent here in the last couple hours. Not in that target zone that's well off toward the west. So very interesting to see that. But we still got a few more hours, and we got a lot of daytime heating still to go through. Spam, go away. Nobody wants spam. Go away. Let's see. Uh, well, the hail reports definitely started to come up. We're up to 12 hail reports so far. Only five on the tornado reports. And 36 wind damage so far for today. That's today's. So you can see the, the big the big swirl continue with that daytime heating. Uh, as it's kind of pulling up through Missouri and Iowa. Nice classic rotating low pressure system. Looks very, very impressive on the satellite imagery. Let's see here. 
Let me go back over to Red Omega here. Stay on top of this. I want to continue to watch these tornado warnings over here. That's an impressive cell right there. It really is. A lot of, a lot of hail of that sucker. Maples Creek, Howls. Yeah. High reflectivity. Again, hail all in there. See that? That's your hail core. That gray area is where it kind of peaks out. Did someone post another question there for me? Uh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's true, JT. I mean, it's possible. I mean, um, it, it, you know, we'll see how it works out as, as, as that rotation moves around. But right now, that's what they're officially reporting for you. But we, we shall see. Again, like like you were saying, JT. Again, look where this tornado warning is. This is the warning, right here. It's a, this was observed for these counties, and the watch box is here to the north. This county, the, these counties down here to the south, are not in the watch boxes. They're not. So, uh, very very interesting. That's a, just a good lesson learned to watch there. And both these both these current tornado warnings out there out there are not areas that were on the high risk for tornadoes for today. So 16 uh, severe thunderstorms right now, four tornado warnings out there. Just a tremendous amount of activity. Go back over the Des Moines radar here. I'm watching this as it goes on through. Yeah, I didn't start early enough, but I know a lot of folks are working right now. We'll see how as we'll see how it plays out here for this afternoon. I need to fix that. I just noticed I'm getting a little clip there. Let me fix. Let me fix this. I just noticed my my counter is getting clipped a little bit.
Where did my microphone go? Oh, there it goes. Finally. Whew. I was like, man, that was ticking me off. All right, now I'm back. <laughs> Not sure what caused that. Thank you. Hey, thanks, JT, for letting me know that. I appreciate that. Live broadcast. Thank you. All right. Anyway, well, let's get back over to Radar Omega here as I am watching these three tornado warnings that we currently have in the area that was not the prime uh, target zone for the uh, tornadoes for today. And um, it's been pretty busy. I got, hold on, let's see here. I got a text message. All right, yes. Ma'am, go there. All right, let's see here. Da, 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 Let me switch radars here. Looks like Des Moines is looking pretty decent right now, but all the activity is off to the east. Look at look at all that stuff. Wow, that's some heavy stuff. Moving up to Watertown, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, Davenport. Um, some pretty heavy cells here coming to the north. I, I, I can see these spotters are probably going to get hit with another round here pretty soon. Uh, I need to go in here and fix this. Hold on, let me do something real quick. I gotta set my. I gotta turn these back off. I can't have four damn things on. It's ridiculous. All right, apply it. Okay, should be just one. All right, there we go. There we are. There we are. All right, I want to look at my. Tracker still hasn't updated that. I was looking to see what the latest reports were looking like. Let me see. I'm looking at these storm reports. Let's go over to these storm reports. Let's see here. Da 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 and Central Iowa and down here Kansas. That's what's gone off so far. All right. And now three tornado warnings. Those are the ones we're seeing. Let's see if there's anything new that. Yep, there's a new one up here. Let's highlight this. I was I was wondering why they were, I was wondering why they were kind of sitting on that. That was looking awfully impressive. This is for Black Hawk County, Bremer County, Northern Grundy County, and Butler County. Uh, that one goes until 245, severe thunderstorm warning on that one. So, uh, numerous uh, severe thunderstorm warnings with this south through the Iowa area. But as this stuff progresses off toward the east, um, the target zone of storms, as these continue to move up, as these continue to move up toward the north and east up that way around that low, uh, the next area I'm going to watch as it moves into that prime zone for tornadoes uh, really has to be these clusters of storms down here to the south that have got to move, move to the north yet. So uh, these storms back here kind of rotating up that way. Again, that's what I'm going to be watching here for the next couple hours. Oops. A pretty healthy line right there. Yeah, nice hell core there too. All 
That one's got some spin. Need to watch that one. This little shell here looks like it's got something. It's some spin in there. Need to watch that very closely. I'll switch this back over to my other. So you can't go back over here. Fourteen spirit thumbs warnings. I got seventeen warnings out right now. Oh, someone put something in the chat. Hold on, I see you. About to get severe weather in Minnesota. Lots of lightning going on right now. Where are you at, JT, specifically? Uh, where, where, where exactly are you located? What city are you in? What city are you in, JT? Tell what city you're in. I like to take a look at your area. We'll go. We'll just zoom in a little closer. So let's go up to the Minnesota border. Let's go up to Lacrosse. We get the Lacrosse radar. When you got some rain, you got some heavy storms to your south. Yeah, what's what city are you in? Are you up near Austin, Rochester? When you're like I said, you're just outside the watch box there. Like, oh, what blew out my voice? That was terrible. And I mean, there's some rain and there's some lightning in your area. I mean, there, I see scattered lightning all the way south of, uh, of Minneapolis down to the border, but it, that stuff that's over you does not appear to be as intense. Let me switch over to Minnesota radar. Look at, look at the back part of that. Very nice, heavy rains through Minnesota. But nothing severe. That doesn't look nothing. Probably borderline severe, just under it. The closest warning is this one right here. That just that just got issued. Looks like the other warning just expired, so we're down to one tornado warning now. Uh, that's for this cell over here. Let me switch over to that radar. This one. This one was observed. Weather spot our confirmed tornado was located over Strumble or near Lamar's moving north at 30 miles per hour. That was just five minutes ago, so they just updated that. Flying debris. So that one's got a confirmed tornado with that one. Let's go in a little bit closer. Let's check that one out. Okay. I'll check that out. Yeah, right over. Look, okay, it already passed trouble. So Maurice is probably the next where that broad rotation was sitting right through there. Um, it looks like it's moved to the north now. Trouble. That's where that just confirmed a few minutes ago on that particular cell. Oh, you're in Rochester. Okay, thanks, JT. Yeah, I don't. I think you're just looking at heavy rain and thunder up there. Um, been to Rochester. I actually went to the Mayo Clinic there years ago. My wife had to have some surgery done there. Uh, actually, a nice town. I, I actually enjoyed it there under the circumstances. <laughs> Let's see. Where? Wow. So it's, a, it's a, interesting trying to stay up with these, these warnings as they keep popping. These boxes are just humongous. I mean, they're just big. Just overlapping boxes. One, one this boxes are getting replaced by this box. Uh, what are we up to? 16 severe thunderstorm warnings and three tornado warnings. There's the new. There's the new warning. Just right there. Deep, 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 deep. Let me switch over to my on St. Louis radar. Yeah, I am. Uh, so this one is till from Northern Lincoln, Southeastern Pike until 2:45. Can't keep, can't keep up with the tone alerts, man. Not stop on the alerts today. But the thing is, there's been some other warnings up. That's over here in West Virginia. <laughs> there's, there's been some active weather over here. That's a pretty good sell there, actually. That is uh, an area of the country that I was not expecting to be tracking severe weather for today, but they've got some there. That is severe thunderstorm warning there. That's amazing. 
but this is where I'm kind of I'm maintaining my focus over here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of rotation in there. I watch that one. Yeah, that, that uh, tornado warning will update here in a second. That'll probably drop to about one because I don't see one out there active right now. Let's see here. Yeah, very gusty winds in there. Very broad. Maybe some some rotation in there. Not looking too bad though. See on the back side here. All right, go back over to the Des Moines radar. Let's see what these guys are seeing. There, he looks like he's in some heavy stuff. Let's see what Corey's showing. And he's got some dark clouds there. Pretty good wall cloud coming at him. It's uh, a pretty good wall cloud coming in there. Good warning. Yeah, nothing dropping there. You got a little, little rotation in that cell, but not. See the lowering cloud top. That's not a tornado behind him, though. No. And then warning just came out. Where did it come? When in doubt, go to the other one. I'll move this over here. West Virginia. West Virginia's got one, two, three, four counties, five counties under severe thunderstorm warning. Who, who would have thunk? because I got off it. Yeah, I'm looking at that cross section there. Oops. Look at, this is what I'm looking at. So you know, this is the, the warning area. Again, brought rotation on that. that that's got to be fairly weak. I'm surprised I could even see it, but... Definitely uh, three quarter inch hail has been reported in that particular cell. Let me transition over here. Got my wide look here. Oops. Yeah, that's some pretty good cells here. Let's check this one out. That's pretty good. Oop, new tornado warning just came out. Mm. In an area that was not expecting it. Radar indicator on this one. This is for south, east, south central Sioux, eastern Plymouth, till 245. Yeah, very... Got a couple of spin-ups here, kind of over here, depending on where it is, but a couple of sections there to watch. Got two warnings right now. Got a couple of damage reports here. Let me check, let me zoom in on this, see what these, these were funnels, uh, tunnel report, spotter via social media. And this one here was spotter social media on that one too. And the cells right here. I'm sure he's doing. Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot of people watching him right now, comparatively speaking. 
So right now, I've got uh, two tornado warnings out there right now. These are the two. See, it's kind of spinning around, man. It's just spinning. See that rotation, uh, kind, of, kind of spinning, and kind of like that around where that area of low pressure is at. That's the uh, kind of get, get the pinwheel effect uh, with this on the periphery of that low pressure system. So watching there, and then uh, this is a very impressive line back here. I want to watch this one very close. Let me switch back over to Des Moines radar here. This is this is pretty intense. The Unionville, a lot of lightning with this cell. Let me get that center. Sorry. See, just kind of going right through Green City. That's some very very heavy activity going through there. Probably some pretty good hell in there too. Look at look at your hell hell core. Yeah, I got pretty, real good real good hell core there, uh, just south of Unionville. That's a that's a significant hail, hailer right there. Probably about one inch hail in that one. Yeah, that's this is the line I'm going to watch here for this afternoon. Uh, it's it's three, 218, so yeah, the next couple hours, this is going to be rotating into that area, that zone that was primed for uh, potential tornadoes. I've been really surprised where the warnings, all the warnings have kind of clustered here so far. have not been where we were thinking. I even got one way the heck down here. I didn't even see that one. I didn't pay attention to that. What's this one? Yeah, it's just one little one. But that's a loner cell. That's, that's the one that you kind of watch for. That may have a spin to it. That one there, you get a lone supercell like that. That that those are the ones that you can get a potential tornado with. Let's see what it looks like from the St. Louis radar. Yeah, good. It's still been a bit away, bit a ways away from there, and well south of the watch box. So I'm not going to worry about that. But as these storms here. This cluster moves this way, and again, it was right around the Missouri border that we were seeing that highest activity. I want to look at the latest model data here in a second and look at that, but let me go back over here to Sioux Falls. Oh, there's a storm report. Just came in. Just had one come in here. Just saw it pop in there right now. Let's do an update on that one right here as we just saw it. Uh, so confirmed tornado by emergency managers on this one in Plymouth County. So emergency managers have reported the tornado on the ground with that one. That one just popped. That's for the cell. And nothing in the area right now. It's, it's going well to the north of there. Uh, th 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 that was for this. What that torn report was for this cell up here. That's moved up to the north. And this is a new one down here to the south. For this one so this is this cell here that's responsible for this watch box here and then th this other warnings get ready to expire because it looks like it's come com move completely out of there right now next season very gusty winds with that going north there's no doubt about that And the hailer with that too, that storm that's moving to the north. Hey, good morning just went out. That is not for this area. Those storm chases are gonna get in a pretty good area here very soon.
So watching this cell here just to the east, I'm watching to see if these guys, they've they got a couple of chasers here in a pretty good position to intercept this stuff uh, down the south. This stuff here, got a couple of spotters up here with their cameras, so we'll see what they're going to see here very shortly. Did Brad ever get his picture up? Yeah, he finally got his picture up. There you go. Look at some heavy, picture, heavy stuff there to the south. See the, the very dark skies there to his south. These guys were in the suit pretty bad earlier. Yeah, that's Corey. It's, he showed some pretty, pretty, pretty intense clouds there. So let me back up here. Looks like we got a new warning that came out here. Now, new new tornado warning just came out. Let's go back over to this one. This is north of Sioux City Center. Radar indicated South Central Sioux City until 2.45 on this one. Uh, near Sioux Center, moving north at 30 miles per hour. All right, so that's that one there. Oh, yeah, you can see it very nice in there. Look, very nice in there. You can see the, the high res in here. Watch the loop here. So again, when you see it, greens and reds, it's away toward the radar, sitting right through here, uh, just north there, coming up on Sioux Center. So Sioux Center, folks, I hope they take uh, take uh, immediate shelter in that area for sure, as that uh, conglomerate, because th these storms have a history of tornadoes in, in with that particular cell. That's another warning there. <laughs> I love when I see a warning box that's kind of already moved out of that area. <laughs> But you got this other one down to the south that may move into that one. Nice little cluster of lightning in there too. So that tells me we got a cluster of lightning. Guarantee you we got some hail in there. Yep, there's the hailer right in the middle of that. That's coming up from the south. Moving a pretty good clip there. But you can see there very nicely on the high res that uh, potential tornado radar indicated, obviously. And to me, just eyeballing, kind of looking at that, that looks looks pretty broad to me. But uh, you can still get you can still get something to drop in there, uh, sitting right at, right up in there. I've got a new tone out. Let's go take a look at that, shall we? Let's look at another one. We got a new warning out. Switch back out of here. Where have we got the new warning out? Uh, nope, must be over in the must be over here in the west. Yeah. We've had these severe tunnels. Yep, that's out here in West Virginia. Look at all these. Look at all what's out here in West Virginia. I mean, that's just this crazy. They've had this. They've had this active weather out there all day, today, all afternoon today. Look at these clusters of storms. One, two, three, four, five thund severe thunderstorm warnings over here across Virginia, in an area that was not. I don't. Was not an area that was supposed to be concerned for today. Uh, not really. Not like this. Out here in the middle of the country. I mean, well, I, I guess they were technically in the, the marginal risk. There's, yeah, they were kind of in, I think they changed that, because I don't remember that looking like that earlier. But they're kind of in the marginal risk there. Yep, got a new warning up here. Let's go back to Radar Omega. That's for that. That's for Brad Storm. Getting real close. Let me go switch back over to the Des Moines Radar. Yeah. Oh, that's a cell coming in from the south. So that's a very strong cell uh, coming in from the south here. Very significant. This is kind of, again, continues to move up toward the north at a very high rate of speed coming up in here. And you got a couple storm spotters that are in that direction. So uh, we'll see if they pick up anything. See, anything new? Just kind of heard another warning alert. Oh, here to the north. Here, got one up here to the north. Rochester man, he, oh, he's dropped off now. I was like, he's getting one awfully close to you, just to your south. This one's for Chickasaw County, a north and eastern Iowa until 315. A significant storm there. After 13, well, he's got three tornado warnings that are all overlapping each other.
But I really want to watch the stuff down here in the south. Got a couple of storage spots. Brandon's getting in a better position. Looks like we got these overlapping wiring boxes up here. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. That's got some that's got some promise there. It's getting awfully close to see, see, see that's 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 dangerous to see. That red and green right up in here. A very dangerous situation with that that tornado running right through there. Look at the spin. You can you can even see the spin of the radar. Right where that spin has been the most pronounced for that low pressure system. Now, none of the storm chasers are up in that area for sure. They've not been there at all. There, what are you showing in there? So I'll be right back. I'll give you some crackers. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all, hungry, aren't y'all? Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Alrighty. Oh, sorry about that. I had to step out for a second. Get me a little, a little bite tea here. I'm a little hungry and I did not I think I gotta figure out how to do that. I've got down a two note trail wise here now. I switch over here. Just gonna help. Well, actually, you might see another one come out to the north here. Well, no one just came out. Let's take a look. Yep, just the west of that other line. Let's go switch over to Des Moines. That's a pretty intense line. And it's sliding off toward the east there. So this is for Adair, Clariton, Lynn, Sullivan, Putnam, Schleiler, and Macon counties. All warnings there.
I'm checking the stuff out of the south. Don't see anything there worth the flip. So it looks like these storms that are here to the tornado areas up. Uh, make it another warning here to the north. Uh, potentially see something may, maybe up in here uh, shortly, uh, just because the storm is moving that moving up to the north. Let me loop that again here. I kind of see it pinwheeling in there across the area. Let me see something here. I want to see if Sioux City, Iowa has got a camera up there. I want to take a look. Let me take a look here. I just see if Sioux City had a camera up there that I can look at. Just wanted to see. Not that I could see. I was just we're looking. I got a new warning that just came out. Let's see where that's at. Up oh, down here to south, down here to St. Louis area. So we got a new warning here, uh, just to the north and west of, uh, right along the the boundary of that tornado warning. This is a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Central Calhoun, St. Charles, Eastern Lincoln, and North Eastern Warren counties until 3:15. Uh, with that particular cell there, that's a pretty heavy action there moving up toward the north there. Uh, moving at a pretty good speed. What was the speed on that again? Um, moving northeast at 75. These storms are just hauling ass. I mean, just really, really fast. Very, very fast storms with these cells moving up to the northeast. We'll see if these guys have gotten themselves. Yeah, that's a pretty good cell to the south. Let's see what Brad's looking at. He's got some very good acti activity there. Oop, another warning just came out. Oop. That's the cedar. That's the, up along that line. Another warning that just came out here. This one for Bucknam, Johnson, Benton, Delaware, Lynn, and Iowa counties. That goes until 315. So that has been falling over. That's been dropping some pretty heavy rains in there too. As it's kind of rotating through that area right now. Uh, some very st uh, strong heavy activity um, moving up into Rochester. It's going to be close. Rochester area may get hit with some severe weather, but it's outside the box area. The air is a little more stable uh, to the north there. But so far this afternoon, as far as the bulk of the tornado, uh, reports have all been outside the target zone here for the active weather. Let me take a look at the report tracker here. Well, we're up to eight now. Turn our report now up to 8, 46 wind, and hail up to 13. So, uh, decent event. Not 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 too bad. Uh, that's some very, very strong stuff. Let's check in on, uh, this is uh, Brad. He's got some very dark clouds that he's getting approaching right now. Well, with that, let me switch back over to Ray Omega. And you see it's some very strong activity here just to his west. Oops, he just hit a he just hit a little dead zone. Let's see what these guys are seeing here. Brandon, he's looking to the south. So oops, new warning just came out. Just making sure it wasn't in this area. Nope, I'm going to guess it's over here to the west. No, no, I don't see any flash there. Just kind of pulling out to see. That must have been an update. Let's see what his camera's looking like. Vince is showing his radar. I don't want to see your Vince. I don't want to see your stuff. Brand's moving south. See the wall cloud there off in the distance. Got a lower base right there. Got a crack in the windshield there, brother. Get that fixed. Mm -hmm. 
That's a serious sell there to the south, though. That one is really got a really strong hailer in that one. I mean, you see that purple in there? That is very, very uh, strong activity right through the middle of that cell. Um, I can almost promise you, you got a very high off the chart. Yeah, there's the, and it's always a little bit behind when you look at the radar, but that's a hail core coming to the south. It's it's probably further north than that right now. So very potent. Uh, Storm through there. Oh, new tornado warning that came out over here near Dodge. Ah! That was the one I was... Oh, this is observed, too. Southern Pocahontas, northeastern Calhoun, and west central Humboldt till 315. Confirmed tornado was located near Rockwell City, uh, moving north at 35. So this one's been... Let's look at the velocity mode on this. We'll do a little analysis. High-res velocity in here. Uh, not really... This, let me try a different radar here. Yeah, one well, you can't. It's kind of sitting in between radar sites, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's try the Sioux City radar. It's probably too far away. Let's see what this looks like from the from that distance. Oh, new warning. I was waiting for that to go. I knew that was going to go. God bless, I knew it was going to go. All right, so that one had a. See, he's got Willard. He's out of position. He's shooting up that way. Let's uh, let's go back over to this one. This is observed tornado on the ground, this one. Southeastern Lyon County, northeastern Sioux County until 3 o'clock. Uh, confirmed tornado was located near Sioux Center. That was the one I was pulling over. God, I really hate seeing that. Uh, it's probably already gone over them by now as fast as this thing was moving out. Yeah. So this one was observed. So we're going from this box here into this box as it's kind of moving out. Sitting right up in here. See, see it's... Uh, Kind of a core in there. We're going a little bit closer. Kind of get, getting close to the Middleburg air, looks like, right now. That is that's sitting right in here. I'm going to watch that. That's where that current warning is right now. And all this has been happening away from the core area uh, on the periphery of the low pressure where the greatest spin, the greatest helicity has been uh, over here. But that's not, but it was kind of lacking a little bit of the. Um, uh, the, the 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 cape a little bit with this, but there's been a tremendous amount of spin. You see the rotation. You can clearly see the rotation going through, and it's on the periphery of that that we're getting these tornadoes that kind of spin up here on the edge of this system. So we've had numerous tornado uh, reports. There's going to be add some more to the reports, uh, the state of least here very shortly uh, through that. And then we got this one over here near Fort Dodge. Uh, let's just go back to the Des Moines radar and see if I can see this a little bit better. Going to focus on this one here. Got a nice hail core on that one. Look at the hail core. That's a good hail core, folks. Look at it. They got the hail core right through there. Got another hail core up here to the north. Um, a good hail core on that one. Now let's look over to the uh, high velocity mode in here. I'm going to loop this, see if I see any kind of rotation through there. The beam's kind of coming at a weird angle. I can't see it in there on that one. But this, this one's got uh, confirmed on the ground on this one. Pull back out a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little something on the southern portion of this, or right in here, uh, as this is moving up toward the north. There again on that particular tornado warning. Uh, that tornado warning goes for it's observed. So this is southern Pocahontas again, northeastern Calhoun, and west central Humboldt County. This goes till 3:15 uh, on this particular warning going right through here uh, right now. So uh, things happen, but what's been interesting is not really been where the core target zone was for today it's very a little aggravated to be honest with you but but um but we're getting this in the area because i, I bring this up because when i look at where the the tornado uh, target zone was okay it was uh well well this one's a little bit closer this is kind of in the end of the yellow area the, the ones that's been on the periphery has been kind of where the kind of on the greenish brownish right around the edge there but not really over i thought it would be further off toward the west than what we've seen so far Go back over here at Radar Omega here again uh, with with this. And so um, I'm still going to watch very closely this activity down here as it spins around, as it kind of loops around into that core area. That might be an area that kind of gets a little hot uh, uh, with the tornado warnings a little bit later. Um, right now we've got four active tornado warnings and 15 severe thunderstorm warnings. And, of course, these cluster warnings are all in the same area. Uh, let me go back, back into Sioux Falls Radar here. We're kind of watching these warnings. Now, I will say this this one down here, it's already moved out of that area. It's got three minutes left. That's going to drop. So, 
and these two warnings are kind of overlapping. This one's going to go away. This one's going to go away. This one's going to take over. There you get the new new image is just updated there. Let me go back to my velocity mode. I want to look at this this storm up here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that very broad rotation. Now, let me loop that for you. Yeah, it went right over Sioux City, Sioux Center right there. Some very strong weather. Like green on red because went on went on past there. So this was this was a spot or confirmed tornado with this one. It was observed. We got 18 minutes on that one. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see these counties up here to the north. Uh, get this. We'll probably see probably another warning going up up in here uh, very shortly as these other two drop off. We'll see probably another warning come out here shortly. Hopefully it stays away from Sioux Falls and doesn't get into that area. Let me go back over to reflectivity mode here again. Kind of continue to watch those three tornado warnings there. Four. They, these two are going to drop here in about two minutes. They're going to drop and then we got these other two here. This one's got uh, another 32 minutes on this one. This one was also observed over here along with this one. So we've had some uh, observed tornadoes so, so far. Uh, what's the report number? See if the report number has been updated yet. Ah, there's the up. Oh, just got just popped in there. Look at that. So I was waiting to see if it had popped in there. So you see, here's the report. Uh, train spotter spotted this one. So five miles west southwest. Of, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Iowa town, Calhoun County. Leave it that. I'm not even going to butcher that one. So that was confirmed as that cell's moving up toward the north. Let me go back over to the Des Moines radar. It's a little bit closer to see this one. Yeah, Manson. Yeah, I can see, and even on the reflectivity, I can see a little bit of spin on the back part of that. Just a little. Uh, looks like it may pass between uh, Pomeroy and Manson. Looks like it may pass right between there. There's the new severe thunderstorm warning for the upper part of that cell. Not that, not that surprising. You got a little core on that one right there. Boy, that is the most triangular warning I think I've ever seen. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Look at that. But this one, I mean, you could see the rotation with this. This this thing's spinning. It's spinning as it goes north. So, uh, yeah, Pocahontas here. A po Pocahontas needs to be very careful. They're, they're probably going to be looking at uh, any minute getting up in there. I don't. No spotters in there. This, there's one spotter to the south, but he's not chasing up that way. So I'll second to see if there's any cameras I can go to, but I didn't see any. That's a nasty looking cell. So if you're coming on, if you got any questions, by the way, I, I see you got a couple of folks out there watching uh, on my little uh, severe weather coverage here. If you got any questions, please don't hesitate to, to post something if you had something you want to talk about. Uh, again, look, look at, I mean, just a swath. This is getting some very heavy rains here uh, on the back part of this going up here. Go up to Cedar Rapids up here toward the north um, quite a bit. But uh, the, those two warnings just dropped off, so we're down to just these two now. Oh, no warning just came out. And this is down here in St. Louis area. Let me highlight this one. I'll switch over to St. Louis. This is a little, little squall line here. So we got a new uh, warning here. For this cell near Warrington and Wright City, uh, 60 mile per hour winds. We're looking at St. Charles, South Central Lincoln, and Northeastern Warren counties in East Central Missouri till 3:15 uh, with that particular warning right now. And I gotta let my dogs out. I hear you. I'm coming. He wants to go outside and do his business since he just ate. I hear you. Oh, that's an impressive line. Hold on one second. Let me go. Why oh, is that line going through Cooksville right now? Yes, I'm coming. Come on. Oh, my apologies. I had to let the dogs out. They were saying that you just fed us. Now I'm ready to go do my business. I don't want to do it on my floor. All right, let's go look at this guy up here. Uh, he's got to have some very good video here, Brad, if his camera's up. Oh, he's not. Oh, come on, Brad. Come on. Come on, Brad. Let's see your camera. I got to get better lights in here, I tell you. I got to get a new light kit. Oh. Oh, Brad, let's try this. He's a little bit further west. Let's see what he, Vince is seeing. There, Vince. All right. Yeah, so very... Uh, hmm, that's got a little rotation in there on the wall cloud to the left, just a little. That's interesting. Got a couple of rotations going on in there. That's a 
pretty intense line it's going to He's going to get hammered pretty good. I was wanting to get Brad's camera to come up, but it's not coming up. I'm trying to get his camera to pop up. He's got 75 people watching him, but his camera will not load. He's getting a spinning. Let's see. 4, 3, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No, 1. Come on. Come on. Nope. Gave it, gave it a shot. But that's a very impressive squall line there. As you see there, kind of moving uh, kind of moving off toward the east. We're going to see probably some new warnings here coming up right up in here. Uh, is that That's a pretty impressive squall line. Probably some very, very strong winds uh, come along with that squall line. So we'll get some new warnings here. It'll be issued here very, very shortly. Uh, the two tornado warnings that we currently have have had observed ones on the ground. I'm kind of switching back between the Sioux City radar and the Des Moines radar to kind of watch these. Oh, new tornado warning. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting into the area I was thinking we were, we were going to see. Cedar Rapids. A new tornado warning just came out just as we spoke here. This is radar indicated. Uh, this is for central Buckingham County, northeastern Benton, and northwestern Lynn till 315. Storm producing, uh, capable producing storm like it was located near Cheney, near Vinton. So we got our warning there. Uh, finally over to where the, the central area of the prime look was for today. Uh, let's take a look at the velocity on this. Let's see what we're seeing here as far as rotation. Uh, it's got, it's right in between the radar beams. I hate that, but I, I could get a little bit of C in there. Looks like just to the east of Cedar Point. So we're looking right about in here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Looks like something maybe right. It's spinning up right in there on that. Let me switch radars. Let me go to high resolution here, back off here. Let's try for another radar seat. Let's try the Davenport radar, see if we can see a little bit better. Let's try the Davenport radar, see if it's a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, there we go. Yep. So we're looking right in here. Get ready to cross the interstate. 3, 380. Uh, that's a very impressive cell there. Moving, uh, should say, just to the east, or sorry, to west of center point as that moves through there. So that's a very impressive looking cell uh, on there. Go back to my... Uh, that's along that, along that boundary. And I'll be watching this other line down here to the south as it rotates up as well to see if we get any more storm, uh, more tornado warnings along those boundaries. Little eddies that kind of spit up along that uh, those, those boundaries of cells. Because we're kind of getting into the time period where I thought we would see a little more activity, especially across the, the eastern portions of Iowa. That's where I really th thought we'd start seeing some stuff start to pop. But everything's been out toward the west. So that's, that's that cell there. That's getting up toward uh, Independence, Winth Winthrop. Uh, but that cell there. Oh, I got a little text message here. I want to see here. All right, let's see here. Oh, very active afternoon, to say the least. Been a, just countless number of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, and turned out definitely more than we had what I saw yesterday, that's for sure. I just wish I was feeling better yesterday. All right, I'm trying to see this. Other, see if these other tornado warnings are looking. Uh, that's still got rotation on that one. Moving almost due north. That's this cell here. There's something, something spinning along up, all up in there. So that's just, it looks like it should say just to the west of Manson with that. And then the other storm I'm watching over here near Sioux Falls, go this one right here. Uh, God, running around those. This radar indicated got nine minutes left on that one. I miss on that one. So let me look at the velocity on this one. See if it's showing anything in there. Yeah. Well, well, that's interesting. That's <laughs> that is not your classic setup right through there. I mean, you see the reds and the greens up along that boundary right there. You don't have a tornado that's that long. But what you can get is you can get these small little drop offs where you might get multiple little funnel weaker ones at that. But that is not your quote unquote textbook. Uh, tornado signature, but you've got winds blowing away and toward the radar there, kind of coupling through there. So, um, 
Yeah, that's that's but that's got nine more minutes. I would but I would looking at that kind of spreading out right through there. I would expect some very strong downdraft winds right th through there. Um, but there could be some smaller tornadoes kind of spread along that boundary. And even the even the stuff back behind it needs to be watched a little bit. I mean, uh, not just not just up in here, but also back down in here as well, just to the south. So this is not in the warning area, but uh, just just something to watch with that warning right through there. I'm going back over to reflectivity again. Let's go. Yeah, I went, uh, that one. Would not shock me to see another warning issued for that. That one's going to expire about seven more minutes. Would not shock me to see another warning with that one, just because there's been a history with that particular cell. And then going back over the Des Moines radar again for this one. Not looking as impressive as it did before, but I still think there might be something on the tail end of this thing right through in here, potentially. This There was a tornado report here south of there from the trade spotter, so just doing the math, you see it kind of going to the north there. And then we got our other tornado warning, which is over here. And there's some good hail in that one. You can see the hail in this one. See the purple right up here, 380. Clearly getting some uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good hailers in that one. Right, we're gonna get some more warnings here real soon. Let me see, check on these spotters that were real close to this line. Look, it's like four of them. <laughs> you got four of these spotters sitting in here right there. There's one, two, three, four, all of them right up in the same area as the storm is coming up in their direction. Let's well, check out their cameras. Let's see what they're showing. Brad's couldn't get his to come up. I don't know what's wrong with his stuff. But these other guy's stuff's coming up. This Vance. Oh, nice wall cloud. Look at that one. Nice wall cloud there. Yep. And broad rotational loft. See that you can see that. So this is a good area. This is a good place to look for a spotter to see if anything's gonna drop. There's clear rotation in the wall cloud. But it's very broad looking. I could I could tell that by looking. Just kind of eyeballing it. A little lightning in there. This is a severe thruster one, but it's a very heavy rains along that boundary. Let's see what let's see what Corey's driving into it. Ah, yours, yours don't look as good. Yeah, Vince's got the best look though. Clearly the best look. Don't see anything lowering. Yeah, that's it. They're gonna get some good, good heavy rains there on top of them here very shortly. Right now, this is where the warnings are. So you got three different warnings out here. This one, this one here, just uh, to the east of Dodge City, and then this one north of Sioux City. Uh, these other ones here are gonna expire in about five minutes, uh, assuming we don't get any new ones that, to be issued here shortly. Which I think it's possible. I think I think this I think this one will probably get an additional warning that's going to issue here shortly for this one, right through there. Nope, new warning just got issued. Where's that one at? Where's that? In my, is that in the media area? Eee, don't see it. Don't see it unless it's out west. Yeah, that's out in West Virginia. Don't care. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not com covering the, the the those severe thunderstorms that are over in West Virginia today. That's not where I was planning to do my focus today. Let's see the category. Let's see the track report so far. Oh yeah, it's gone up. Our our tornado report chart has gone up. We're up to ten now. Forty-seven wind and eighteen uh, sixteen on hail. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen more hail reports than what we've seen so far. But uh, tornado report up to up to ten now. Go back over here. One, two, three, four, four warnings. Uh, got four minutes on these other two. We'll see. We'll see if they were. I think if they were going to issue a new one, they would have done it by now. On these two cells here. So look at their. Yeah, no. I don't know. That's still. That's still this. This here in the middle of the warning box. This here still looks suspect to me. I don't think I don't know if I call that just yet. 
and the, the other one too. Got three minutes on these two warnings. See if they continue to keep that going or not. Another warning just came out. Look and see. Yep, down here to the south, down here. St. Louis, new warning just came out. Let's go ahead and highlight this one. So, uh, that's for this stuff that's coming along here. Just going to come into that area. So, this warning uh, is for Greene County, Northwestern, Maricopa County, and West Central Jersey County till 345. 345 on that. It's very active weather here covering, uh, getting near the outer suburbs of St. Louis now with some of this activity. I really want to see if they're going to issue another warning up here. Mm. Got two minutes left on this one. There's still some pretty good hail in there. I mean, and it just updated. It's got some hail in here. Now we got a new warning just came out. Where did that one come from? Oh, new sort of warning over here. All right, look over to Des Moines. This is the new warning that just came out. This one is for Northwestern Cedar, Northeastern Johnson City, Johnson County, Jones County, and Lynn County, 345. Moving northeast at 50 miles per hour on that particular so. So let's get all along that boundary. Moving through the moving around that periphery of that of that low pressure system. I bet these guys gotta be in the soup now. Oh yeah, they're in it, they're in it now. Oh, they got a hail to the south. Wow. A little more modest on that one. It's kind of getting into the, uh, might get onto some rain fade there. Oh, another warning. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the Mamatis. That's nice. That's not. That's a good looking shot. Bro, that's the best shot I've seen of the day. That's nice. It's, the sky looks angry. All right. We got a new warning. Where did that new warning came out? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, they did. Yep, I knew they were going to do it. I was waiting on it. I was waiting on it. Uh, yeah, this is an, the new warning up, and I knew the kind of figure they were going to do that. Eastern Lyon County, Western Osceola County, and Northeastern Sioux County until 3.30. Uh, Those are producing tornado was located near George or 11 miles southeast of Rock Rapids, moving north at 30. That was that area I was watching closely. I was kept waiting for them to, to see if they were going to do uh, under the warning. And again, this is getting ready to move out of the watch box. So if this storm goes continues to go to the north, we may get a warning going out of the watch box, which has happened a couple of times today uh, with this stuff. Uh, it's been really, really crazy up here uh, watching this uh, today, especially since the, the warnings have been kind of falling outside of the target zone. So we got uh, those two, got three active warnings right now. Let me go back to the Des Moines radar because it kind of shows all of them. So there's the three warnings. You can see that the three near the Waterloo area. This one's near the east of Dodge City. And then this new one that just got issued here. I want to focus back in on this one over here near Independence. That is a pretty good hail core there. Let's look at the... Ah, oh, man, that's terrible. I can't see very well in there. Clear hailer. Hmm. Just try to different radar. Just trying to see if I get a different view from a different radar source here. I mean, you got a little spin there for sure. See it rotating right through there. Just south of Independence. We're going a little bit closer. Yeah, it looks like something coming into, potentially coming in into Independence here very shortly. 
This, this warning goes for another 13 minutes. Probably going to get extended in some form. Go back over to my velocity mode here. And switch back to the morning radar. Oh, new warning. Oh, out of the south. All right, new warning. Hell, storms haven't even reached there yet. <laughs> there ain't nothing in there just yet. Uh, this one is for northern Knox County till 3.30. Hasn't really gotten in there yet. And they issued one to the north. Oh, the big one to the north. Yeah, that's a big one. That was just a tail end, Charlie. This is Van Buren, Jefferson, and Scotland. Scotland, you say? Till 3.45. That, that test part of the storm is where these guys are sitting at. Let's see what these... Oh, wow, that's nice. Look at that. Look what Corey's got. A very nice shot there of this severe thunderstorm that's moving through there. Very, very impressive indeed. Look at the Momatis. That's that low wind clouds it's usually caused by the up and down drafts of the thunderstorm. Very, very impressive. He's getting some good video there. Oops. Get a little... Ah! Lost him there for a second. But uh, clear hail in there as well. Let me look at the Ville here again. I'm going to look at the now, that, now this is up to the north, but uh, yeah, the pretty good hail core moving in there. Always lags a little bit when you flip between the reflectivity and you look at the different modes. They, they tend to lag because the priority is on the reflectivity and the velocity. The other stuff kind of lags a little bit when it's updating. Let's see where Brandon. Oh, Brandon's in the soup. <laughs> he's in the heavy rains. Can't see squat with that. Now, he's not in a good position right there. In the area, though, that's the line that was coming from the south. That's the one I was kind of watching to see if we were going to get anything tornadic out of it or not. You know, three tornado warnings and 15 severe thunderstorm warnings. Mm. Busy afternoon. Still, still looks re still looks interesting to me. Yeah, something still looks like you're on the north of Manson, but something's still rotating in there. Coming to the just to the east of Palmer, looks like. Something right in here. Still in that tornado warning box, or the polygon right there, I should say. Not box, tornado uh, poly box, polygon. That may constitute, that still looks pretty healthy to me. Uh, that probably means we're gonna get another warning here uh, just to the east of Pocahontas here very shortly. That still looks pretty impressive. The Sioux City one here, God, that looks so broad. Ugh. I, I understand where they got the warning on it, I do. Because you got a couple like smaller eddies in here. You look at kind of sitting in here and then this one looks more impressive up here to the north. So I can understand why they got it, but uh, fairly weak. I wouldn't call. It, I mean, we're, it's proximity to the radar. I don't. I wouldn't think it's that that bad. <laughs> ah, anyway, oh, got some more reports here. Just noticed we got some additional reports uh, for that. We got a new report just came in here. Uh, that's the second one. So we got two. We had this one to the south, and then we got this other one here in the warning box area. Uh, that storm uh, of a tornado report. So that's the second one there. So that should update the total here very shortly. Uh, with that cell, I still think they're gonna they're gonna change that. They're gonna go ahead and put another one there. It looks like a new warning. Just well, it went away for it was there for a second. It went away. I swear I saw 
Looks like they were gonna come up with a warning box and then it just went away. That's weird. So I still think we're gonna get another warning on this cell here in the middle, just to the south of Pocahontas. Uh, it even shows, it looks like it's got a little hook on it. See it on the back side of this? Right in here on the reflectivity? Yeah, I, I, I think this warning might get extended. We got, uh, how many more? We got eight more minutes on this warning, and that's an observed tornado. So I suspect we'll get a new warning on this here any second, uh, very shortly. This other one is kind of broad. I don't, I'm really not, not concerned about this one. Let's go take a look at this other one over here too. This is one south of Independence. Look at all the purple in there, wow. That's impressive. You got a, that's uh, probably a lot of hail in that. You notice it's got the lightning, got the high reflectivity. Definitely some pretty good hailers uh, moving through there between Independence and Winthrop. And what's that? Quascuton, I guess that's the name of that town. I know I probably butchered it. That's that's a very impressive air. See all that purple in there. Whoops, got a little wacker here. Hello, come on, hey, turn on. Thank you. Here's my hailer right through here. Yeah, let's look at the let's look at the velocity again on this. Yeah, looks like something that was just past Independence right through here. Let me let me loop this. Yeah, I can't see very much in that very moment. Let me back off. You get a, get a lot of clutter in that from that particular radar site. Let's switch radar. See if I can get another. See if I can try. For, well, lacrosse might be too far away. There's a lot of lightning in there. That was, that was, yeah, it moved north of Independence. It's sitting around the western side of this, of this polygon. Hazelton's probably needs to be watchful on this next thing. It's coming up that way. Yeah, very impressive on that one. So anyway, we got, uh, we got three tornado warnings out there. Um, oh, let me go back to the Des Moines. We'll do the Des Moines radar so we kind of see all three. So we got the three there. One there to the west of Fort Dodge, one to the southeast of Sioux Falls, and one to the east of Waterloo. So those are the three main tornado warnings right now. I don't think we're done, folks. I really think we're going to get some more here uh, as this activity here to the south. This stuff here comes up in this direction. I really believe uh, this, this zone in here needs to be watched closely over the next couple hours because the the high res model that's where it was kind of showing the highest stuff i let me go see if the new one's in now i've not looked at that in just a hot minute so let me take a look let's take a look at the simulated radar here i want to check and see i'm sure it's updated so let me take a look and Yeah, that's, that's the last one. That's updated, I think. I'm sorry, going the wrong way. That's it. Oh, nope, one too many. Ah, go back, go back one more. All right. So this is the uh, this is the future radar here. I want to show you this, uh, kind of showing how this thing evolves here. Lining up pretty good from what we're currently seeing out there right now. And... Oh, they issued a no severe thunderstorm warning on that other cell. We'll come back to that. But notice here as we go for the next couple hours there across the western portions of Iowa, uh, going into Illinois, that's where things get kind of get really hectic. And then some very heavy storms will be moving through Wisconsin here through the evening hours with a squall line uh, trailing behind that front. But the next couple hours are going to be the real, real kick of this. As you kind of see this moving on through, and then some stormy night here for tonight across Illinois and Indiana. Uh, let me go to that new warning. Oh, they did issue a new tornado warning. I knew I was wait, waiting on that. I was waiting on that one. I knew they were going to do it. It just it just looked like that were go that was what was going to happen. So this is for this. Uh, this is a new tornado warning. This is the observed one. This is for eastern Pocahontas, southwestern Kusuth, northwestern uh, Humboldt, and southeastern Palo Alto. Uh, those are all the different ones. Oh, with that right now. So that is that. That's that's not that's not unexpected. That's where I, I suspect. Plus, here's the other one that came up for the severe thunderstorm warning right there. So this one, let me switch back to the Des Moines radar here. Get a better look on this one. All right, let me go high res velocity here. 
So yeah, there's still something on the tail end of this. This looks like a looks like the little ball here on the on the bottom end of this storm. And oh yeah, nice little ball there on the bottom of that. It's kind of catching up, but right up in here. So it looks like it should say the east of Pocahontas as this continues to move kind of up in this general direction, kind of right up in this neck of the woods. Now that's that cell. Uh, looks like they're going to let this one, this one expires in 18 minutes. This one goes, again, it's a very thinnest warning. It's going across the tornado watch box in an area that doesn't have a watch box. That's happened enough times today, to say the least. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's watch this cell. This one's got two minutes left on it. I think they extend that. You know, it's hard to see from that radar. A lot of junk from that one. Still some spin there. May see another warning on this one. That's for this one right here, going up toward the Hazel, Hazelton area. Might see, might see a warning go issued on that one. We'll see. See if that one gets continued here shortly. And they didn't issue it. Oh, I just saw it. Come on. You just popped. I saw it. Oh, come on. I just saw it pop there. I guess was that, was that a precursor of what was coming? <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> I was looking right at it. Northeastern Buckham in northwestern Delaware. Uh, till 345. It was located over Winthrop moving, uh, moving northeast at 50. These things have all been moving really, really fast. A uh, new one just came out. Oh, that's down to South St. Louis. It's got a new warning here. That's at the tail of that line. A little sped up. Well, they all look like they got some rotation on there, don't all along that line. That's kind of interesting. I see little, little spin ups in here. Not, nothing the tornadic, but they, they, look, they look like they got rotation in there. Uh, this one goes for southeast of Calhoun County, Central Green, Jersey County. North Central St. Charles County and Southeastern Lincoln until 4 Central Daylight Time. So now the, the northern suburbs outside of St. Louis get nailed a little bit. Uh, I heard the alert. Where's that going for? Oh, they want to go to the north. Go back to the Des Moines radar. That's a new, new big watch just came out here. Our Sierra Thurston warning just came out. 70 mile per hour winds. Woo! It's Buckham County, Western Dubuque, Northern Johnson, Northwestern Jones County, and Delaware County, and Lynn County till four on that one. Uh, with this, that, that's a big, that's a big watcher. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty healthy one. And you can see the size of that sucker. I mean, that's up along this line right through here. See here. I got a text message again on the other phone. <laughs> oh, I love people that send me crap. All right. Kind of look at the regional update. Oh, they just updated this. This is the this is the storm system that's giving us all the stuff. But look at the spin back across Nebraska, and and just to the right front of that low pressure. That's where the tornadoes have been popping the most. As that warm front boundary rides northward. Uh, those storms out ahead, that's that set area between Iowa's northern Missouri and kind of going into western, uh, the western ports of Illinois. That's going to be uh, problematic here, I think, over the next few couple hours. Let's see if we get any tornadoes there. Um, let's go back to Radar Omega here. 
These guys have been in the suit now. They've been, yeah, they're getting out of it now. Man, Corey's in the heavy sip. Oof. Heavy, heavy rain, brother. Oh, there's the one that just came out for this counter right when I was on it. Lovely. Uh, Cook County and Washington County until 4 p.m. on that particular morning there. Uh, look at all the cities in there. Wellman, Cato, Sigourney, Britain, Washington, all kind of getting in on that. Kind of see the broader perspective. I'm going to put this in motion here for you. See, kind of rotating there through the middle of the country there. Kirk County, Iowa. Let's see here. So we go back up here to the north here. Wintrop. Kind of, I'm scanning up and down the line here. See anything that kind of stand, catches my eye. I always like to try to call the warning out ahead of the weather service as best I can, when I can. Pocahontas again, Ralph. Hey, that don't look nearly as impressive as it did earlier. This line down the south looks, by that big old line, that looks very impressive though. This looks very healthy. New warning came out as we go over to 13 severe thunderstorm warnings and three tornado warnings. Uh, where did that one get issued from? Let me take a look at my cross section here. That's up near Kosoth. So this is the cross section here. I'm looking at on this one. See, so that's definitely got some rotation in there, but it's pretty broad all up along this boundary. 58 knot winds, that's not too bad. All, all these storms as they're rotating around that air low pressure, they got Little eddies that kind of spin up along the boundary. That's what I'm kind of looking at. All right, so let's look at this one here. So I'll go back over to Radar Mega here. We'll take a, we'll take a look over here. As we continue to see this stuff, uh, that, let's new warning just came out here. This is to the north. So this one just came out. Radar indicated again on this one. That's that cell to the south. Uh, this is for southwestern Clayton and southern Fayette County until 345. Okay, that's radar indicated on that. That's that cell coming up to the north. So uh, again, you can kind of see as the storms are, the, the most intense part of the storm is just the south. So it's just coming, coming into the county here as this is moving up in this direction. Uh, moving into the, the that county there. Let me take that off real quick. So again, that is for southwestern Clayton and southern Fayette County. All right. Hey, there's a Denver in Iowa. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, new, new tornado warning just came out. Another tornado warning just came out. All right. Got this one. Just, just came out. Also radar indicated here as well. Northwestern Cedar, southwestern Dubuque, western Jones, southeastern Delaware County and eastern Lynn County. Another tornado warning. So we got three tornado warnings right along that boundary, along that line. And uh, all up and down there. So this is going to be my kind of my target zone watch here. This is get this is into the west. This is in the bullseye zone finally. It was a little slow to cap but it finally figured off. It, it it's actually pretty close. That's about right actually. I take that back. That was that was the time frame. Uh, let me see if I can switch radars here. Hold on a second. Where did my was? 
Oh, it did it to me again, did it? Oh, you booger. God, I hate when it does that. Uh, excuse me, let me switch this up again. I'm sorry. Sometimes the, 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 the thing gets a little bit of a bug in it. I'm sorry, let me pick that back up for you. And sometimes... Actually, I got to do it this way. My bad. Oops. There we go. Let's dress this back up. There we go. All right. Sometimes it, it, it the, the for some reason it does not want to show me my radar sight, so I have to reset it sometimes. But you got three in there right now. Let's look at the velocity. Let's see what the and that's radar is just crap. All right. Let's go to lacrosse radar and do a little loop through here. I can see the one going up to the north. I see this one. And then this 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 one here, which is dead. Yeah, it's right 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 up through here. That's 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 see that little cluster right through there. It's that's, they're trimming that box back. They just trimmed it. So we're we're looking here. This is continuing to move up in this direction into the new warning area. And then you got this other one down here, which does not look good from that angle. This might be too far away, and it is. And Des Moines radar is it's it's in that clutter zone, so I can't see it very well. We'll stay on we'll stay on the we'll stay on reflectivity here. All that, and this is not the only line, folks. This line is producing stuff right now. This stuff here, as this moves up, I think can also produce some stuff here a little bit later, uh, shortly. I'm going to loop here again. You notice that that, that line's making it's making the turn as it does so. We're getting the spin-ups along the boundary. Not your classic supercell setup per se, but you are getting those ones in there. I see we got another uh, tornado report. It just came in from the storm that was off to the west. Uh, that's this one here, or this one here near Dodge. I see another. So you got these three tornado reports uh, with that one. Let's see what that. Let's see what that was. Uh, uh, spotter as well as law enforcement confirm a small rope tornado in East Palmer. So that was a fairly weak one, which is good. I don't like to see any big ones. Well, let's just see if any of these ones will actually produce any tornado activity or not. Let me go back to my other one here. I want to look at the. I'm scanning through these to kind of see where um, somebody's hitting. That one doesn't look that bad. That one, no, that one doesn't. That's the one that was, that's the one over there, Sioux City. But the warning is pulled out of that. This is the other one on the warning side here. You I kind of see some broad, I do mean broad rotation in that right, right in here. And then there was this, that back here to the west. So these little, you've seen there's some rope tornadoes that have been out there, been reported already. So here's the, here's the big picture here, back off toward the east. With the three tornado warnings. This one here, it's got 20 minutes left on that one. This one's got 19, this one's got 19. So they're both fairly short-lived tornado warnings. The other one to the west, that one's getting ready to expire. I'm not worried about that one right now. Alrighty. I think the spotters are trying to get out of this storm. The three spotters, they're probably out in the still stuck in the heavy rain. Yeah, they're they're trying to get out ahead of that, that storm squall. They're not in a good position to kind of capture anything at this point. And I don't see any storm spotters with any cameras up this way, at least not on the Radar Mega side. Not up that way, at least. And if you got anybody got any questions, you can always put something there in the chat box. I can, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions if you have anything. Uh, kind of looking at my storm chasers out there, Brandon, Jake, in Whitewater, white weather. Kind of a weird name for a storm chaser. That's what he's got on his website, so you put that down. 
Chicago's going to get some storms later tonight, folks. I think some sort of squall on to move through there later tonight. That's why I put Chicago in there. Uh, see numerous. Look at all these sport reports there coming in now. I don't know what the, what the question mark's about. So I can look at the storm reports here. Let's look at let's look at some of these storm reports here. A uh, lot again the hail reports here. Three quarter inch hail, hail. A lot of wind reports. Multiple reports of power outages with these squall lines through it here. And yeah, numerous power outages in here. Down wires and power outages all through Iowa. There could be numerous power outages go through there. You can see where the tornado reports have been. You see all, all the cluster there uh, through Nebraska, getting into northern Iowa, the w extreme western portions of Iowa. Uh, we may get some more. Obviously, we got all these, these, these tornado warnings in here. We may get some warnings here, but these were all radar indicated through here. Nothing confirmed on the ground. This activity here has, this one and the one over here has, no other warning has expired, uh, but no official reports yet being called on that just yet. So this is where the bulk of the action currently is sitting with those warnings along with that squall line. I'm watching this line right here and the one down toward the south as it continues to move up toward the north. Uh, I think what was, the, what was our last count up to now? Let me see here. Our last report count. Now up to 12. Now there's the new count. Or up to 12 tornado reports, confirmed reports so far. Wind 51, hail 18. So uh, pretty decent, decent outbreak so far here for today. Uh, we're not done yet. We got, uh, we really got the prime more. I'd say about three more hours on this as we watch, as we watch this activity kind of move up toward the north here. Because we got the one line here, and then this other line, uh, which the spotters have been kind of, the, the chasers have been kind of forward on this line here. Uh, but as this kind of slides up this way. Uh, Davenport, Iowa City, all that area needs to be very careful as we could get some more warnings. It, again, makes that rotation around that big area of low pressure uh, that continues to spin. And you see it so well um, on the satellite imagery. It looks like a, you know one big giant pinwheel. You see it right there through Nebraska and Iowa. You see the big spin there, and that's what's giving us our tornadoes. We got the dry punch from the west. You're getting the, the spin in the atmosphere, the, the, the helicity there. Uh, and that's why we're continuing to watch this right now uh, for continued uh, activity. I, I'm probably going to get some new severe thunderstorm warning here coming up here pretty shortly, as this is almost halfway through the line. This county's here shortly. And we got a new warning just came out. Where did that one come Up down south. This is down toward uh, St. Louis. Again, another warning outside the watch box. That's happened a, quite a bit today. So here's the new warning that just came out. This is down south of St. Uh, south of St. Louis. Uh, it goes for 45 minutes, and look at the speed. Northeast at 75. That's interstate speed, folks. That's hauling butt. Uh, Northwestern Monroe County, Central Jefferson, Northeastern Washington, South Central St. Louis County. So again, again in the burbs of St. Louis, there uh, goes till 4:15 Central Daylight Time uh, with that particular cell. Uh, kind of just kind of getting into the southern suburbs there of St. Louis. But again, officially, outside the, where the trail watch boxes occur on, this warning here is also south of the watch boxes. That's happened a, a lot today. So, oh, they did, well, you know what, they just actually, oh, they did put that up. I just noticed it. <laughs> they just put it up. Uh, the severe thunders, they, they, told, they put a severe thunders from watch down to the south there. I was getting ready to bust their chops and there they go. All right. Anyway, I wasn't looking at the SBC site to see if they were going to put up something. I kind of figured they were going to have to. You can't put, you got a squall line moving through there. You got to put some sort of watch box up, and they did. So I stand corrected. That watch goes uh, until 9 p.m. tonight for Southern Illinois and Southeastern Missouri. I was wondering when they were going to do something on that. They finally did. All right. Good for the, good for the Storms Prediction Center. All right. Let's go back here. I want to get back to the Des Moines radar. And watching these uh, warnings up here toward the north. We got uh, 14 more minutes on that one. That one's 14. They're all about, about 14 minutes, all, th all three of them. Um, look at the lacrosse radar here. See what they. Oh, am I on the lacrosse radar? No, oh, there's that's the lacrosse radar. There we go. Let's take a look at the velocity again. I want to take them, inspect some of these. I can't see squat in there. That's crap. I can see the northern one, though. Oh yeah, it's got a nice spin on that one. 
See a little spin rotating through there. See a little spin on that one right there. I'm going through the southern portion of the line there. Whoops. Oop. Go back to the reflectivity mode here. But that's those lines all up and down there. Uh, I'll go back to the Des Moines radar. I'll try to watch all of them at the, as best I can. These guys look like they're getting out ahead of the line now. See what Corey's showing. Oh, look at the Momotus. Woo, look at that. Yeah, that's a nice view. There you go. We got ahead of that squall line. He got caught up in it now. He's actually out ahead of it. So you got some pretty good heavy rains. You see in the Momotus clouds there. A little bit there on the north, uh, kind of the, the left portion of your screen there. That is a hefty storm behind him. Uh, the storm spotters will get into a storm. They'll try to get out ahead of it. Look at, oh, wow, that's nice. Very nice. Good job, Corey. Nice. Of course, then he gets a little something on his lens. <laughs> that is a very impressive storm cell there. Very nice. So let's see what the uh, he, let's see if he's still in the suit. Fair uh, Vince, uh, Vince is they're trying to get out ahead of that cell. So he's got that's actually in front of him, behind him to see what you saw before. So he's trying to get ahead of that ahead of that squall line in a better position to kind of uh, follow. They got some several hours of sunlight left, so they got some time. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess they're gonna go to the to Mount Pleasant and try to cut cut to the north, try to stay ahead of that line. Well, let's see, I've got 26 more minutes on that one. Boy. Let's go take a look at this other one here. We haven't looked at this one a little bit. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it's still showing a little bit of rotation on that sucker. Yep, tail end of it. Right, heading up toward Rolf right now. This is just a little bit right up in there. So this thing's kind of moving up toward this way. Hopefully... Not a big deal. Hopefully a weak, weak one at that. Not a, uh, not going to cause any problems, hopefully. See how that works out. Oh, it's like someone's into their stream. It's like someone just shut down their stream here. I need to find me another one to put in there. <laughs> That's not live, folks. That's somebody just ended their stream, so I need to update the update a chaser in there. Probably need to make multiple versions of that going going future going forward. Well, this is Br Brandon's got out ahead of his stuff. Uh, he was got some good Mamatis earlier. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he, uh, Whitewater's in some good 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 view there. He's in Iowa, so I've seen some pretty pretty good activity there. So there's the there's that big there's the big spin. Look at all the storms, the warnings out there, out, out ahead, well ahead of the of the center of circulation. So we'll go back over to Radar Omega here. Omega. And Eleven severe thunderstorm warnings and four tornado warnings. I didn't get as nearly a good exposure on this particular one. Then again, I was. Kind of, I kind of, kind of came in a little late on this one uh, when I started my coverage, so I was a little slow getting on the getting on the mark today. Ooh, boy, well, he's got a heavy looking cell. So I don't know what he's showing. Let's see. That was Brad's. He's showing some rain. That's a pretty good hail. Good hail. That is a good hailer to his south. I was looking at this cell here. Look at that purple in there. That is a hailer. Yep, see there to the south. Pretty good, pretty good hailstorm there. Yeah, we're kind of cut, kind of stuck where you get, these storms are kind of in the middle of their the cycles. We're gonna get a whole bunch of war new warnings coming out here any minute. Oh, with this stuff.
on the Davenport radar. Oh, that one just dropped. So that one tornado warning dropped off there. I canceled that one. Oh wow. I mean, very but you clearly see where the where they test uh, that very heavy winds blowing right through here. But when you see these little inlets in here, and this is this is this this is this storm here. And the other one is right down here. So there's this one, and then there's this one. So we've got a couple areas to watch. Let's go back to reflectivity mode on this one. So it looks like, uh, going a little closer here, let me take a look at this one a little closer. Yeah, you see kind of a little bit of a right through here it's moving just to the north like so hopefully it stays away from stays away from monticello we don't want nothing in there yep right dead center of that box pretty good 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 job on the polygon on that one and then this one up here Ooh, wow this that one is beautiful yeah this this one looks a little more significant see right through there that one looks that one is definitely may have some problems on that one but no spotters in the area. That's kind of, there's no, uh, I'm not seeing any uh, spotters in there to, to be able to confirm if there's anything in there. If something comes into emergency managers. Well, there's, there's one spotter here. Dave Kepler. Then we got this other storm over here. Let's go back over to the Dodge. This one's had a history of producing some tornadoes. Willard's been bought in this one. This, this one's the one that's been had a history of uh, dropping some stuff. He looks like he may have air funnel there a little bit. I'm not seeing that right now. It's like just going over Ralph right uh he's a little bit he's shooting to the north, so Yeah, I clearly see some spin in there. Could be elevated. And this this was the one I had reported the of the um, rope tornado earlier. So just saw some new warnings come out. Let me see where that okay. Oh, new tornado warning just came out. And it's down where those where the, the chasers are. Oh, that's good. Uh, radar indicated on this one. Uh, southeastern Van Buren, Scotland County, and northern uh, western Clark County till 430. And that is got a spotter in that area. I'm saying he's trying to get it get into position. Oh, that's that cell. Well, that's a nasty looking cell. That's Brad. Let's take, let's look, watch his camera for a little bit. Look how dark those clouds are. And hopefully he'll get in a position and maybe you can uh, show some. He's in a tornado warning right now. Um, Dobbler indicated on, on this one. Just north of the warm front boundary. I think he's trying to get himself in a position. Let's see if he can shoot back to that storm. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not really seeing much. He's got a little rotation in there. I'm going to stay on this for a minute. Yeah, it's, there's some spin there. There's definitely some spin, but nothing that's strong. He's going to be wrapped in the rain here in a second. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he needs to get a little further out ahead of it. There's a little bit of spin in there. He's not in a good position. He needs to move a little bit further to the east. But there's a hail core down to his south. Very significant storm right there. He's watching that. He's moving, moving a little bit further north. Get, get in a little bit better position so he can kind of take a look back and see uh, what that cell is showing. So that's for that cell right there. And he's the only one down. Where's the other? Where the other guys go? They went further north. Oh, they're way far to the north. Okay, they're way up to the north. 
But you notice along these boundaries, see how it kind of quavers, goes in and comes in and kind of wavers. Anytime you get that kind of that kind of setup in there, uh, that's where you can get these these spit ups to, to kind of happen along the ed along the boundary edges. Looks like he's moving out. He's moving out of position. Let's see if he can get a little better position to see uh, if we can see some lowering of the wall cloud to kind of form that funnel cloud and bring it further down. We'll see. What, see what he's showing there. I'm not sure how far ahead he wants to go before he, he drops down. Come back to him in a minute. He needs to go down 130. He's 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 going down 136 to kind of see if he can shoot back towards toward it. Yeah, the storm's kind of getting out ahead of him. He needs to, he needs to get out ahead of that storm. So that's that warning right there. That goes uh, radar indicated. Uh, weather spotters reported a funnel cloud. So I'm not sure if that was him or not. Tornado quarter size hail moving northeast at 45. Pushing tornado was located near Memphis. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, just we just passed Memphis. I'm assuming he's the only spotter in the area. It must have been him. He's looking back to the east again. I see rotating wall cloud. I don't see no funnel. I can see that. Okay, that needs to be watched. Let's watch. Let's stay on this for a minute. You see there, right to the right, there. Something may be foreign right there. I'm going to stay on this. I'm going to stay on this. I'm not going to jump off this because too many people. There's already 553 people getting on this. I see a little bit of that rotation right through there. Just to the right where the heavy rains to your right and there to the left. There's some spin right there. Let's see if it's going to, if it's going to produce anything or not. Let's see if we get the lowering wall cloud or not. He's so close to the rain cloud, though, he may get wrapped up into the rain here shortly. But they're clear rotation just to the just to the left of that rain shaft you see there. There's, there's a spinning right there. And you can see it very well. Just watching to see if that's going to produce anything or not. And well, a lot of these storm chasers, they get in this position, they see these, these things all the time. And he's gonna get he's gonna get rain wrapped. He's gotta move. Yeah, I kind of figure he's not far enough out ahead of it. He's gonna he's gonna have to move further down the road. Because the rain, the back part of the rain caught him. Once the rain catches up to me, he'll see squat. So he's got to stay out ahead of it. With that particular cell moving in that way. I love live TV, don't you? It's awesome. I got my one viewer, and whoever you are, I'm here to serve you, brother. I'm here for you. <laughs> I know everybody's watching The uh, the Godfather. Everybody watches Everybody watches him. He's got, he's got the whole damn market quarantined damn near. <laughs> More power to him. He took him years to build that. But anyway, here's my little kingdom. I'll stay with it. Let's see if he gets into position here. I, I think he's, he's trying to get further down the road uh, ahead of that rain shaft so he doesn't get rain, rain wrapped or rain wrapped in it. Um, while he's moving, let's take a look. He's, he's, he's moving. Let's look at the high res velocity in here. Yeah, you can see something just to his south. It's clear rotation. That green and that blue in there. Um, that don't help me. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. That's right on top of him. God bless. Right. He's just ahead of that shaft. Just ahead of it. That one coming out of Missouri. It's right on the Missouri Iowa border too. Trying to get out to the right of that storm. I want to. I want to see if he can turn the camera back around and see if uh, we get that lowering wall cloud or not. It's in a good position. And this is about the time the high resolution model was showing where the best tornadic signature was, right around Missouri and southern Iowa and going into, into Illinois. So I want to see how far down he's planning on going. He's got to find a, a safe spot to turn off. Okay, he's turning off now. Yeah. Turn your camera around, buddy. Let's see what you got. Let's 
take a look. Eh, nothing there. Go for the left. <laughs> like, can you hear me? Go for the left. Nah, I can't see any rotation than that. If he goes, I, I thought it would be further, further to the left. Ew! New, new warning just got issued here. All right, he's moving down the road again. All right, let's get off him. Got a new warning that just got issued up here to the north. Got two severe thunderstorm warnings along that line. The same squall line we've been watching. So this one, possible tornado because it's got rotation in it. We're talking Henry County, northwestern Van Buren, southeastern Washington, eastern Jefferson County till 4:30. And this one up here just, just came out. And they all say possible tornado again because of the fact there's spin in all of it. Northeastern Cook, Johnson County, southeastern Benton, northern Washington, Lynn, and Iowa County, also to 430. So uh, time-wise, this is looking pretty good. Still got that one tornado warning out here, uh, the, the other one out here to the west. This one goes for another 12 minutes, and this one goes for another 42 Okay, it's the Demar. Make sure we're on the right one. Let's see what he. Let's see what he's. he's well, they're in the clear skies there now. Wow. <laughs> How that happen? Everybody got in the sunshine. Ugh. New warning came out for where? Oh, there's. Oh, that's that. That's that same cell. Yeah, they just came up. To, I was wondering if they were. Running. This one's been tracking for a while. Look at look at the, look at the track on this thing. It's moving almost due north. Here you see the the spotter reports almost just swore north. Now they got this new warning that just came out. Uh, radar indicated it looks like it's gone up northeastern Pocahontas, southwestern Kosoth, uh, northwestern Humboldt, and southeastern Palo Alto County till 4:30. That's that same cell we've been watching that a long time, for over an hour now, uh, with that particular cell. And these guys, I don't know, if they're trying to intercept it. Well, the camera was there for a second. Must have gotten a bad, bad spot. And a lot of people just all of a sudden say, "Hey, let's check it." But you're you're way south of that storm. There it is. I'm not seeing. Uh, that can't be the image. I guess it is. It's not moving. I'm not seeing the road moving. He's not. So let's look at the uh, velocity mode on this. Let's see what the. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still got some rotation on the tail end of that thing. Moving north. There's a couple of spotters here out ahead of it. You get to see you got uh, Dean Barron. He's out He's out ahead of that storm. As that new warning goes up to a Whitmore cylinder, kind of all up in that area. This is a long, this one's been tracked for about an hour or so on this one. Uh, confirmed tornadoes uh, were the reports on this. And I can't believe he's not shooting north. What are you, what are you shooting? That can't be his video. That must be some crap. I, don't, I just don't believe it. It's sunny like that right in that area. So anyway, let's go back over to the velocity, but I won't look on this other storm down here. The other warning area, this storm here, uh, there's another storm spotter down here. He's been watching this cell to his west. Brad Arnold, let's see if he's still moving. He's got spinning here. 75 degrees. Look at that dew point, 63. Yeah, he's out ahead of that line now. But we'll see if we can get his image to load. Three, two, one. There it is. All right, he's, oh, he's moving down the street here. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. He's buffering. That's a decent picture. So he's, he's out ahead of this other storm that's got a warning. Hey, uh, thank you to the new subscriber. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And, uh, oh, by the way, i got three people on here. If you've got any questions whatsoever, uh, please don't hesitate to put something in the chat box. I am monitoring and watching that. So, uh, again, this is this particular cell here. This is this warning here. It goes for another 38 minutes on this one. So 4.30 Central Time, uh, he's trying to get out of the cell, but it uh, looks like the worst of it is up towards north. There's a pretty good, you see the purple in there, that's a pretty good hail core, a lot of lightning in there as well uh, with that. And there's just a whole bunch of warnings 
uh, severe thunderstorm warnings all up and down this thing. Uh, you, you see them all kind of running uh, concurrently all up and down the line. So you got all this severe thunderstorm warnings, and then on the tail end, we got that one tornado warning coming right through here. So a very large area. And then we got this lone st storm over here that's produced. Obviously, you can see the, the storm reports, you know, the tornadoes moving northward with that cell. Uh, luckily, it's been out in the open and has not caused much in the way of problems on that one. So let's take a look here. I want to look. I want to dissect this cell a little bit better. Let's go to high res velocity. Yeah, a little bit in there. There's some broad rotation in there. I'll stop that real quick. I'll look at here. So. I'm looking at the winds in here. I don't really see much that really catches my eye. I was just kind of checking it out. Look at a high DBZ though, very high. Turn that back off. And this one over here, let's check this one out. Let's get near West Bend. I want to switch to the Sioux Falls radar right here. We get a little closer. I think it's kind of in between the two. And that one doesn't pick up as well from that right hey, it was worth a shot i wanted to check and see if i can check from that one this one's got the better resolution on it and it's, oh there we go that's nice looking there you there's a shot that's the tornado cell looking to the north finally came up he was in the sunshine out there i didn't know if i wanted to believe it but he was He's in the sun. Not a very good streaming uh, cast there, but you can see very heavy storm that he's trying to chase out ahead of it. That's continuing north right now. This storm has produced tornadoes, that's for sure. So. But I don't like his stream. It's too choppy. It gives me a headache. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's uh, let's go re revise this once again. I do want to show this uh, once again. Let me update this real quick. Oh, it's already updated. I can just transfer it right on over here. So uh, the, we've got the tornado watch boxes that are up for a little while. Oh, ooh, what? The Come on, update. Thank you. So the pink area there, that's the severe thunderstorm watch box that came up until 9 o'clock. And then you got the yellow areas, that's in the tornado watch box there. Uh, that continues up until 7 and 8 o'clock uh, concurrently, or I'm sorry, 6 and 8 o'clock concurrently. Um, so those brown boxes, that's your, that's your wind advisory, it's just an uh, FYI. So let me go back over to my base reflectivity, go back over to this. So I want to keep folks updated on that. That's an impressive line, though. I really, really want to watch and see what uh, what he gets on it, what Brad gets. Yeah, there you go. You can see that one a little bit better now. Not seeing anything that catches my eye just yet as far as... Oops, oh no! He dropped off for a second. No, can't do that. Looks like he's heading up K Street. Prospect Grove, they're probably getting hammered with some very heavy rain in there. So kind of see what Brad's doing here. Yeah, he's going up K Street. The storm's just to his left, obviously. And he is racing northward. Be careful on those roads, dude. Get some farmer coming out. He's he's going a little fast. <laughs> You gotta be careful on these winding roads. Not seeing anything there it really catches. Just I'm looking up at the cloud base and seeing if there's other than the big rain shaft, not seeing a rotation there. He did earlier, I saw that video he had earlier, he was showing some stuff, but he's trying to trying to stay out ahead of it. Uh 
that's some uh, pretty good pretty good video there of that storm cell and pretty good hail or two over there at prospect that's where it was the, from the most prospects over to his obviously to his left you see the rain shaft to his left clear skies to the right oh we got a, another warning let's go and get off him as a prospect grove already went over that so let's see we got new warning uh this just to his north um yeah on top of the warning that's already in there but uh this one goes for central washington county until 4 30. near Kelowna to near richmond to near copac moving east at 60 and these storms have all been moving very very fast Yeah, I, I do suspect that might get see a new tornado warning. I mean, that's the most intense part of that line where that tornado warning is currently sitting. Uh, would not shock me to see another uh, see a tornado warning come out issued here pretty soon. That's very broad, though. Yeah, I just. Uh, nah, it's very. I was just looking at the velocity. I'm not just—it just looks very broad to me in there. De definitely hailer. I mean, there ain't no doubt in my mind that's got some very large hail in that thing. Probably right off the chart. Yeah. When you see when you see the gray like that, when you see when you see this, that is that is that's a, that's a hail core that is uh, maxing out the reflectivity. So you know, probably over an inch and a half of hail, probably a good indication in that one for sure. Um, let's go back to real life activity on this one. I'm going to look at my cross section on that warning. Let me go over to that real quick. Let's take a look at that. Let me take a look at that one. I want to do a little dissection on that one. That's that cell down here to the south. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a two. Here's the cross section on this. Let me clear that out. This cell has got uh, two inch, two and a half inch hail. Yeah, I kind of figured that. When I saw it maxing out on there with that purple hail core, Two and a half, so we're talking baseball size hill. Very impressive cell with that, with some very good um, high reflectivity. So that's up into Hambolt and then going up to Kalsoth and Palo Alto. That's cutting across Missouri going into southern uh, Iowa. Again, I, looking at that, I would not be surprised. I mean, there's some, there's some general rotation in there. So would not shock me to, I mean it's, it's it's sitting up in there out ahead of that my marker um, probably gonna see a new tornado want to come out of here pretty shortly along that cell so yeah that's uh, that's pretty impressive let me go back over to radar Omega here again and um, I mean, you can see the hail core on that thing is very very intense uh, storm on that one as it's uh, moving up toward the north there and that, that whole line uh, obviously, uh, needs to be watched. But that hail core is just now coming into the, to the Iowa and Missouri border, uh, getting ready to cross that line. I, I do do think we're going to get another tornado warning right up in here, out ahead of this here, very shortly, uh, as this core moves up in this direction. I'll, let me loop this again for you, so you can see that. That's a very impressive sail core moving up to the north and east. Mount Pleasant, boy, that storm has got looks like it's got B wise on that. That's a little town right through here, so this is this is there's going to be a new warning issue. I, I don't, um, if not, I, I mean there's already a severe thunderstorm warning in that obvi area, obviously, but I do believe potentially tornado warning going up again uh, for that area. There's a couple spotters in this area. I see their see see their see their see if they're broadcasting here. Brandon's in uh, Brandon, yeah, Brandon's in a good position. Oh, Brandon, you're the man. Let's see what Brandon's looking at. He's in a, he's in a good position. All school buses, so people going up from school. Yeah, that part of the you know in the southeast they'll actually call school because of severe weather. Out in the Iowa they're like, no, we're going to school, man. We don't play games with that. But uh, yeah, he's getting in a pretty good position. There's a couple spotters here, so uh, this is this is coming in their direction. So yeah, we're gonna watch the cameras very closely here. Uh, they're they're in a very good. There's a couple of them in there. Let's see what the other one. That's uh, there's three of them. It's Vince. Here's what, here's what Vince is saying. Look at them. Yeah, very very angry looking sky. Well, Mumatis in there too. A little bit. Not 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 that much. Not really. Yeah. And let's see. There's, there's Vince. Vince's camera. 
checking all of them. That's Brandon and who's this guy? Oops. Oh, they're all they're they're tailing each other. <laughs> so that's that. That's the, uh, all right. So we got three guys. They're inter they're going intercept. I probably would stay where the heck I'm at. I don't think I would move. I think I would stay stay put. Wait that for think they're at ten right for them. But they also want to make sure they're in a safe position too. So you don't want to be right on it. And these this looks like it goes south. Looks like they're gonna follow right down to the end. We'll have to watch that closely, see where that goes through there. Um, like I said, they're, they're, they're serious hail in here. I mean, big time hail. And um, probably some very heavy rains too. Yeah, not really that bad. Like high rise pollution. So just kind of coming into southern Iowa right now, the extreme southern portion of Iowa with this particular cell. I do suspect the new tornado warning come out. Let me see where that, next, that last warning just came out. Uh, till 5.30. Yeah, Bert called 4.30. That's not 30 minutes on that one. Oh, we got a minute. We, oh, we got a tornado warning in Minnesota. Holy crap. Let me back out of this one. Hold on. It did get into Minnesota. Yeah, it wouldn't, did not shock me. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's that storm that's uh, that was near Iowa. That's this one over here. Got a new tornado warning here. I'll briefly get off this for just a second, just to highlight this one. Uh, that's this one here. Uh, that one is showing three-quarter inch hail, but that that's one had a history of producing stuff that was down into Iowa. It's moved into extreme southern Minnesota along there, and it's, there's broad rotation there. Uh, you can see that uh, right in there as we're getting a little bit of broad rotation there, right in here. Uh, with that core right next to the greens and the reds that's that's indicative of that so uh, that's out in no man's land I'll come back to that cell in a minute uh, but I do want to go back over to this one because I really think this one's going to be something to watch very closely I think there's going to be a new warning that's going to be issued there's three storm spotters out in front of that storm uh, and hopefully they'll get some good video as this storm approaches let me go ahead and loop this once again all right so you got these three storm spotters, all three of them sitting right here. You got this nice big hail of chorus that's coming up this way. And they're in a pretty good position. Let's check out their, some of their cameras again, see if we can see what they're seeing. They're all the way down. Are they, st are they still moving? Corey, you're still moving. All right. That's, he's looking off toward the east, or to the west, I should say. Yeah, they're, they're at the dead end. Are they going to take a right? Or are they going straight? Nope. Okay, looks like they're trying to get a little further out ahead of it. All uh, right, like I said, there's three of them in here. I'm trying to grab a different camera. There's Brandon's camera. Yeah, nothing there. They can see there. Where's the other guy? There is the other guy. I'm going in real state highway. Yeah, they're trying to get out ahead of it. They're not. They're not in a good, comfortable position just yet. So let me back out. They're just. There's three. The three guys just kind of watching each other. They may try to get over to two, over to the high main highway. I'm thinking it may go over that way, but I how many more? Let's see, we got 25 minutes on this warning, and that storm is almost completely out of that county. These storms have really been hauling, really hauling, uh, hauling butt really fast today. I've seen up, upwards of 75 mile per hour. This is how fast they've been moving. And that's a pretty good. You see all the lightning in there. That's in the Obviously, we get a lot of heavy hail. Two and a half inch hail uh, was was in that area. Uh, let's see what these guys here. Let's see what he he was down in the south. Let's see what his camera was showing. Looks like he's he looks he's trying to get ahead of it. Looks like that's Brad. Yeah, he's trying to get out. He's he's out of position. He's too far to the north now. These guys here are the ones to watch, and they're still moving. So let's see if they let's see if they've decided to stop. Swing their camera back around. That's Corey's camera. Let's see if he's going to get in a position. They're right in the middle of a town. Wow, that's not a good place to be. <laughs> uh, he's right in the middle of a town. As they're moving through town, looks like they're going further south. Let's see what uh, Vince is looking like. Yeah, you see the angry skies to his right. Oop, new warning just came out. Let me get uh, check to see what that's for. 
I was just making sure they weren't issuing this new warning for where those guys are currently at. They got a pretty good kale core coming right at them. Where is that next warning? Oh, no. Uh, let me see where that was here real quick. Lobes kind of missed. Go Van Buren. That one, that one had a funnel cloud reported on it. So this is the storm cell we're watching. Again, here's the cross section, so you can see the side by side. You got the spin there, uh, the velocities on the right. You've got uh, the, the uh, reflectivity on the left. Uh, the two inch hail core has been reported, uh, or uh, two inches on this one right now, and there's sort of circulation in there. So it's just a question of is it tornadic or not. That, I mean, or, or whether we got an actual tornado or it's just a funnel cloud. Uh, this one had a report of a funnel cloud earlier. You see the funnel a report here down to the south and east of it. That little tornado icon down there uh, with that particular cell. So and so that's all blowing that banner. Let's go back. Go to Rare Omega here. Sorry, I'll go back. I'm like kind of jack in between the between all these. So oh, we got. Uh, looks like they issued another warning for that other cell out here to the west. So this one has had a long history of cell. Let me go back to the Sioux City Falls radar. This one here has has been producing. Uh, tornadoes all the way up. You see the track, and then I just issued another one here. Let's see if his camera's picking up anything here. Willard. He is not in a good position. Not looking. Seeing the angry skies there. He's going through a town. Alright. So you got these two warnings here. Let's see what he's. Has he got a, is that a camera there? That's a park. That's a set. That's a set uh, park there across the lake. Now look at that. That looks very impressive. See the low wall cloud there off to the distance. Showing across the state lake back over to where those, those thunderstorms are. All right, I'm gonna go back over to the. Let's try the down port right there. We go. I'm really surprised. This one's got this warning here. This this tornado warning's only got another 21 minutes, and the core of the cell is about ready to pull out of there. Looks like these guys are they stopped now? Are they shooting back. Corey's shooting back at the west. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we got four tornado warnings and five severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, equal number of warnings out there right now. Uh, some very angry skies there to the right. Uh, looking on the horizon, it's well off to the distance. Uh, he's seeing what I'm seeing. Let's see if he stops. He's, uh, these are the three chasers. You see them all following each other. One, two, three. And they are intercepting. They're, they're looking at that that uh, that storm to the left. Yeah, there's a lot of spotters in there. Look at all the green. Look at all the green in there. That's all. Look at all the spotters. They got storm modern network. You got all the way They have all converged in the same spot. Very, very interesting. Let's, the go. Let's follow the leader. Look at Brandon's at the top. You get some shaky video there, buddy. Mount your camera better. He's has his camera up on the roof. Must be some very windy conditions. Holy cow. Dude, stop your car. I can't watch that. That's a little bit of a... Let's go to the guy behind him. Guy Corey's a little more, little, little more stable. So this is, they're intercepting a tornado warned area in this area right now. As this is coming up with a lot of like... Yeah, that to the left looks interesting. Let's see what the... Uh, yeah, yeah, he sees what I'm seeing over to the left. But again, once again, if there's anything in there, it could be could potentially be rain wrapped. You're not gonna not gonna see it too well. This is not your this is not setting like your typical supercell setup here. These have been embedded in the, in these damn squall lines all up and down uh, for most of the day, except for that one that was back to the west. I'm gonna look at. Uh... Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yep, getting ready to come up with a Bonaparte. 
something right through here. You can see it very nicely right through here. Moving up to this little direction. So it should pass right in front of them. If, there, if there's something there. If there is something there. And they're still moving to intercept. Let's go play the vent so he's passing somebody. Get out of the way! Get the trees out of the way too. Yeah, to the left, that's where I would be looking. Oh, yeah, that needs to be watched. That needs to be watched. They're getting close. Let's stay on this video here for a second. I want to watch this a little closely. As we're watching them do the intercept. Here on a potential tornado here. Uh, yeah, they're to your left. Yep, rotating wall cloud. Very, we can see that. Wouldn't be surprised if that's the new warning. Let me double check that while I, while I can. Nope, they don't have a warning in there yet. Just was double checking it. Make sure it wasn't that one. So you got a rotating wall cloud there just to the left. And you see the heavy rain lightning. Nothing that I can see on the ground though. Nothing. I mean, it's a low hanging wall cloud. That's where it would be. At least looking at the radar, that's exactly where it would be. So. And there's the new warning. They just came out with it. Okay, so here's the new tornado warning. Uh, goes for southern Henry County, southeastern Van Buren, northeastern uh, Lee County until 5 o'clock. So they did extend that warning out. They are in prime position to see this thing. Does anything there. This Brandon's can't, yeah, I can't, your camera's too shaky, Brandon. Sorry, brother. No, let's go use Corey's. All right, here's Corey. So this, this has got broad rotation in now. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't give me the cell problem. Clear up, clear up. Okay, so we got broad, we got a uh, broad rotation of a supercell thunderstorm right here. Uh, and that's where you would look to potentially see if a tornado was going to drop. So are they gonna they're gonna sit right there and watch? They might that might be as close as they want to get. I should be able to zoom right in there. I see a lot of spotters up there on the side of the road. Just gonna see and wait and see if there's gonna get something that's gonna drop. Where are you guys going? Try to get your camera out, turn around. Back it up a little bit. Yeah, I think it's to the left. That's not it. That's definitely not it. That's just a rain shaft there. Now he's getting out. Look, oh, he's going to take his camera. Fox weather chaser. <laughs> Fox weather. Yep, there's. Turn your camera. Yep, there we go. That's the best rotation we've seen. That's a rotating wall cloud. Yeah, you can see it very nicely. Very nicely. I'm going to stay on this shot. There's rotation there, but not has not dropped anything. It's like watching a movie <laughs> in real time. Except this is real life. That's a good that's a good spot right there. That thing's gonna drop, it'll drop right there in front of them. Rotating wall cloud right here. I gotta set this up to be able to show him and do my other stuff. That's what I need to do. I got a broad rotation in there. So again, kind of pulling back out. You see, see what's that's what's right there in front of him. Okay. Yeah, so right through here, and they're right in good position to watch that. He's in a better position. Corey, it looks like he stayed back a little bit. 
Rotating wall cloud, but not a funnel. No funnel in there. Broad circulation. It lo look on radar, it looked like it was a broad circulation through there. Just seeing if there's any. That's it. That warning's gone out. It could drop. And that whole, the whole cloud's rotating right through there. It's uh, that, I hate when they get, get, get the rain shaft into it, though. You can't see it very well. They may have to move here soon because that rain shaft's getting awfully close. Yeah, he's, it looks like he might try to move. I'm not seeing anything in there that, other than that stuff to the left. I'm going back to this. Looks like it's weakened a little bit. Yeah, this one here to the south. Oh, that's the, that's that cell to the south. I didn't see that one. I, I got tunnel vision a little bit. I was watching the other one. So I got two tornado warnings there back to back. This one's from southeast of Scotland and Clark County till 5. That's for the cell down here to the south. Let me go back over to uh, uh, high res velocity so I can see both. Yeah, there's two in there. I'm so sorry. These guys are chasing up here. I got a little tunnel vision, and this other one snuck up behind me. So you got two, two of them. You got one right here, and then you got one right here. So I would suspect that he's going to intercept, try to intercept this one. This other storm chaser. It's actually painted out pretty well today. Let's see if he's moving in. Brad might be moving to intercept. Yeah, Brad's probably going to be trying to intercept this one to the south. Actually, the one to the south looks better than the one to the north, to be honest with you. Come back to his camera again, Corey. That's that cell there. Almost on top of you. Don't see nothing there. Got 157 people watching this one. Yeah, that one's pretty wrapped up there. So that's that one up there to the north. This one here to the south. So you got two of them here. Two tornado warnings that are currently running concurrent to each other here. On this one area, you got th this one here, both for about 41 minutes. So we got two circulation centers, one here and one up here. We're just yeah, moving out of that other watch box that was left of the other one. So I'm guessing that he's going to try to intercept. I mean, I really just wait, just wait for it, really. I mean, that, he, uh, he can get in a good position. It's coming up that way. So, we'll see if that one's going to gonna fly or not. So, got, got, we got six tornado warnings out there and four uh, severe thunderstorm warnings right now. We got these two, well, three in this one area. And then you got, uh, I think it was a couple more, like two more up here across the northern. Those were kind of weaker. You got this one up here to the north, too. Right along that boundary. This one goes for another 25 minutes. But that one doesn't look nearly as impressive. That's right on the boundary there. But these two are the ones that are the most, most impressive I've seen. And it's right exactly where the high resolution model was showing where the highest tornado parameters were going. About four o'clock. Right on the money. I like that. Of course, that means that the spotters put themselves in the in the right position. So oh, sorry. Close that down. This is going right into, a, oh, I guess that's Wakanda. Wakanda? Is that Wakanda? I don't know how to pronounce that near Lori, but that's one circulation. And the other one up to the north. So you guys got anything here? There's Brandon again. Yeah, that's that circulation to the, to the left there. That's not tornadic. That's just a low-hanging, strong wind, broad thunderstorm base there. As he goes by. But that one doesn't look nearly as impressive as the one to the south coming up. It really doesn't. I think these guys are trying to get ahead of the. Yeah, his camera's a little more stable. 
don't see anything there. And he should be heading to south. So Brad is trying to get ahead of that other boy. He's going through town. <laughs> All up and down. He's got one, two, three. All along that line. That was the line I was watching. That was the, my main line that I was watching a couple hours ago that I was thinking was going to be responsible for this, the most tornado activity. And it's coming to fruition so far. What's our tornado count up to so far? Just do one in the check. Hey, we're up to 14. There we go. Up to 14 tornadoes, uh, 63 wind damage reports, and 27 hail. So this has been a pretty, uh, pretty decent event so far. Pretty decent event so far. Back to Mega here. Straight line winds, uh, 60 mile per hour winds. Also report a half inch hail uh, with that storm that moved through there. Now yeah, that one to the south appears to be weakened a little bit. Uh, let's go a little closer here. Let's see what these guys are showing. Corey's looking back to the south. That's a pretty good rain shaft there. Oh, come on. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, This can't wait to put. So it is. <laughs> yeah, it would make sense if one goes down, they all go down. There's Brandon. Oh, he's, he's still going. That's a healthy wall cloud. Angry sky, to say the least. You always check the chasers in their video. You're just kind of hoping that you, you know maybe you'll see a tornado uh, drop live in a feed. That's always pretty cool. Oh, new warning came out. Let's go back to Radar Omega real quick. I'll go back to my reflectivity mode here. So, oh, that's a huge. Oh lord, look at the size of that box. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a severe thunderstorm warning for a lot of counties. Jackson. Cedar, Scott, Dubuque, Johnson, Washington, Jones, Delaware, Muscatine, Lynn, Clinton. That is a huge, huge box there that just got issued with that, that line. Uh, continues to move off that direction. Um, a lot of straight line winds with this thing, for sure. You see that line coming up through Cedar Rapids, coming up Mosa, Monticello, Tipton, West Liberty along that line. Um, you also got that tornado warning that's in, in this particular area. We'll go ahead and zoom in on this one here. Let's look at this one here. It's a high resolution. Um, might need to switch radars on that one. Eh. Let me switch over to, to the... Was, oh, that wasn't the airport. That was the closest one. Okay. It looks like a little inflow notch, maybe. I see you see when you see something like that, you know, on reflectivity, you get a little inflow notch in there. Uh, but that, they got that tornado warning right in the middle of that of that box right there. So the, these are the two warnings down down here. So nothing. So these got so Ryan is showing here. There's Corey. Oh come on, Corey! Your camera keeps freaking out on me. Yeah, these three storm chasers have been. There's Vince's. Okay. Yeah, they continue to chase that cell, and you can see where the indentation's kind of coming down a little bit in there. Uh, hard to tell. If there's a funnel in there or not because it's a heavy rain. I always hate that. You get these things that are get rain wrapped. You can't see them very well. It could be something in there. That uh, wall cloud's awfully low to the ground. Could be a wedge tornado, maybe. Maybe. Um, hard to tell with this angle I'm looking at. Yeah, that could be something on the ground right to the left. I'm going to stay on this real quick. See how low that, that wedge cloud is going. Donaldson, Iowa. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I, I can't. I that that's a low, very, very low hanging wall cloud. I'll say that. At at minimum.
Could be a couple things in there. I gotta add these guys to my my list. Yeah, that is something broad and low hanging wall cloud. And yeah, I don't I don't think so. I don't do not think. Could be a couple of potential funnels in there, maybe. But I, it looks like a hanging wall cloud to me on both sides. Yeah, not 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 too concerned there. I see rotation. It's off the ground. Yeah, those just rotating wall clouds. Out of that wall cloud. Oop. So he's it was hanging lagging behind a little bit. Oop. Yeah, it's that it looks like he's pulled up to north. Let's see, he is shooting to the south. That other rotation's here to the south. Let's see if he's got a camera pointing to the south yet. 73 degrees. He's still trying to get in position. He's still moving. So he's still moving, trying to intercept this other cell to the south. So we got these two uh, tornado warnings in here. Oh, it's too far away. Yeah, it's too far. Damn for it. Looking at the short range one in here. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I see some pretty heavy winds in there, but I don't see I don't see any red on greens. Got a nice little, little heavy. I mean, you got a very pronounced line. You can see it very well right through here. See it right there on the edge. That's some very gusty winds out of that squall line. But I don't see anything to indicate a tornado in there. Not really. I see one spotters out here in position. Rob, he'll probably be able to confirm that or not. Yeah, not seeing that there. You got a bunch of spotters down here. There's Corey. Let me go back to Corey. Corey's camera looks probably was the best. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, now he's getting in the rain. Da. Ah! You're not going to be able to see squat now. Yep, you got out of position. Yep. Can't see squat. All right, those guys are toast. They can't, they're not going to be able to see anything wrapped in that heavy rain. Go back to velocity, you kind of see the rain, the other kind of get on the rail, tail end of that rotation. I'm more interested in what's going on here to the south right now. So, let's see. I want to go back over and check these. Uh, no warnings up that way. No, those have all expired. That's Brett down here. That's Brad. Brad's on that position or shut. Checking all these guys to see what they got going on. That's a little like a wall cloud, you piece of see the rain whipping around there, it's gonna get cut wide up in them. He's in the as Vance's camera. He's trying to get out of that rain shaft too. So we got three warnings right now, and the one that's the, the that, that this one to the south is the one that kind of interests me. The these ones uh, I know the storm chasers have been watching the ones to the north. That looks predominantly uh, wall cloud stuff to me. Not a tornado on the ground. Um, this one to the south near uh, near Wakanda. This is the one that I think in there needs to be watched. That's the one that's uh, showing to me the most promise right now. And Brad's not into position yet, so he's he's trying to get into position to, to intercept that one. I go to my high velocity mode again. Kind of watching that. It's still a lot of clusters up there. Let me play that again. 
It's like something maybe going to the right. To the... See, these guys are all clustered in here. And something's just, uh, that's the wall cloud they've been chasing. It's been this right up in here. Uh, but very broad circulation on that. It's not really, you know, real tight in there to show anything. So, I mean, you got a little bit of an inflow notch in here. You got a little something uh, kind of coming around right through here. And that's what these guys are seeing right through there. So, um, let's see what Vince is seeing. He's, he's stuck in the rain. He can't see. He's too far back. Corey, that's the, that's the area. Again, uh, when you're chasing a storm like this one and it's embedded in a squall line, you might get a tornado in there, but it's rain-wrapped and you can't see it very well. There, there could be a tornado right there on the ground. Uh, potentially just to the left there, but you can't see it very well. That's where the rotation is the strongest. But a uh, very low-laying wall cloud in here. Uh, but that, that, yeah, potentially tornado on the ground right through there. Uh, he's not exactly in a very good position to see it. Let's see, Corey's trying to get in a little bit of position out ahead of it. Very active afternoon. Yeah, but not seeing nothing turn out. There's just a couple stuff in there. That's where we go by. And then uh, he's going to intercept the southern one. Let's stand at Corey here for a second. Yeah, look, at the, look to the left there. Right there on the ground. Could be a tornado right there on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, very close. Right there on the yeah, they're 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 stopping. Looks like there may be a tornado on the ground right there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Just for get out of my truck. Could see it. That uh, could be a tornado. We it's it doesn't appear to be a strong one. Yeah, to go to the left. Thank you. Right there. Dead center. Do get out of the way. You're you're blocking my tornado. Yep. Looks like we may have a tornado on the ground right there. Tornado on the ground. Right near the St. Paul area there. It's rain wrapped again. Can't see it very well. It got some rain wrapped in it. You can't friggin' see it. It, look, it looked, you could see it for a second, and then that, then that rain got wrapped into it. You can't see it now. And he's trying to see I'm trying to see it too, dude. It's, it's rain wrapped in there. Oh, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, it looks like we got a tornado on the ground there. Briefly. Yeah, it's lulling away. It looks... Yep, you see that rotating wall cloud there? It's coming right at them. Now stay, stay put, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at the spin. Look at the spin of the clouds and the rain. The clouds going one direction, the rain going the other. And I'm staying right on that shot right there. Excellent. Look at the spin. You see the rain, again, rain wrap storm. Can't see where the flip, but you can see the rotation. Strong rotation right through there. That's a, uh, 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 lightning. Yeah, get out of, you're not in position. You get the heck out of the way. You see it rotating, rotating wall cloud right there. Very, very, very pronounced. Not a funnel. It looks like it's trying to. The storm spotters. God bless. Look at the rotation on that sucker. Best rotation I've seen so far. Confirmed tornado. I love those little graphics effects here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a tornado on the ground. Uh, they need to get out of the way. Yeah, they're not exactly in a good position there. They need to get up further out ahead of it. It's a broad one. If it's on the ground, it's a broad one.
Oh, he's getting out. Yeah, he's not in a good position right there. You see that? Yeah, you see it right there to the left. They're going by. So very, very just just so past this is the south of Salem. On there, tornado count continues to go up. I just noticed that we're up to 16 now. 16 tornadoes, 28. This has been a pretty active day. I was kind of watching that tornado count there. Uh, still got this warning here to the south. They trimmed that warning away. Let's see which way these guys are trying to go. They need to go east. See what Brandon's showing there. Oh, he wrapped up in the rain. That's the back part of that of that cloud. Very heavy rain in there. Like I said, any tornado in there, you're not gonna see it. It's it's just rain wrapped. Not, not your classic setup to be able to video this stuff. I hate when you got a little delay. Now he's stuck in the rain. All right, pull back out of here. So there is that. I'll go back over to my reflectivity mode here. Yeah, we got a, I got a couple of sitting right in there. Let me do a cross section here. Yeah, there's the there's a rotation in there. So you see the see the yellow marker right there. That's on the edge of that tornado warning right there. So we, that tell me we got we we've, we've got some circulation there and we've seen it we've we've seen it with the live cameras themselves. Um, you can see the the broad circulation sitting right in there as this is kind of moving that way. So uh, this other one to the south doesn't look nearly as as pronounced, although it's got some pretty healthy hail with it three quarter inch hail on that one, and this other one one and a quarter inch hail where that potential tornado is up there to the north on the southern part of that of that storm. And you can kind of see that right there. Broad circulation, very broad, I would say, on this. God, it's almost right on top of them. Yeah, Corey's wrapped in the rain. That's that's kind of dangerous. I'm going to be honest with you. Little dangerous to get into a, a situation where you're in a rain wrap thing where that tornado. If there's one, a broad circulation, you can drop right on there. They're, they're really close. And they're in the heavy rain, which which is not a good thing. So the, it looks like they're heading east. They're trying to get out ahead, away from that couplet. They're they're caught up in the rain. Smart move. Look at all the storm chasers in here. Look at all the green in there. All those little green dots. Those are all the storm chasers, all up and down in that area. Uh. Oh, looks like, oh, he's heading north. <laughs> he decided he gave up on the one of the south. He's heading north. <laughs> he, I thought he was going to intercept that storm to the south. This is um, Brad Arnold. He's, he's, he's heading north trying to intercept that storm. The north, that one that uh, produces a tornado. I guess he gave, he gave up on the southern south. I thought he was heading south. Uh, but, uh, you know, very pronounced uh, rotation sitting in here with this particular cell. Basically, flick that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very. I mean, that's the storm relative velocity here. You got, but it's it's broad. Okay, it's very broad. But there is that's what these guys are getting away with. It looks like anything that was there maybe crossing two eighteen. See, Corey's trying to get in, away in a position to. Brandon's a little bit further ahead. It's up to his cameras down. It looks like there could be a t something tornadic in there. So we got a new warning come out. I'll update here in just a second. Let me see what he's got here as far as the warning is concerned. Yeah, Brandon. Oh, your camera's all pixelated. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at right there. So they got that right there. Oh, nope, just updated, and that does now doesn't look nearly as as impressive as it did a minute ago. So that's that cell. He's looking back to the west again. 
If you can get a clearing to kind of shoot back, we've got to fight the trees. Like, where's some farmland when you need it? You're out there in God's country. And I don't see anything. Nope. And this one coming up behind it don't look nearly as impressive as it did earlier. And this one looks like it's 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 kind of mitigated, kind of spread out as well. So we got three different warnings up right now. Let me put go back to uh, high res relativity mode. All up along that line. I'm gonna loop this once again. Three different tornado warnings out. Getting very close to the Illinois line now. So, got three warnings. Here's one, here's two, and here's three. Right along that squall line. Oh, that one just that one just ended, uh, which I that was the one I thought would probably drop because I didn't see anything in there. And these two down here to the south have got the most active stuff here. And the velocity says, well, look, all, all the storm chasers are on this big one. You can see, see all the green. They're all on that storm here. They're ignoring this one. There ain't nobody down here. They're all in that one storm. Because that one has had uh, broad rotation. We saw it with some of the live video uh, feeds. But to me, if there's anything tornadic in there, it was probably rain wrap. You weren't going to see it very well. Now it looks like it's passing off just to the south of Mount Pleasant. Looks like he's probably he's probably in the midst of the rain here. Let's see what his camera's looking at. Brad, yeah, there he's he's in the, he's in the rain. It's, mm, not my ideal storm chasing situation set up for this. Uh, just not the best. Because that storm back to the west was actually probably the best looking one uh, to be able to chase for the day. This 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 is very difficult because it's in a squall line. There's Corey's camera. Yeah, they had some broad rotation. They 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 spotted that. They saw that, but they couldn't really stay on it. So currently got four severe thunderstorm warnings and three tornado warnings out right now. Just still focusing on the Davenport uh, radar. So getting very close to Squaw, it's getting very close to, uh, to go into the Illinois area. Let me go back over to my um, Radio velocity mode here. You know, let's kind of look what's going on behind here. Yeah, nothing much. I, I, they should be cutting these, these some of these counties behind. They're already starting to. I think we're we're about we're about at max Q. I would say when I say max Q, using a little euphorism from uh, from using the um, um, well, launching a rocket. I think we're getting near the peak. I think of this thing right now. Because all indication, once we got to a certain time, once we got to about 6 o'clock Eastern, things started settling down. Yeah, as they're, 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 they're trimming away some of those the watches, trimming away across Missouri and parts of, uh, of Iowa right now. So we're trim we are trimming the box back a little bit. Uh, again, going to the... Oh, the uh, here's a couple of the chasers out here. Uh, Brandon, uh, he lost his camera earlier. Jake's in a pretty decent spot there. Brandon's now moving out of Missouri. He's he's not he's now up in Iowa now. So. So here's another reports. We, our hail reports coming up. We're up to 30 hail reports now. 16 tornadoes so far for today, and uh, we we had one. I just don't think we had one there. It was a broad rotation on that cell there uh, across southern Iowa, 
uh, coming into uh, getting ready to come into Illinois, Burlington, this whole area right in here. Uh, it's going to see we're going to see a bunch of new warnings come out here very shortly, uh, very very shortly. This sells completely out of this warning box area. And so is the one near Mount Pleasant. So we go back over to uh, velocity mode here and kind of continue to watch this thing. They've switched over. See all the storm spotters. They're all in that broad there. That's just too broad, dudes. That's just one big broad rotation storm. They're all around, all the green dots all the way around that. <laughs> I want to the south don't look nearly as impressive. That's that's gonna that's probably just gonna maybe warn a severe thunderstorm warning. That's gonna be about it. But both those cells have weakened. No warnings up here toward the north. So exactly where they thought we were gonna get the the heaviest tornado activity. Actually, the, the most activity was actually to the west. Actually, it was over toward um, the western portion of the state. And this was an area that was concerned for maybe big tornadoes later today, but I haven't seen anything confirmed with any of this stuff just yet. So as you look at the storm reports here, let me um, <clears throat> I can show you the storm reports so far. Kind of transition over here. So you see where these storm reports were issued. You had one over here in, over in Nebraska. And then you had this one up here. Let me back up a little bit. Up near Sioux City, that was one particular storm there. Then you see the track of the low going, uh, the tornado there going due north there across portions just to the west of Fort Dodge. That was another cluster of storms. Had a funnel cloud report here, but none of the stuff for these warnings down here. We had a funnel cloud here, and we thought well, we looked like a funnel cloud earlier in there, but that was about it. So. So we got a new warning. Let's go back on the radar Omega here. See where that new warning's coming out. That's just up toward the north, up near Dubuque. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this area. Uh, this is a new big watch box here. Uh, this is for Joe, Joe Davies, Carol Stevenson, Central Jackson, and Central Dubuque. That goes until 5.30. All right, that's just a new warning out of that with that squall line. So... Looks like these warnings down here, uh, looks like they're gonna let them expire. I don't know, they still may put one out for this one to the north. This one that's heading up toward Minneapolis area right through here, might see that go. Yeah, I could see them doing it. They're, they're, they're probably gonna issue another tornado warning just because you've got, you still got some rotation in there. And as long as you got rotation, you know, sitting in here, and this is moving up in this direction. You're gonna see it. Probably gonna see another warning here issued here shortly. I don't. I don't see why they won't. Uh, looking at that. There's Brandon getting out ahead, get, trying to intercept that. Bunch of storm chasers out there trying to get out of that cell. So we're down to two warnings right now. Four severe thunderstorm warnings. Currently, if there's anything that's going to be over to the left of them. Don't you start whining over there, dog. I'll kick your butt. <laughs> yeah, so he's. And he's coming up behind the cell. Oh, he's showing. Yeah, he's, he's caught up in the. All the chasers out here. He's caught up in the rain. Not a good place to be. There's the new warning. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Figured we were going to get that. <clears throat> and we got the new warning. So this is a, they call this, they said this is an observed tornado. So uh, confirmed tornado was located near New London or near Mount Pleasant, moving northeast at 45. Okay. Damaged tornado, half dollar size wind. So this is uh, near New London. They got a lot of sp spotters in that area, so they would know if there's been a tornado in there or not. Uh, these guys are here to the south, so let's take a look at what uh, let's let's look at Vince's camera. He's coming up there. Supposedly there's a tornado, but again, you can't see it. It's rain wrapped. It's only and it's probably weak at that. Probably EF zero, EF one at best. There are a lot of storm chasers here going north, trying to intercept this thing, but you cannot see it in there. It is rain wrapped to all get out. 
back up here again. But some sort of tornado down, down here uh, as this continues to move up in this direction, um, moving at about 60 miles an hour. So it's moving pretty good right there with that particular cell. Look at all the storm spotters. They're all in there. There's a whole bunch of them. All those little green dots. So we got some uh, spotters have got some stuff on the ground showing tornadoes on the ground in this area right now. And all these guys are on the side of the road here. If it's anything, I think it's going to be over to the left. He's going to go, he's going to go up to interstate. Yeah, looks like he's trying to get ahead of it a little bit. I hope this thing go over the town of New London. That, that is, you see that? That's, I mean, there's a little town right through there. I got to pray for those folks. Let's hope we don't, we didn't have anything go, go through there. But uh, Minneapolis needs to be on the watch out now. Let's see where he's going. He's going to try to. He's out ahead of this. I'm not sure which way he's going to try to go. I'm trying to figure out what these ways he's going to go. But the, the, the scan's always going to be behind a little bit uh, as we go through this. I'll go back to reflect. Velocity mode. I'm going to look and see. Sometimes you can see. Let's see if there's a ball. Well, yeah, there might be some in there. A little bit of maybe, might be a debris in there. Maybe it's awfully broad. I was just looking to see if there's anything in there. But they're trying to get ahead of this. There's a there's a core there. You know, I'm kind of looking looking right through here. So right through there is where I was thinking. Looking at that right there. So very, very, very pronounced storm here. Oh, new warning just came up for that. That southern cell just got a new tornado warning. All right, that's a radar indicator on that one. That's for northern Hancock, southwestern Henderson, southwestern Des Moines, Lee County, and central Clark County. That was one everybody gave up on. Everybody just kind of focused on that one to the north. And it was looking looking a little weaker there. Then it kind of pulsed up again. See how that southern cell kind of pulsed back up? Uh, let's look at the velocity on this one, see what this one looks like. And it's, they got it set up for this one up to the north, so I can't see it very well from that radar. Looks like a couple of weak rotations in there. But this one's the strongest. Yeah, this is getting awfully close to Mag Mediopolis. Mediopolis. Uh, hopefully their folks are taking, taking cover there uh, with that cell moving up that way. See what Brad's seeing here. Very angry skies. So we got two tornado warnings out here right now. Uh, four total. This is these are the, uh, we got two overlapping, two overlapping. So these these other two are getting ready to getting ready to expire. This one here he's only got four minutes left. This one there's no but nothing even in there. Any four minutes left. So these two are going to drop. These two are the new ones here that go for a little while, 34 minutes, and then uh, 49 minutes on this one. So we're trailing on the tail end of this line is what I'm looking at right now uh, with this particular storm. Now getting ready to cross, getting ready to make cross into Illinois, uh, into almost into uh, Illinois. So we're getting ready to go into those. Extreme western counties of Illinois here, where those tornado um, watches have been up here for a little while now. Still got another, ooh, 184 minutes left on that warning. <laughs> Do the math, that's three more hours. All right, um, till about eight o'clock. Yep, to eight o'clock. Let's go keep this on velocity mode here. We're looking at the. High risk. So there is a little bit of rotation on this one. This, this is the southern one. You kind of see a little bit of this red on green there near Wayland. And uh, th this one up here is the most pronounced. Where all the all the storm chasers are on on this one to the north. Uh, I'm on the Damport. No, I'm not on the Damport. Let's check out Damport here. I'm gonna switch over to the Damport radar. I was on the wrong radar here. Yeah, you can see here on this one. 
up here to the north. Looks like something to the north of those guys, up north of New London now. And it's just updated, not sitting over here. It's past them by, so they're not in a good position anymore. There's a couple of chasers out here. There's a couple of spotters, Lincoln and Nathan. They may have some information on that cell as it's getting awfully close to them. See if they've updated this this text any at all. Um, da -da 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 -da, flying debris, spotter. Now it's the same report. Just double check and see if they've got any new updates on that one. And then this one down here, you got one spotter down here, David Hutman. See everybody, everybody kind of funneled in on that one tor on that one storm. They ignored this one to the south, but that was the strongest rotation. I don't blame them. I would have done the same thing. That would have been what I would have done. If there's anything else. Well, that's really the most active part of the line. That's it. Everything seems to be settling down a little bit right now. The tail end of that line. The northern part of the line is definitely, definitely settled down. The lacrosse and the Rochester, Rochester all of the area. Um, you know, looking back here at Des Moines, you don't really see anything back here to the west anymore. Uh, things have settled down here to the west. So the really most active stuff are where this, these current warnings are currently sitting. So that's where that that's the kernel the, the purple there those those two north tornado boxes right there right now and severe thunderstorm warnings there toward the north so um, yeah very active right through there that's too far away I was just trying to different that's on the radar inch yeah this the Davenport radar is the best one to stay at so I'm just gonna stay on Davenport. Checking my phone here. All righty. So this uh, this cell on the bottom, the tail end Charlie one's got depth. Clearly, I can I can see this even on a reflectivity mode. We got that's high res. That a a we got a hit. We got a coal. Uh, got a. Uh, uh, Hail core in there, and it does appear to have some rotation into it. That's for sure. Let me do my cross section here. Take a look at that one. So here's the cross section on these two two storms here. Kind of kind of move it out of the way here so you can see the two uh, I mean strong rotation up the one here Mount Pleasant uh, that shear showing about a ooh, what's doing math in my head 147 knots that's not bad pretty broad but uh, not bad and this rotation down here this one's had a lot of hail with this reported as well showing one and a quarter inch hail on the southern storm um, oops go through here but you can see the rotation on that, that northern one very very well very well yeah, let me stop that on the last image there. So, right through there. So, there's uh, there's your there's your your Yarmouth is where our tornado is probably right up in that area right there, north of Mount uh, Pleasant Grove. That's where the circulation center was, uh, going through there. So you can see the side by side, and the back part of that storm is where that's going to drop the tornado. So let me go back over to Radar Mega here. As we're continuing the coverage here, uh, back over here. This is a new warning. Uh, where did where did that one go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Uh, nope. Oh, that's that. Oh, I got one back up. Got a new tornado warning back to the west. Oh, let's go look at that one. Let's. That's. Uh, we've had a few of them out here. That's that same daggone cell in it. Wow. That thing has had reports. Like you can see the tornado reports on that all the way north. It's still. Still producing stuff. Radar indicated here. Uh, Emmett County, Cossuth County, and Palo Alto County till 545. Uh, moving north at 10. So it, not moving nearly as fast as that stuff off to the west of there. Uh, but that one has got some got some history there. Let's look at the velocity on that one. See if we've got any. Yeah, I got a little bit in there. Yeah, I got a little bit. It's broad, but yeah, it's, it's a little green on red in there. A little rotation. Uh, it's, it's rotating right through in there. So, yep. Absolutely, see that one. But uh, pretty good hail, Corey. You see the purple in there, so pretty good heavy hail there, just north of Fenton. 
uh, with that storm, that one warning, and that's uh, just on the edge of the, the watch box out to the west. Again, uh, just south of Minnesota, just up on the border. But that's had pretty good sound. I wonder if he's still broadcasting at all. Oh, well, he's not. I was just wondering if he was. Am I on the right one? No, he's not. He stopped. He stopped chasing. He was chasing that cell earlier. Yep, new severe thunderstorm warning. Let's uh, switch over to the Davenport radar again. Go back over this one. That's for that dang cell there. Uh, again, that's for Joe Davies, Jackson, Dubuque, Jones, and Delaware until 545 on that warning through there. Right, you can continue to watch these two tornado warnings along this boundary to, down to the south. I'm going to go back over my high velocity mode here. Keep it on that. Yeah, that's got a healthy looking cell. That's a, that is a healthy looking, that, that's probably tornadic in there. Most definitely. See the broad rotation right through there. Looks like coming up on morning sun. There's a couple of spotters in that area. No cameras, unfortunately. They're a little bit out of, out of position. They're down here to the south. But that's uh, clearly got some rotation in that particular cell, in that tornado cell. Coming up toward Wapalo here very shortly. Tornado. So this one has had a confirmed tornado on the ground earlier. And this signature looks a little bit stronger to me than what I was seeing earlier. So uh, this is probably going to cost um, this, uh, what's that, State Road 75 looks like? 78, 78. So getting across 78, uh, coming up toward morning sun. You see all the cross grids in here, and you see got a little, there's a little town right through here. See all the little towns, see all the little roads in here near morning sun, and that tornado's coming right for it, uh, potentially there, uh, if it is on the ground. So uh, definitely could be, um, could be, it's been a very broad rotation on this particular cell. Uh, everybody's out of position. These guys are shooting. They're, I guess they're, they're trying to intercept the storm to the south now. Yeah, all right, but that one doesn't look nearly as impressive as this one. This one's definitely the strongest of the signatures. Clearly see it very visibly there coming up toward morning sun. Again, this warning goes, was observed, and it goes for another 26 minutes. Again, that's for, was near Yarmouth, confirmed Tormouth, miles, uh, it was 11 miles south of Wapalo, uh, radar confirmed tornado. So uh, that is a serious, serious situation for those folks there. Hopefully the folks in morning sun are taking uh, heed of the warnings, which I'm sure they've got been going off, and uh, they're, they're t seeking shelter immediately right now. In that area, a very pronounced uh, tornadic signature moving up toward morning sales. Let me stay zoomed in on that uh, as that's going on here. I'm gonna flip over to reflectivity mode again with this tornado. Again, the bad thing with this particular tornado, if it's there, it's probably rain wrapped as it's probably been most of the time uh, with this. It's very hard to see it uh, with that tornado moving up into morning sun. I'm going to keep uh, looping that here as you kind of see what's been going on with this. In fact, let me back this up to 14 here. I'm going to go back, uh, go back a few more images here. I'm going to loop this through. You can kind of see how this thing has evolved here over the last um, hour or so. So you can see the rotation here as it's been tracking. So it, near, it was down in the Mount Pleasant area and kind of moving right through here. Now it's coming up toward morning sun. So getting very close into morning sun. Looks like it should say south of Apollo. Uh, but it's been falling along that trajectory and the spotters that were showing along this line were definitely showing some sort of a, a rotation in there. Then the rain would catch up with it and makes it very difficult to see So, uh, with this particular cell. Yeah, moving up toward the north there. So very uh, dangerous situation with that if that's actually on the ground. Hopefully it is not. Oops, I'm sorry. I was checking the southern one down here, and there's rotation all up and down that southern part of that line, but uh, not nearly as much as this one up here toward the north. Uh, so hopefully, we'll stay south of Apollo right now. And there it is, just now coming into morning sun, just on this last scan. So it's just now going through morning sun right now as we speak, and getting ready to come across Highway 61 uh, with that cell. And you can see it very nicely over here on the cross section as well. And look at that again here. Coming up through morning sun. Here it is. Boom. Uh, as it comes up through there, you can see that very well, uh, very nicely on that scan. Coming in the morning sun. Boom. Shows up very nicely. Reflectivity is on the left and the velocity on the right. 
uh, with that tornado warning moving up toward the north. So that one may issue another warning here pretty soon because it's getting ready. It's at the speed at which it's moving. It's probably going to move out of there here very, very, very shortly. So we'll have a new warning coming out here uh, very soon. Again, there's the uh, radar mega version of this. As it's coming across, uh, warning sign. Minneapolis, I think you're okay. You're going to get some gusty winds through that area. But it looks like this is going to stay to the north of there. So we got these two signatures. This, the one to the north is definitely the, the stronger of the two, the way it's looking. But that can change. You always got to watch this stuff because it can change. All the spotters are on the northern, are on the northern cell, not the southern one. There's a few spotters down there to the south. As this gets ready to cross into Illinois, uh, as that warning does actually go into ports of Illinois, uh, near Fort Madison. Go back over to, oh, I'm gonna look at the veil on this real quick, kind of see with a hail core. And there's a hail core with this as well. Look at that. I mean, you got a hail core in there, uh, very heavy rain, a lot of lightning uh, with that cell as it's going through morning sun right now. That's where the particular tornado signature might be. Probably some decent hail with this as well. Um, looks like uh, looking at that, I would say, oops, let me stop this. Go to my last thing. Yeah, it's showing one and, a inch, one and a quarter inch hail in there, maybe up to one and a half inch hail uh, with that signature there as it's moving on through. So we just got the new update there. Uh, there is a TBS in there that was showing, uh, the TBS was showing, uh, this is your tornadic vor uh, vortex signature, uh, was showing 49, uh, let's say 82 knots away, 95 toward, so a pretty good uh, wind shear marker there, uh, base 4,200 feet, so... Uh, that definitely uh, might have some something in there for sure. This is what the I'll show you back over my cross section here, uh, and you can go in a little closer. You see the little triangle. And that's your tornadic signature, and it's moved up toward the north, so it's, it'll lag a little bit. That's how, especially as fast as the stuff's moving. So it's showing the circulation maybe up to near, near Machlis, but it's 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 a uh, very broad. There's your hail core again. Let me go back over to reflectivity mode on the radar mega here. So, yeah, maybe a little bit further south than what I initially thought. Actually, looking at that, it may slide in between because it looks like we may have something. You see what may looks like a little maybe an inflow notch in here, and you got this kind of punching on the backside, right there on the velocity. So maybe maybe just south the morning side because it looks like the hail core is to the north, which is where. It would set up in a severe weather setup. This this up here is probably hail, sitting right up in here. That's where the hail core is, and the circulation center is down to the south. So maybe it'll slide between Morningside and Minneapolis, stay out of the town. That would be pretty nice. Don't want to have any issues with that. I'll go back to the Blaise velocity now. They they switched over again. I love I love when they they, they change the scans on this. So da 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 da. Yeah, it looks like looks like it may stay to the south of Morningside. That's good. So it's getting across Highway 61 uh, with that particular cell moving over. Why oh, I got to say particular cell? It's that cell. Oh, I got a bad habit of saying the same stuff over and over and again. Apollo's getting walloped, that's for sure. And looks like this and this Montrose cell down here to the south. You see that one? They got a purple core there. Uh, let's see what these looks like. He's he's probably Brad. What do you got here? See what Brad's seeing here. Kind of getting down into it. And it's getting kind of late, so this is kind of, we're, we're kind of at the max part of this. He's trying to get a, a good view there. So that, that warning goes for another 34 minutes. That was radar indicated. This one was observed. There's no spotters out ahead of this thing too, coming up toward North Boston. I'm not seeing any more green there, so it's going to be difficult to if we if it was actually something that was there. I'm going to go back over to velocity again. Yeah, it looks like it's past. Yeah, sliding between Morningside and and Minneapolis there. Yep. Right down the middle of that box. Almost the middle. Kind of the northern part of the polygon, I should say. Let's shut that down. 
My beloved wife just came home and she brought me food. Because <laughs> I asked her to. Because <laughs> I wasn't cooking, doing this. <laughs> oh. She's a good girl. I think I'll keep her. <laughs> We've been married 27 years. Oh, new warning just came out. What we got here? Up just to the north. Okay, let's go up to this one. Uh, kind of going into southern Wisconsin. This is outside the box. We have a severe thunderstorm warning here. Uh, this goes Lafayette, Lafayette, I should say, Lafayette County and Iowa County in Wisconsin. It goes till six o'clock. Moving north at 55. And these things have been hauling butt all afternoon. So you see that line kind of moving up there from the south, and that is actually outside of the uh, the watch box. And I've seen a few of those today. But we continue to keep the focus on these two tornado boxes. Oh, oh something else just came out. Wait, oh, another one. <laughs> no, there's severe thunderstorm one because we got the other line still go through here. This one goes for eastern Clayton County and Grant County until six o'clock. That's for the northern portion of that line. So you got kind of concurrent lines. You got this line here, and then you got this line here kind of coming through. Some very gusty winds with that. And then we got our two tornadic cells that are getting ready to pass over into Illinois, it looks like. So let me keep my velocity motor going here. That one to the north still, still, still. Because we just like to pass Morningside now. Should stay south of Apollo. Yeah, that's going to stay south of Apollo. Getting across Highway 61 uh, with that signature right through there. So that's tornado warning right. We got seven active uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and three tornado warnings right now. That other one was way back there out here to the west. Let me check on this one too. Let me double check this one. Oops, nope, no warning just came out. Let's see. Uh, they're, they're just updating that line as a squall is moving off toward the east. So let me. Uh, oops, let me go back over to my higher rev velocity mode. Here we go. Well, where's where my damn port radar beam go? I hate when it does that. Hey, damn it. Oh, that's on the edge. This is Macomb radar. <laughs> yeah, my where's my damn port radar? But the thing just dropped off there. Let me. I'll fix this. It does that sometimes. I don't know why it does. It drives me crazy when it does. But uh, whoop, I will. Oops, sorry about that. Leave that up. Let me bring this back up for you here real quick. Da, 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 da. There we go. There you go. All right. Yeah, still showing a couple of TBSs in there. Let me switch this back over to this real quick. So you can kind of see it's, it's still showing some tornadic. You got another one right here. 43 knots away. 80 knots uh, wind shear. So not, not too bad. Uh, looks like it's passed off toward the east, uh, uh, stayed to the south of, of Morning Sun. That's good news there. Stayed out of that. I was afraid it was going to hit that town head on the way it was looking for a second. All right, let me go back here to Radar Omega real quick. And uh, where is that radar? It just disappeared on me. I don't know why it went away, but it just did. Maybe it went, maybe it got hit or something. So here's this radar here. We we'll use this one. Sometimes you got to bounce around a little bit. Look at all the lightning in there, folks. That is, you see a lot. You see that much lightning uh, flying up in there. That, that's indication we got some pretty good hailers in there, as I always say. Yeah, clearly can see the. You got the rotation on this one. You can see that very well. Still spinning around, just passing south of Apollo, past 61 right through here. Probably gonna get a new tornado warning out. Any issue for this, this is gonna be another warning coming out any minute, any second. That's That warning's gonna continue there. And this one to the south is pretty broad. It's right over, it looks like near West Point with the red and the green. Kind of see that right through there. 
But this new this warning is going to get extended here very shortly. This northern warning is going to get extended. So uh, Millsburg, Alano, uh, probably going to see a new uh, tornado warning come out of here very shortly, as that signature is still looking pretty pretty significant there as it's passing across Highway 61 right now. I got my place philosophy here. Yeah, definitely got some very nice hailers in there. Ooh. What'd you what'd you get there, honey? Uh, I want to zoom in on these two cores here. Oh, you got a. Oh, there it is updated. Oh, they got a couple of really good hailers in here. Right through here and right through here. Let me get this back to seven. I'm sorry. I, I don't only. I only show the 14 when I'm trying to show where things have gone. Uh, I promise you. See where that's at. Let's take the hail core. Bingo. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Big hail core there near West Point. <laughs> Yeah, my Davenport uh, radar just disappeared. I must be missing it. Hopefully, it didn't go down, but I don't, do not see access to it. That's on the edge of that. So I use what's available. Now that one's going to pull out. There's going to be new. Just wait on it. New warning will be coming out of here any second, any time. For this cell right here that's off to the east of Apollo. See the red and the green? That is a uh, rotation right through here. Again, uh, still, to me, it still looks pretty broad, but it's it's good enough that it's going to require another warning here. And uh, this one down here near Fort Madison needs to be watched near West Point. This was also got some potential. Uh, see the red, red and the green right through there. So we got some rotation going right through here. So I got two rotating cells to watch here on the tail end of this line. It's been tracking mostly afternoon. We'll go over to. We look at my latest uh, storm reports. Haven't looked at this in a little while. Uh, wind damage reports up, so we're up to 16 tornado reports so far, 32 hail reports, and 71 re wind reports. So it's been a pretty decent event with this uh, this outbreak here. Go back over to Radar Omega here. See what these spotters are seeing out here. Let's see what Corey's looking at. He's trying to intercept. He's stuck in the rain right now. I'm not gonna catch that one. No, he may be trying to hit that. They, these guys might be intercept. Yeah, they're heading south. So these guys are heading southward to see what this um, where the southern cell is gonna do. The northern cell's gotten too far away from them. So they're kind of stuck in the rain right now. Hopefully they'll get in a position to uh, see something a little bit better. Oh, new warning came out. There's that new warning I was waiting on. Yay! <laughs> we call, we're calling on it. There's a new warning. It's just radar indicated. So, South Central Rock Island County, Northwestern Illinois. Now it's coming across the border. Western Mercer County and Southeastern Louisa County until 6 o'clock Central Daylight Time. Yeah, coming across the river there and coming into Illinois. That one needs to be watched closely because that's going to get awfully close to Davenport. I mean, that's a major city, obviously, and it's moving in that general direction. So, um, you know, that one needs to be watched very closely. But the storm chasers are trying to go down here and intercept the southern cell and see if it's going to produce anything. I see he's moving east. He's going to move up to 61 and come south and see if they can intercept. It looks like uh, Brad's in the best location right now. Let's see what he's looking at. 
Yeah, oh, there you go. Man, he's looking at that rotating oil cloud there. All right, there you go. Yep. That's just a low-hanging wall cloud. Heavy rain in there. But that's where I would be looking. Yeah, he's in a good position. These guys are with Fox Weather, so they, they, they're pretty good. They chase for Fox Weather, I should say. So looking at this, uh, looking pretty, uh, look at, that's pretty impressive there. Um, I see the spin to the clouds, but nothing that looks like it will be producing. A that right to the left, he's trying to zoom in on that area. That's what I was looking to. Very, again, rain wrapped if it's anything in there. Very difficult to see. It's going to come over the streets. Hopefully he's not, he does, he's not too close. It's coming right at him. Coming right at him. See how it just kind of dips down there. I'm also looking at the looking at the looking at the, the top of it. Looks like every uh, 448, 450. Everybody's locking in on this camera now. Hopefully, I won't lose my place. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on this camera for a minute because looks everybody's coming over to it. He's focusing in on that low-hanging wall. It still looks like a low-hanging wall cloud to me. But that's where you could potentially get something to drop. A very low-hanging wall cloud. Don't know if that would be tornadic. I can see the spin up aloft, that's for sure. Uh-uh-uh. So it's so a broad rotation, wall cloud. Yeah, that's definitely a wall cloud. See the up left there to the left. Uh, he's looking over here to the right. A little hanging. Yeah, that's a wall cloud. But it's broad circulation all up and down that squall line. Yeah, there's so many people. I'm not going to back off this. I may, may not be able to get back in. So let me hold on it for a second. Yeah, that just looks like a rotating wall climb all the way down it. All right, let me let me back out of this. I'm gonna go back over to my velocity mode here so I can see. Yeah, well, no, that's that's exactly where it would look. He's looking due east, so that's that's what you're seeing on on your on what you're what you're seeing. What he's shooting is this right here. That's what he's shooting. Let's get a different perspective. Let's see if these guys have got a camera shooting but out south. He's out of position. He's still moving. And Vince is also out of position. He's still in the rain. So uh, they're trying to intercept that one right there. He's got the best view. But it looks like it's all elevated, all broad, all up in there. Kind of checking back here. Uh, that area there in the middle there, is it going to drop something? Yeah, I see it rotating there in the middle of the, to the right, left of that, that rain shaft. You look at the clouds above and you see it just spinning. Yeah, the whole base is just swirling around, but uh, heavy rain and, and no, nothing tornadic in there. Just a very broad rotating wall cloud. Kind of watching that. Let me go back over to my radar here so I can kind of see here. I'm looking at the cross section here. 
I'll leave that up for just one second. Yeah, three quarter inch hail in there. And Davenport needs to watch that closely. Yeah, it looks like it's just coming to the north of New Boston Duke. Just crossing. Yeah, I don't see anything through here. Here's, here's what I'm looking at, just so you kind of see here. So I'm looking at the cross section. You see the rotation going over, just kind of crossing just north of New Boston. Right down the middle, then a new one comes out. So it's just crossing, crossing the river there. Let me go back over to Rainer Omega here. 6C. A level base there. All right, that's looking, he's focusing on, I just, again, if there's something in there, you're not going to see it, dude. It is all up in that rain. Wind's blowing out. Let's see what he's looking at. Yeah, it's rotating. I can see that just above that building right there, that's where it's rotating. You look very closely, you see it kind of spinning in there. That is a, uh, again, rotating wall cloud, which has happened a lot with this thing. But the rain shaft is just to the right of that, man. It's just like, okay, it sucks it right in. You can't freaking see it. There's the, there it is, coming again, just coming across the road. Let me just move his camera over. Yeah, that's that, that's where we're looking. I mean, that's where you, that's where you would scan and see if anything was going to drop. But nothing there, my friend. I'll check this other warning up here to the north. Okay. I'll look at this other one here. That one still needs to be watched, too. This is this, this is the other one. Looks like it's going to pass to the north of Millersburg, Eggington. That's going to be close. That's the other one. And then, and then if that rotation holds together, if it, if it does drop anything, it could get very close to the city of Davenport. Yeah, two areas there watching. This one looks, of course, this one looks stronger right here. This was the one that uh, we are watching the broad rotation to the south. I will right, we'll come in in just one second. Give me one second. I'll put this back on reflectivity. Let me go to my full scan here. So I'll be right back. My wife got me some food. Back. 
Get back on me. There I am. <laughs> oh, where's our third turn? Uh, uh, oh, one that's way out in, this, out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to work, folks, on that one. <laughs> that one's really not my cup of tea. 20 minutes on that one. I don't see what these guys are getting camera wise. Won't get. They're all in West Burlington. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, that's some hail. That's some hail in there, I tell you. Yeah, this is Corey. I'm just kind of, she's just scanning the sky to see if there's anything low hanging out in there. I'm not seeing anything. It's all up and down that boundary. But, oh, that's a, that's a hail core there, buddy. He was looking out that way earlier. See, Brandon. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to about seven o'clock Eastern. I think I'm gonna shut it down at that time. But till then, I'm gonna keep going on this for another twenty-six minutes. We'll see if these guys get anything. I'm really concerned about this one over near the north, though. This one's really well. It's not looking nearly as good as it is. Oh, I have the damn radar. It just went, it just disappeared. It was there earlier. Completely shut down. I see all the other radars are here. There's, there's the one. Uh, the damn part one disappeared. Very interesting. But this is this one here coming up in the damn port. It's like that sto there's a spotter there. Who is this? This is Paul Brooks. Hopefully he's not in the way there with that uh, very impressive rain uh, wind shear marker coming up to him. Let me look at my full here again. Now that's weakened a little bit. Okay. Yeah, clearly weakened. Look, check this out. This is the one coming up toward Davenport. Notice you got the nice little spin there. Look at the red and green and then it goes away. See how the last few, sc few scans there? So that, that's good news. That means it's weakening um, the rotations there but uh, not nearly as, as, as uh, potential for uh, dropping a tornado on that one. So that, that's good news there. That's that cell there. We'll go back to velocity mode here. So I'm still watching both these cells. Uh, this one, ah, not now. See, it's kind of it's very broad rotation all up and down that that thing. Don't know if they'll issue another warning on that one. They probably will, just to be on the safe side. But. Um, I'm just not seeing any of that being tornadic. Now, double hailers now. Look at that. Got a hailer here. Got a hailer here and. I got several hailers in there. I always want to get the storm spotters to get into the hail. <laughs> of course, they don't like to because they mess up their car. I don't blame them. I was looking at that back toward town. Look at that wall clouds moving through there. See the wind whipping through there pretty good. That's kind of tough. That's, that's up near that's Burlington. 
coming across the, the, the river right there, of course, it goes into um, Illinois. And this cell's already cut across in Illinois. So I'm not seeing anything back behind this. Let me turn on the Des Moines radar back on. Let me go back to... They got all those watches that are still there, but I don't see anything activity-wise back that way. Yeah, the Davenport radar went bye-bye. Not sure what happened to it. I don't know if it took a hit or something. Uh, yeah, I, I would... At minimum, they're going to put another severe thunderstorm warning up because that's still pretty potent-looking storm. A lot, of, a lot of hail in that, a lot of lightning. So at minimum, uh, they will put some sort of of severe thunderstorm uh, warning out ahead of this. Don't know if they'll keep tornado or not, but it'll. Uh, they probably will because it, it's it's borderline. Brandon, he said they're in Burlington. See the storm. Dot net. <laughs> and then Vince checking out his stuff. So they they're tracking these two cells that have been tornado. This one, I don't know if they're going to continue the warning on. Severe thunderstorm warning for sure. But and then this one up here needs to be watched closely because it's getting up toward racing up toward the Davenport area. Those are only two active. We got three tornado warnings. That one, it's out in the, out in the sticks. I'm not worried about, and multiple big severe thunderstorm warnings along that squall line that's moving through uh, parts of Wisconsin, coming out of Iowa, and going into Illinois right now. But as this pushes east, the air mass is a little more stable. Well, it should settle down a little bit here. At least that's the way the high resolution model was showing it earlier. I haven't looked at that in a little while, but I'm suspecting it hasn't changed much. But uh, just waiting to see. For, I, I'm pretty certain we're going to get a new warning here. Both of them probably could uh, continue uh, some sort of tornado warning uh, out ahead of, it, out of the storm. As you got you got rotation on that cell right through here, and then right through just to the just to the west of Burlington with that cell there. I'm going a little bit closer. So just waiting to see. When the weather service is going to show warning, oh, this other one doesn't look nearly as good as it did earlier. Let me look at something here on the on the GRFL. I'm going to look over here. Let me switch here. I want to take a look at the southern one. I've not looked at the southern one here for a while. Nah, that southern one don't look near. It doesn't look good either. Yep, there's the warnings. I knew we were wait waiting on it. I was waiting on it. And they put a severe thunderstorm warning up. Okay, they did not put a. I, that's what I was guessing. That's what I thought that was going to happen. It didn't. It didn't look like it was going to be a tornado warning. Although they can put they put possible tornado because it's got a history of rotation on it. So this is for Central Henderson, Warren, Mercer, Des Moines County in Iowa, and Louisa County in Iowa. So we got two counties in Iowa, three counties in Illinois. Uh, storm is moving uh, near Burlington, moving northeast at forty. So. They did that so that tornado warning is going to go bye bye. Now the question is, are they going to put a tornado warning up for this northern one or not? Uh, just going in here south of the Davenport area. I'm really kind of surprised they have not trimmed away more of the watch box. If you look up, you still got all the yellow here counties highlighted behind this system, and like I've turned on the Des Moines radar, there's really nothing going back behind this line. So uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really see much reason for these watch boxes that haven't been trimmed away because as this coil line moves off toward the east uh, that should diminish that a little, quite a bit so this warning right here has got another four minutes and that expires so uh, at, uh, at 545 that'll go away and this one here has got on the 19 minutes a little bit more time on that box as it continues to move up toward I'm just waiting to see if, if they're going to issue a warning up for Davenport at least a severe thunderstorm warning I'm pretty sure Too bad. 
All right, hold on one second. Let me mute my microphone. I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to get my dogs there barking outside. My wife does not like that. All right. Ooh, Ooh this one back here. Though. This needs to be watched. I really wasn't even paying attention to what's going on back behind this. This is uh, this is blowing up in just the last few minutes. Uh, this has got the potential. This has got a pretty good hailer in there. I might see another warning come out for that one. Um, that's got a pretty good core in that one. Sick my high -risk. No rotation on it, it was just double checking it. But clearly got a hailer on that one, although it's not showing up very well on the on the bill. Yeah, that, that one needs to be watched. They may even put another warning out on that one. Alright, so this one's got two more minutes and that one's gone bye-bye. And this one's got another 17. I look. I want to look at the velocity. Looking over that one again. Yeah, it's still got some rotation in there. Yeah, they're probably gonna put another warning on that one. This is still still showing rotation right through here. Uh, this is coming very close to the Davenport area. Let me shut that down. Let's go back and check on the storm chasers down here. Let's see where they're they're kind of moving out ahead of this next storm here. They're moving away. Brandon, uh, you know, skies get starting to get starting to get late in the day. Looks like all the storm spotters here have all kind of changed there. There's Corey. Where's he, where's he sitting? Oh, he looks like he shut down for the day. He might have taken a break. Brad, not showing nothing, huh? Oh. All right, yeah, definitely, definitely good hail core cutting right coming to Burlington. These guys are getting trying to get away from it. Uh, just cutting across the other part of the city. All right, down to one warning. This one goes for another 15 minutes. One. I think we're about ready to wrap this one up. Getting real close. I wish I knew what happened to the Davenport radar. It just shut, it was there earlier. I've been using it all afternoon and then all of a sudden it disappeared. So I don't know what the heck happened to it. Spotters, 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 spotters. I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. I was using that radar all afternoon, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. It's my walkie radar. Ooh. There's all the stuff going up in Wisconsin right now. Just a plate of heavy rains. Got the one warning up here for another 14 minutes. And you got this one. They're trimming, they're trimming this warning back, back a little bit. As that's continuing to move up toward the north there. Come kind on, of checking out. I'm too far away. I can't use that radar. Duh. Too far away. Yeah, there's still rotation on that. I, they may issue a warning, another tornado warning out going in, going in pretty close to the city of Davenport. I do suspect that's a possibility. Oh, that line does appear to be out. There's that warrant. I was waiting on that. I was just, that's what I just called a minute ago. This would look like it was pulsing up again. That cell right there. 
That one goes until Henry County and Northwestern Lee County until 6.15. I was calling that, wait, waiting on that one. It looked like it was pulsing up. It definitely, definitely did. Also, they're a little weak radar there. Oh, there it is. Damn, finally shoot it back up again. It was down for a little while. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Keep them open the Davenport radar. Let's go back over to velocity mode. I don't know why they must have went down for a minute. Yeah, I'm getting too close. Uh, I can't see very well. It's starting to rotate. I was checking to see on the, the velocity whether I could see the rotation in there. Can't see it very well. I mean, pretty good, pretty good uh, squall line for sure, coming all the way down through. Yeah, that's going to at least get a severe thunderstorm warning in there. I'm pretty, pretty confident of that. So, right to see. All the chasers are all, I mean, they're all in the same damn place. <laughs> this is Steven. This is Brad. Sit looking at the sky conditions. Every, that, sky does appear to be uh, settling down, that's for sure. It's starting to get late in the day. Looks like he's trying to get out. It looks like he's trying to. All the storm spotters look like they're kind of, like they're trying to head up this way. Storm chasers, I should say. And this looks like it's turned into just a, a very gusty winds right along the, that boundary right through there. So again, I got these. Uh, we're down to five severe thunderstorm warnings, one tornado warning, and, and this one here, when I think it expires, I think they put another severe thunderstorm warning out, out ahead of it. I think we'll see one that'll come into Davenport, kind of right up in here, and that'll be the end of it for that. So things are things are starting to settle down. That's the good news. And then we'll see how it works out for tomorrow. I don't think tomorrow will be quite as a, a, a big a day. As this pushes off toward the east, this is the day two for tomorrow morning, going into Wednesday morning. So it kind of ships into Indiana and Ohio. And uh, based off how things are looking in the morning, I might do a morning update. And then I might do some coverage for tomorrow, just depending on how things work out. Uh, that, that, uh, just to kind of refine my product and, and continue to try to get a little better at this as well. Because I might need to update some of my settings here for, for example, for the... Uh, for the um, um, using the radar Omega here, so we'll check. Uh, let's take my uh, it's kind of getting a getting toward the end of the day here. I think it's starting to clear on out. I don't think that's even updating. I gotta like look at that. Go like that. Let me let me go back here. I don't think that's actually. I don't. That, I don't think that was updating. I just now noticed that. Oh, well, it probably wasn't because I didn't have the reflection on that. So there's the water vapor. Look at, look at all the big push there, kind of pushing off toward the east. The green is that uh, is your water vapor imagery. You see that big push here going into Illinois now, that dry slot coming out to the bottom. Uh, very nice little swirl there. So things should be settling down looking at that. I think, I think we're getting toward the max here. Uh, the high-resolution model did a very good job with this. I'm very pleased with how uh, that kind of worked out here. Uh, let's see, I'm tracking the storm up to Davenport here. And when you look at the cross section here, again, looking at the seniors are approaching Davenport, and I got their radar up here. Uh, yeah, just not saying. It looks like it's faded out quite a bit. So uh, looking at that, I don't think they continue the tornado warning. I do believe they put up a severe thunderstorm warning potential for that as it goes up toward uh, just south of Rock Island. Um, I'm coming into Davenport. 
because looking at that, still showing one and three quarter inch hail. Some pretty good hail are in there for sure, uh, to say the least. But I don't believe that they're going to continue that uh, tornado warning as it stands. I could be wrong, but right now what I'm seeing based off that cross section there, I do see a very uh, impressive looking squall on here. Look, maybe a little bit of a bow in there a little bit. Uh, but I, th I suspect that this tornado warning will be replaced with a severe thunderstorm warning that'll go out ahead of it as that squall continues to move off toward the east at a very good clip. So you kind of see that there. So I see the, so the green dots there, the, the, the storm chasers out ahead of the center from Davenport back up through there. And of course the storm down the south is not looking nearly as healthy as it was earlier. So bring in storms there near Mount Pleasant and West Point. So he's going to see what he's doing. He's going, Brad's going to the north there. Oh, that's a nice looking wall cloud there, just to your left. It's kind of looping around there. But uh, yeah, very not very very nice looking sky conditions. So we've got a few more minutes left on this one. We got down to seven more minutes. Still some pretty good hail there. I mean, you seeing that purple there. I mean, it's coming in toward Buffalo, Milan. I mean, that's that's some. That, you still got some pretty good hail sitting up in here. All that purple in there. Uh, pretty good good hail are sitting in there for sure. Uh, right along the Iowa and the Illinois border. I'm going to check, I'm going to look at my... It's kind of updating there. I still got that severe thunderstorm watch to the south of there. But, uh... They've got a new warning. There it is. They just came out with a new warning. So here is the here's the new warning that came out. So they did they did not replace it with another or they did with a severe thunderstorm warning, which is what I was anticipating there. So again, this is for Southern Rock Island County, Central Scott County, and East Central Muscatine County until 6:45. 6:45. So the storm is moving northeast at 40 miles per hour, wind gusts to 60 miles per hour, and some hail, obviously, as we were seeing with that storm. So this tornado warning gets ready to spot, uh, uh, expire in about five minutes, and that's going to leave us down with these five warning boxes. Uh, really, only these past three here, here, as that shuts down. So anyway, we're going to wait and see how this kind of works out through Davenport here. I'm going to look at the velocity in here as well. Let's kind of look at this real quick. Yeah, not seeing much in there. No high resolution in there. But some very gusty winds, to say the least, going through both those counties right now. And I like to see some of these chasers' cameras and see what that's. Corey, what's you looking at, Corey? Got any? Oh, those are nice. Look at that little low in clouds. Very impressive. Very nice. figure that out one of these days that's some that's some pretty impressive wild cloud there he's definitely got some storms coming his way i think he's probably parked out for the night you see how fast those clouds are moving as those storms are moving to his north he's he's shooting northward he's sitting he's sitting this this hail core up here to the north and a little core up here as well So anyway, that's that. So that other warning, they let it go. So that is now expired. And we're down to these three warnings. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for the day. Uh, again, I will play it by ear for tomorrow. See how things go. And for those who did come in and out to watch today, I appreciate it. I uh, didn't really do the proper advertising out ahead of it. So uh, I kind of got overcome by other YouTubers. But that's okay. It's good practice. 
Uh, anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll take an update in the morning. I'll see how things are looking and do a morning a live update. And then we'll see how it works out to do maybe some more uh, severe weather coverage tomorrow, if it warrants it, if it looks like it's going to be. This was a pretty significant deal. Uh, before I sign off, I'll just kind of show you the, the, the wrap-up so far for the tracker. So we had 16 tornado reports, 74 wind damage reports, and 33 hail reports. So it was a pretty healthy um, severe weather event. I don't know if it will be quite that active for tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it will be. Uh, but we still got that, that again, that target zone. Uh, which looks like it into Indiana and into Ohio for tomorrow. So I'll be watching it very closely. All right, that's it for now. We're going to stop, stop streaming. You guys take it easy, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.